Okay, this is me. I am currently a manager in the MLS in the United States, and I may have just gotten my dream job. Borussia Dortmund have dismissed Edin Terzic as manager after a disappointing season, and I've got an interview for their new head coaching position. Now, I've dreamt of coaching in Europe for years, let alone one of the best clubs in the world in Borussia Dortmund. But there is a reason they're looking for a new coach. Right now, they're not doing so well, and they haven't won the Bundesliga since 2012. I think I can change that, and this here is my chance. So drop a like if you're excited for a new season series and let's get into it so we arrive in germany for our interview which is with sebastian kale the current sporting director of Borussia dortmund and sebastian says welcome to dortmund let's get down to business now he says my goal here at dortmund is to continue the tradition of developing young players at a high level but it's also been way too long since we last won a league title i'm looking for a young and exciting coach that the players and fans will both get behind and he says i think that could be you but you're also inexperienced and he says i'll be honest if we hire you it'd be a risk so we gotta try and convince him here so we say if you give me a chance you won't regret it i know how we can challenge bayern and beat them or whoever else for the title but doing so in the Borussia dortmund way so fast forward a few hours later we're sitting in our hotel waiting anxiously for dortmund's decision i feel like we did a good job in the interview but are we in over our head here we then get a call on our cell phone and we've been given our chance Borussia dortmund have hired us as their new manager so it's a dream come true but also the start of an incredible challenge in germany so welcome to the Borussia dortmund Dortmund FC24 career mode. Now, Borussia Dortmund is a club that I respect so much. They're definitely my favorite club in Germany. But like Sebastian said, it's been way too long since they uh, won a league title. Absolutely too long. So we are here to change that. But it's a squad you could say that isn't currently in a decline. So it is not going to be easy. And also with Bayer Leverkusen, Chabi Lanza coming through. We got Leipzig still being a threat. It's not just Bayern we have to beat. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. We take this journey one step at a time. And the first step is going over our current best starting 11. So in goal, we have the brightest spot in this team, Gregor Kobel. I mean, 80 seven rated he's one of the best keepers in the world i'm hoping we can keep him as long as we can and then at left back we have ben spaini i mean 28 years old eight rated definitely not bad our current center back pairing is uh, on the left we got nico schlotterbeck i mean a young and exciting center back and then next to him niklas schula who is very decent in his own right now our current starting right back is marius wolf who's definitely not bad but i don't know if he's uh the quality we need to challenge for the title at least as a starter then at cdm we have vice captain emre chan a very strong player in our number eight slot we have marcel sabitzer who, honestly he's 29 years old i'm not sure he has a future in this team We'll see though. Then in our number 10 spot, we have Marco Royce, the captain of this team, a legend of the club and also the leader of this club. Then at left wing, we currently have Daniel Mullen, a very exciting young player. And then on the right wing, speaking of young, exciting, we got Kareem the Dream out of Yemi. And then our current number nine is Sebastian Haled. Now I'd say our bench is also pretty uh, pretty deep here. We got Hummels, we got uh, Uwe Chan, Moenir, Julian Brandt, Nemecha, Jaden Sancho on loan from uh, Manchester United and Makoko. We also have Bino Giddens. We got Fulker as a backup striker too. So it feels like we have a deep team here, but it's just overall the sum of all the parts of the team challenging Bayern Leverkusen even Leipzig for the title it's gonna be near impossible but if we can develop some of these young players get the best out of their development then we may have a chance but definitely we're going to make some uh, signings to help this team a lot that is uh that's a given and here at Bayern first season right now we're starting with 81 million in our bank account I mean that's definitely not bad it's not too much but we can definitely work with that so this right here is our starting shortlist but of course in the comments I need your guys suggestions so who should we sign in this series to make Borussia Dortmund the best team in the world and try to dethrone Bayern and everyone else in the Bundesliga let me know in the comments down below and also by the way really quick we have two other channels if you didn't know we have tyster plus where we have like more my player content pretty much bonus fc24 content and then i also have tyster 2 which is kind of like a walkthrough playthrough channel we play all types of games or at least that's the plan and right now we're playing spider-man 2 so if you're interested the links for both will be in the description now speaking of that we have our first meeting with sebastian kale and he says let's go over our goals for this season simply put we need to challenge for trophies he says as of now we're not in position to be favorites for the league title but we need to be competitive if we fail to be that in the champions league and Bundesliga, we'll consider that a failure. And we tell him, hey, I agree with that. So he says, now about our first signing of the season, do you have a player in mind? You know, yeah, I definitely got someone in mind for this team. And that is Kefren Turam from Nice in France. So he's a 22 year old French midfielder who's 79 rated. He's 6'4 and his stats are just insane. What I'm looking for in this team first is a box to box mid to kind of replace Sabitzer. And I think Turam is that player. He's got the size, physicality, the technical stats. He's got everything I'm looking for. And also he's not like crazy expensive either. He's definitely still like a project as a player but a hey, dormant are known for uh projects and turning young players into stars so we're gonna try to make turn the first signing of the series now i'm gonna try 30.7 to start i'm hoping this just gets accepted like no negotiating okay they're gonna want sabitzer plus five million you know what i was pretty much already thinking of selling sabitzer because i feel like he's 29 years old he's not gonna grow much so i honestly feel like this might be a really good deal for us see if we can get the fee a little bit lower like four million and i think i would do that so sabitzer plus four million for turn i think that's a really good deal for us actually and that might 
might be the first signing of this series. Like Emery Chan as the six, uh, Turim as the eight, and then either Marco Royce or Julian Brandt as the 10. I feel like that's a solid foundation for a midfield in this team right now. And he wants 46,000 per week. You know what? We can do that. And I hope I'm saying his name right, uh, Kefren Turim. But welcome to Borussia Dortmund. That's our first signing of the series. And hey, maybe this could be the future star of this team down the line that gets us past Bayern, Leverkusen, Leipzig, and maybe even to the top of the world in the Champions League. We'll see. But Mr. Turim, welcome to the team. I have a feeling he's going to be really, really good. So as of now, he's going to take a Savitzer spot, of course. And I think he'll be my starting number eight. I feel like Nemetra could start as well, but I think Turim has more size, a bit more physicality. And next to Marco Royce in the midfield, we need that. So I like that signing a lot. So we still have 78 million to spend after that. Once again, comments, let me know who we should sign. Now we see some reports online. Our preseason at Dortmund is about to begin. Now our first opponent of preseason is actually Manchester United. Though they're saying online, it's a big test for me. And then also that many believe I'm the favorite for the first sacking of the season. So we are already under a lot of pressure here, which means our first ever game with the squad, even though it's preseason, we got to try and make a good impression here. Now before that though, we have been busy with uh, transfers a little bit. Now one player that you probably thought like, where is he at? Giovanni Reina. I didn't mention him. In real life, he's linked to going to Nottingham Forest right now. So I think uh, it was only right to sell him. He's probably leaving the club. In our save though, he's gone to Leipzig for about 40 million. And we also sold three players that I think just did not have a future in this team like Mori. And then we loaned out two youngsters that could uh, be big in this series later on in Brunner and also Dranville. But okay, we are ready for preseason. First ever game with this squad. Now really quick, this is going to be one of the most challenging series I think I've ever done on this channel, at least in this game so far. Of course, ultimate difficulty. And then these are the toughest sliders I've used this year so far. So CPU, sprint speed, acceleration, both on 75. Their shot error 35, pass error is on five. And then last slider change is a uh, first touch control for them is on 25. On the user side, everything is just a uh, default 50. So that should make this series probably the most challenging we've done so far on FC24. So first game, let's uh, let's just see how this goes. Now we're playing a 4-3-3 holding, but so far I've not set up any like super specific instructions or tactics yet. I wanna play this first game, you know, get a feel for the team. And then we'll do all that before the actual first Bundesliga match. Oh man, our first match in control of Borussia Dortmund. Kind of funny, we're playing at Anfield, but okay, there's a lot of eyes on us, a lot of pressure on us. Let's get a feel for where this team is at right now. Now, I don't know how strong this United team is. I mean, it's preseason, so probably not as strong as uh, possible, but obviously still a lot of good players. Now, Marius Wolf into Eddie. I mean, we need these young players to take over this team. Marius Wolf, though, could cross this in. That's not a bad cross. That is Malin, and Malin hits the crossbar and then Haled puts it over the net. Okay, not a bad cross from Wolf. I like that first move. Yeah, even the commentators are saying it. This first game is a big impression for us. So I'm going to try to get back to the title and we have not coached in Europe. So like the expectations, the pressure you can imagine. Now Turam's first touch for Dortmund. I like the new signing there and he looks like he is a physical, like a physical midfielder. Now Adiami, crossover. Okay, where is that cross going? That's not where I aimed. Ericsson, Bruno. Okay, we can't let him score first. Come on. If we let them score first, it's not going to be a good first impression. Hello, Anthony gets it into Mason Mount. Turam on Ericsson's term. Let's see that physical Physicality. Let's see it. Okay, wasn't we didn't see it there, but he's still a imposing figure in the midfield. Rashford. Okay, Wolf. Good tackle on Rashford there. Hey, Marius Wolf. I'm, I'm just having a very good first impression with him. Now he led into Kareem Adeyemi against Harry Maguire. Cuts inside. Adeyemi goes for finesse shot. Oh, Nana makes a very good save though. Royce over to Turam. Turam could shoot, and that shot goes wide. Not a bad first shot from our new signing. Hey, opening 25 minutes, I'm encouraged here. We've not really let United kind of play at all, really. Hey, Marco Royce, that is some nice dribbling. Play it over to Wolf. Wolf over to Marco Royce. Try to find a good pass here. We're going to turn to Malin. Malin, okay, get it one more pass. Get one more down the middle. Oh, man, that was actually meant for Royce. Turam, another shot attempt. Okay, Mason Mount just stole that. We got that preseason rust right now. Now, that's an insane pass to Bruno Fernandez. Koble makes a very good save. Bro, that was such a good ball from, I think, Erickson, maybe? And Anthony to Erickson, gets it out wide to Mount. Mount takes a shot. Emery Chan, a good block. Rashford header attempt, and that goes to Kobel. Okay, defense looks solid there. Solid. Turam out to Adiemi. Adiemi, I can already see, is going to be a star on this team. Get it, Turam, though. Turam over to Marco Royce. That would be so fitting. He scores the first goal of the series, but good save by Onana. Ross in by Royce. Looks decent. Emery Chan was going for that one. Okay, Mason Mount is going on an insane solo run here. Shula, Shula. Can't get a tackle in there. Wolf, I need you. Mount turns, though. We're blocking the pass, at least. Luke Shaw gets it over to Rashford. Rashford, Emery Chan. Good tackle. Not a good pass, though. Thankfully, Cobble makes the save. Anthony gives it to Maguire. Maguire, get away from the box. What are you doing? Royce, Royce. Oh, man. Malin was so in there. Okay, stoppage time. First half, Anthony cutting inside. That should be good. That's some good defending by uh, Ben Sabaini. Now, in saying that, Erickson just swiped it from him. Now, Moreno plays it into Anthony. Good pass over. That's a great block from, I think, Shula and Schlotterbeck, though. Okay, to end our first 45 minutes as Dortmund manager, Hobel, good save, and that's halftime. Okay, overall, I'd say we we're rusty, but honestly, I like what I'm seeing so far. Probably gonna make some subs uh, early second half, though. I wanna see more players, see how they feel. Gets it to Luke Shaw, over to Christian Erickson. Erickson gets it into Anthony. Anthony is gonna find a shot here. He's gonna find a shot. Wolf. 
Get something on that, and then Anthony will steal it from, I think, Shula. And United score the first goal of the game. That was just so awkward. The ball fell in front of our center backs, and I tried to clear it, but they didn't clear it in time. Anthony just got to it first. Okay, we do concede the first goal. That is unfortunate. That one was a little bit unlucky, though. Royce gets it over to Malin. Malin, get it back to Royce. Royce, one touch. Shot by Royce, and Onana makes another good save, though. All right, corner in. We got some corner threats here. Definitely, Shula, that is way over the net, though. Yeah, second half, team looks a little bit flat here. We're letting United pass way more, having more of the ball. Mount gets it into Bruno Fernandez. Good tackle there. It's actually a foul, almost. Rashford, okay, Wolf. I am actually impressed by Wolf today. I thought he was one of the weak links, but I actually like him. Okay, we're making, like, five subs here, though. We got Hummels coming on. We got uh, Makoko, Jaden Sancho against his former team. We're actually his uh, parent team right now. So let's uh, see how some of these other players feel. Also, Nemecha for Teram. Oh, man, this is a problem. Hummels like he's good defensively but he's got no pace Anthony that's a good save and Hummels basically clears it off the line okay now can we counter off this though Julian Brandt two wolf get it to Makoko Makoko tries to play through but yeah that was not executed well enough and Luke Shaw takes a shot Koble good save there and first half was good but the second half has been definitely not as good and our defense is getting tore apart now in the last like 50 minutes of this game but we did well there. Schlotterbeck against Anthony. Drags it back. Hummels blocks that with his face. I like the effort. Erickson. Okay, Schlotterbeck. Schlotterbeck. That is so dangerous. That was such a rough tackle. Okay. How? Wait, 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 wait. How is Rashford on side still? I'm confused. How is Rashford on side here? So Bruno is on the ground and literally no one decides to mark Rashford. I mean, the two goals we've conceded today are just ones that are like either unlucky or just clear defensive like mental mistakes. So we are 2-0 down to United. Mecha, Julian Brandt, Julian Brandt can shoot that and Onana makes a good save. Man, Onana's had a good game. Warner sent in. That looks decent. Hummels hits the crossbar and then Makoko can't put in the rebound. Chance is not dead yet. Actually, the net is kind of open here. Oh my, Jaden Sancho scores against his team. And you know he's going to celebrate right in front of Eric Ten Hag. You know he is. Okay, there's a consolation. I feel like we played good enough to deserve one goal. Maybe not to win the game. But Jaden Sancho, of all players, to score against United. That is hilarious. Okay, though, our first game in charge Dorman. Now it's just preseason, so it's not like it's our actual first competitive game. But basically, our first impression is, uh, I mean, I'd say it's decent, but not the best. going to be a 2-1 loss to Manchester United. I did see some good things, though, so things we can build on. And we're going to need to because the season is right around the corner at the start of the Bundesliga. Okay, fast forward a few weeks later, we're back from preseason. It was pretty much an average preseason. But yep, this is our new home in Germany. I mean, hey, being Bracey Dorman manager, we got a decent salary. So we got a decent home with that. Now, currently, we're watching highlights on the TV of preseason, trying to see where we can improve this team in terms of tactics. But this is the living room. This right here is also the kitchen, which I would say is very nice. Might have to get like a home chef or something for us because we're going to be busy. Kind of got like our own little office, little coach's office here. We got a huge backyard to relax. And yeah, definitely, I would say this place could be like a meeting place between maybe our players maybe the board members the staff or something but we can definitely make some good use of this house maybe have like a team party maybe a team bonding party who knows but okay we do not get much time to mess around already the first day of the Bundesliga is here now we face Cologne who are a decent team but a team where if we want to go where we want to be I mean we should beat them to start the season we should as we see Bayern already won their first game 4-0 now in terms of uh tactics for this team I think I want to play gang impressing I feel like I want to play fast you know like high energy press fast attack now I'm gonna lower the depth a little bit here we're gonna go fast build up we're gonna go uh forward runs though now we're gonna tell him right to get back we're gonna tell Adiemi and uh, Malin definitely get forward we're gonna give Royce free room in the midfield I'm gonna tell Best Buy you need to join the attack also Wolf so we're playing a very progressive and positive style of football I'm not sure if players like uh, Haled or even Marco Royce are suited towards that right now but we gotta build an identity of this team we gotta start building the foundation for that so first game of the season a win here would be so huge for us so first time playing in the uh, Signal Duna Park in front of the home fans fans that expect a lot from this team so this is very nerve-wracking now this game is pretty much our first actual in-game impression to them but let's try and have a good first impression on the Dortmund fans now we need a fast start here first goal early would definitely help adiemi crosses it to literally no one there wolf adiemi played turam good pass turam could get it over to hilaire that shot is gonna be blocked though and there were a lot of options there we went to the wrong one. Oh, that is so unfortunate thankfully that was a foul thank you ref for calling that because they were in there if that uh wasn't called and i can tell cologne are here to ruin our opening day i can already see it that's gonna be a shot Koble, good save yeah Koble, we're gonna need him this season a lot okay, why are we letting players just run through our midfield shula good tackle there when i want to see that fast play i like this adiemi could be in adiemi is in almost not gonna be these defenders he's not very physical get it back to wolf into turam now turam hold it up emory chan Gets it over. Oh, man. What a block that is. We were so open on that side. Chan wins it back, though. Malin. Malin gets it to Royce. Royce keeps it. Goes for a shot himself. And oh, the rebound. Oh, it goes right in front of the keeper, though. All right. Not a bad shot from Royce. Adiemi into Turam. Turam has a pass, maybe. Finds Malin. Malin into Sebastian Haled. 
Could be the first goal. It's going to be saved again. Okay, building momentum though. Cross swung in by Royce. Header attempt, Malin. That's going to be another save. Bro, one of these has to go in. That's a header. That's a lead. That is another save. That was actually cleared off the line by the center back, I think. Come on, put one of these in. Put one of these in. Haled. There we go. There's the first goal of the season. Thank you. I guess third time's the charm. Sebastian Haled scores the first goal of our Bundesliga season. And Royce had some pretty good crosses there. I was going to say, if they save it again, that'd be so unfortunate. Just header just finally gets over the center back. Okay, 1-0 to Borussia Dortmund. Good start to this game, 21 minutes in. Emre Chan, what a tackle there. Turam into Malin. Turam's making a run here. Look at our new signing making a run. Now he's got Malin far post, but I don't think he's going to reach that. Let's go back. Eddie Emi plays it to Royce. In to Malin. Malin, get it out wide. Now Ben Smaini crosses it over to Haled. What a header, and that's 2 0. What a cross. Oh man, Sebastian Haled has a brace 28 minutes in. But that was Ben Smaini with that cross. Man, it barely split these defenders there, just curled around, and then that's a far header by Haled. But the power on that is perfect. Okay, 2 0, 28 minutes in. This has been a very good start now. Let's just keep this up. Okay, they got a free kick, which that is sent in. Schlotterbeck, good clearance. Malin gets it to Haled. Get it over now to Adiemi. Adiemi, I want to see that play style. I see it. Now, with our sliders, we can't abuse pace as quite good as normal. So, it does make it a little bit harder in that uh, realm. Now, Turam, cross it. Okay, that cross is not going to work. Let's try a Wolf. Try to play it. That'll be a corner. Are we going to score three header goals in the first 45 minutes of the season? Malin, oh my, we are. Okay, this is header FC. We are some uh, heading merchants. This time, it's Malin, and it's 3-0. What a start to our dormant career. Bro, I usually don't score that many headers, like especially from corners, but right now, they're going in. Hey, I will take it. We're 3-0 up in 34 minutes. This right here is exactly what we needed. Gotta stay strong defensively now. Don't let him back in the game. 3-0. This right here should be an opening three points. Yeah, you got a free kick in a weird kind of spot here. That should be cleared. Emre Chan, good clearance. Now, Chance is not dead yet, though. This looks semi-dangerous. Cross in Wolf. Good foot in and good pass out. Okay, Royce, you were definitely not gonna run with pace here and beat all these guys. Okay, he definitely needs help here. Gets it to Wolf. Wolf into Adiemi. Adiemi is gonna lose that. Yeah, Adiemi needs to get stronger. That's one thing he needs to do. We'll try and help him on that. Now, that is a good pass. This is dangerous. Schlotterbeck. Schlotterbeck. No, that got by him, actually. That's so unfortunate. And they're gonna score that. How did he get by Schlotterbeck there? Okay, they get one back. It's okay. We gotta stay calm here. We gotta nail down this game now though. We can't let them come back and like make a run for it. That's so unfortunate though. I thought Schlotterbeck was in front of him. He kind of just went around him though. Okay, 3-1. It's still been a solid first half. We might need to score more though now. Might have one more chance in the first half. Out to Ben Spaini. Ben Spaini tries to find him. Okay, we do find a lead. Oh man, that pass was going to be so good if it got through. Okay, first half, 3-1. I'll take that. We still got work to do though this game. One thing we can't do is lose the ball in a bad spot. We do play pretty aggressive, so cannot lose it and just leave us open for a huge counterattack. We got to be a little bit more conservative here. Emery Chan. Okay, that's pretty much exactly what I was talking about, and I just did that. How about that? Thankfully, whoa, that was a rough tackle. Okay, that's a tactical foul right there. I'll take it. But I just did what I said we cannot do. Free kick sent in. Please clear that. Please clear that. No, okay, Koble will make the save. And this game is definitely not over. Corner in. That is going to be decent. That actually goes all the way back out to the... Uh, corner taker. Now they go all the way back out to the center back, maybe. Cross in. Schlotterbeck. Actually, a really good clearance. Okay, I, tr I accidentally cleared it twice. Hey, at least the fans look happy. And this is a nerve wracking part of this game right now. If they score this second, this is going to be a really tight game. Need to block this. Need to block it. Need to block it. Okay, I need help. Turam. Turam. That was risky. Gets to their player. Shula. What a block, though. That is so big. Eddie Emmy. Fouled. Okay, we survived that. Oh, Turam, what a tackle. Now, Sebastian Haled has got Malin. No, Haled, that last touch was so heavy. Bro, he totally miscontrolled it there at the end. Man, Turam's tackle was going to lead to 4-1 right there. That's a cross in. Shula, that's a, I mean, pretty much a no-nonsense clearance. All right, no subs just yet. I think Roy is probably the first sub here. Haled out to uh, Malin, though. Malin gets it to Royce. Royce has options in to Adiemi. Adiemi, we try to feed uh, Haled there. Gotta be more smart than that. We got 20 minutes and Cologne are trying to fight back here into this game. They probably had a better second half than us. That is a cross in. Shula, good clearance. Man, I feel like they're gonna score this second right now. Oh, Malin, great still. Come on. Score this fourth here. We got space. Royce, lead Malin, lead him. Oh man, they got back so quick there. Okay, that's the sliders. Like, that's insane. Needs to be a good tackle. Needs to be. Oh, he skips around him. Slaughterback will clear it though. And we are low key hanging on by a thread right now. Royce, lift it for Malin. Malin, good first touch. Get it to Haled. He needs help, though. Haled it to Malin. Malin will try and dink it back to Haled. He will control it. We find a shot here. Gets it to Taram, who's not going to win that, though. No, man. Okay, 10 minutes. I need subs right now. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are they doing there? That was almost a big mistake. Okay, three subs. We got Makoko, Sancho, and also a Nemecha coming on. So some uh, high energy. We got fresh legs. And uh, second half has been not so good, but time's running out for Cologne. All we got to do is just hold out from here. Okay, this is a good attack, though. Our defense is getting tested today. That's a good uh, clearance by Schlotterbeck, though. Think about Schlotterbeck and Shula. They're both really big center backs. So, like, crosses. 
like that. They've done very well to clear those today. Now, crossover, Ben Smaini into Sancho. Sancho gets a great pass to Makoko. Makoko, great dribbling into Nemecha. Nemecha, get it over. We should seal this here. Someone find a shot. It's going to be Turamu shoots, and that goes so far wide. To be fair, Cologne, like, they shifted over there so well. All right, one minute added on. I think we've done it in our first game, though. Hey, Cologne, they gave us a fight. They definitely did not play bad second half. But 3-1, our first game is manager of Dortmund, and that's a solid 3-1 win. Like, I will take that. The fans got to be encouraged after that win. Now, a few days later in the week after that game, we're in training, and we tell the team that we like a lot of what we saw in that first game. But we say one of our biggest focuses has got to be defensive, just basically alertness. With how fast we're going to play in the attack, that means we got to be just as focused defensively. But overall, we say the team gave a great effort in that first game. Now, of course, at Bruce Dortmund, the youth academy, the youth developing young players is a huge part of this club. So we currently have one scout. I'm going to hire two more scouts. We're going to go for a five star, five star for four million. And then let's go for a four star, four star for three million. So next episode, we'll send out these three scouts. Let me know in the comments where we should send them as we look for the next like future stars of this team. Now, second game of the season is here. We're facing a uh, Bochum. Now, definitely a team that we should beat. No doubt. After our first game, we're sitting in a fifth, but basically just on goal difference. If we could start two wins out of two, that would be so big for our confidence as a manager here in Europe. Now, once again, that first game was good, but that second half of the first game, I could definitely see where if the defense was a little bit less focused, if uh, Shula Schlotterbeck were a little bit less good defensively, they could have made a comeback that game. So we got to be focused. Bochum, a team we should beat. Honestly, we should beat this team by like two or three nil, but it's usually never as simple as just saying that. Now, Emre Chan to Royce gets it out wide to Ben Spiney. Honestly, I'm impressed with him and Wolf. Okay, this is a chance. Sebastian Aled, that shot is going to be saved though. Now we are corner merchants here at Brissia Dortmund and it almost continued. Eddie Emmy is hitting that. Okay, that's blocked. Bro, we are some corner merchants. Wolf into Emre Chan. We know we can bang him. See if we can get him a shot. Actually go to Royce instead. Then to Eddie Emmy into Wolf. This right here is a great move into Royce. How does the keeper save that though? Bro, that attack was beautiful. Cross number two. Oh, that's going to be a goal. Oh, Haled gets so close, though. It's a decent opening 10 minutes for us, though. All right, Turam, lean this attack. Gets to do Haled. Haled, do you have that in your locker? Kind of, actually, good pass. Now we're going to find Haled again. All in, Haled. Get it out wide to Wolf. Now Wolf, crossover. Good cross. Okay, we just outran it there, though. I think he was offside. Oh, man, that's a bad giveaway from Wolf. That's kind of my fault. See, if we lose it in that spot against a good team, like, they can hurt us so quickly. Emery Chan, spread it out to Wolf. Into Kareem Adeyemi, which I'm looking for a shot here. Man, they are playing so defensive. Skips, skips around that tackle, though. Turam. Oh, man, Wolf was so free there. We got to make that pass. Now they're in behind. This is dangerous. Oh, I didn't expect that pass there. I did not expect that. And Forrester puts it wide. That was such a good counterattack, but he just sliced the shot there. Okay, that was dangerous. 25 minutes in. This almost was 1-0 down to Bochum for us. Sebastian Oled, do you have the long shots in you? That is going to be right back to the keeper. Not quite. Oled up to Mal Malin. Malin, get it to Royce. Good pass. Now Royce, that, man, he's got closed down so quickly there. And I don't like the way they're set up today. Like, they are totally set up to just defend in numbers and counterattack. Like, that's the one way that could cause us a lot of problems here. Especially against teams that are better than where we got to play more aggressive a little bit. Like, they got the recipe to beat us here. Let's just uh, not let them cook. Led out to Taram. Taram gets it into Marco Royce. Royce. Oh, man. Are we got to be quicker there. Once again, a counterattack. We lost the ball in a bad spot. They have the recipe. Defense, though, needs to be extra strong. Shula block, and we survive that. It's by any into Malin. Come on. There's our chance to break him down. Okay, Haled, you are running so slow behind Malin here. Malin will shoot himself. The shot will be saved, though. Okay, corner merchants FC. That looks beautiful. Oh, my. We we are corner merchants. Bro, Royce's delivery is literally amazing. Sebastian Atlanta scores his third goal of the season already, and we're 1-0 up. Man, I have never scored this many corners, I think, in one video. Like, it's just a powerful header by Haled, and it goes in off the guy off the line, I think. Okay, 43rd minute, 1-0. Definitely might be against run to play a little bit. No, I would say we deserve that. It's just uh, they've had some good-looking counterattacking opportunities. I would say that's deserved. And now is that going to open the floodgates? Emre Chan to Sebastian Aled, who's got space here. Get it? Oh, we got to get that pass to Malin. That pass has got to go through. Through. Okay, second half begins. I feel like we scored the second and third. We can definitely put this team to bed. Okay, Wolf has room here. Marius Wolf into Malin. Actually, that was a uh, lead. Royce into Malin. Now Malin. Get it back to Royce. Royce tries to find an angle, but it's blocked. So Mary Chan steals it into Royce. Royce to Sebastian Aled who shoots. Another good save by this keeper, bro. Warner Merchants FC. Okay, this time, probably not. Durham, our new signing. Chance for finesse shot. Of course, that's blocked as well. Man, this right here is a good move. They are putting some passes together. Can we prevent them scoring, though? Schlotterbeck, Schlotterbeck. Great defending by Schlotterbeck. All in into Ben Smiley. No, I'm trying to look for Mal in here, I think. Okay, 
What a steal. Is that Schlotterbeck's brother? That is a good steal by Schlotterbeck on both ends. Okay, don't let him score though. Oh, they're gonna score this. I'm feeling it. Schlotterbeck, nope. Okay, the brothers, the Schlotterbeck brothers, they're brothers, right? Is it actually his brother? If it is, they are controlling this game defensively. Adiemi is kind of in here now. We need to use our pace. Adiemi stops into Haled. Haled will shoot, and that shot is gonna go wide. All right, two subs. Julian Brin on for Royce, and then Sancho on for Malin. Now, that was extremely close, man. They've made a lot of chances like that, pressing all of a sudden, and it's almost worked. Adiemi to Turam. Turam out to Wolf. Wolf into Adiemi. Okay, that's blocked. Turam into Julian Brandt. Now Julian Brandt. We got to pass him on the inside. Great pass. Haled. Oh, what a pass by Julian Brandt. Sebastian Haled now has four goals to start this season. He's on fire and that's 2-0. Yeah, okay, Julian Brandt just split like four defenders there though. Okay, that was beautiful. We got 20 minutes left. 2-0 lead. That might be the nail in their coffin to be honest. Look at our new signing making that tackle. That is beautiful to see. Okay, center backs out of position here. Koble, what a save. And then a Wolf will clear it off the line. Okay, that came out of nowhere, but that was such a good chance for them. Crossing again. Schlotterbeck will clear that one this time. Okay, we survived that. But that was dangerous and out of nowhere. And Sancho has pace here and space. Get it to Liam Brand in the middle. Get it back to Sancho now. Sancho in to Haled. Haled gets it over to Adiemi. Adiemi should score your first goal he took so long to shoot that right there but i like to keep a clean sheet here i really like a clean sheet cross in that is such a good cross wolf clears it then emory chan will clear it again that was almost with his shoulder though wolf through that yummy we can get maybe one more here if we can we can execute Haled gets it to julian brandt we did not execute okay, you know what though two no solid win against a bottom team i'll take that i would definitely take that as our second game so two games in the Bundesliga, and that's two wins once again bottom teams usually so we should beat these teams not really faced a big challenge yet but we got the job done we play the teams in front of us Hey, first two games, that's a solid first impression. I see so much potential in this team. Now, a day later, though, we have a meeting with Sebastian, and he says, of course, we've had great success developing and then profiting on players such as Holland and Bellingham. And he says, we need to find that next star young player. And we tell Sebastian, I may have a player in mind. So once again, let me know who we should sign, and we will make some moves in the next episode. Okay, I have become the new manager of Borussia Dortmund, my first coaching job in Europe. And there's a lot of pressure. We're trying to win Dortmund's first league title since 2000. 12 but there's a lot of competition here now we just made our first signing in kefren Turam, but to be competitive this year we might need more than that so if you want to see more of this series then drop a like and of course let's get into it now right now we're chilling at our home in germany in dortmund our new home and the transfer deadline day is only three days away so we need to come up with a transfer plan here now as we're doing this we see an article online that says dortmund have only made one signing in this window does tyster really think that's enough to challenge Bayern? yeah we're feeling the pressure here and we need to figure this out quick but okay Okay, it's time to meet with our sporting director of Bercy Dorman, Sebastian Kale. And we tell him, I have two players in mind. Now, they are young. They might not make an instant impact. But with time, these two can become stars. Now, the first player is Job Bellingham. Of course, Jude Bellingham's younger brother. Now, he's got some similarities to Jude. And I think at Dorman, we could unlock his potential. Just like they did with Jude as well. Now, he's currently playing at Sunderland and he's 65 rated. So, it's definitely a signing that's a project. He's not going to be too expensive. But it feels like a very Dortmund-like signing. Like, we're not going to try out and go sign the best players in the world. We're going to try to develop these young players into the best players in the world. Now, he is a cam, but I think he can play in the midfield as a number eight, too. So, pretty much as a number 10 or eight, he looks like a solid uh, backup option. So, we're going to give Sunderland about two million. That should work. And have we signed up the brother of Jude Bellingham 2.1? We can do that. This deal is going to happen. So, Job, following in the footsteps of his older brother, has signed for Borussia Dortmund as our second signing of this series. Now, I'm guessing it's pronounced Job, right? Like Job. It's not Joby. I actually have no idea. But on the back of his shirt, it's going to say Bellingham. And I'm hoping in this team, he is the next Bellingham for us. So, Job, welcome to to Borussia Dortmund. There's definitely some potential there to be unlocked. Now for the uh, second player we're going to sign, he's a little bit similar actually, and that is Shea Charles from Southampton, the 19-year-old Northern Ireland uh, CDM. Now he's very well-rounded, so he could play center back, he could play in the midfield, and it was one of your guys' suggestions from the comments. And hey, this guy looks like a future star, only 19 years old. And right now we only have actually three center backs in Schlotterbeck, uh, Schuller, and Hummels. So I want Charles to be kind of like a backup CDM, backup center back. He pretty much fits like a positional need. So with a signing just like Joe Bellingham, then it's for the future, it's a project sign. We got to develop him. But at Dortmund, I mean, of course, we're known for developing players. So I feel like this could be a very good investment here. I mean, 2.3 million. That's a no brainer to me. So Charles, welcome to Borussia Dortmund. I'm hoping that we just signed two future stars of this club. So for now, those two are going to sit on the reserves, but definitely this episode, they both will get their debuts at some point. Now we still have a lot of money here. We actually have uh, still 118 million, but I think we made one big signing in term as a starting midfielder. I think that's all we're going to do in this first window. We're going to try to keep things uh, as realistic as we can. So I feel like two young players of potential, Bellingham, Charles, uh, plus 
room. I feel like it's a solid first window. We are setting foundations for the identity of this club right now. And we've also sold Ryerson to West Ham for 18.4 million. Now, I know in real life, he's actually playing a little bit, but I like Ben Smiley a lot. And we have Ian Matson on loan from Chelsea. So I kind of feel like we're sorted there, where uh, Ryerson probably wasn't going to play that much. And if a player is not going to play, I pretty much like don't want to keep them. So not the craziest of windows, but that is the transfer window complete. Now, I really want to give Joe Bellingham his debut, but this next game might be a little bit too big for a debut like that. It is our first Champions League match of this season. And yeah, this season group stage, we are in the group of death here. PSG, Milan, and then Newcastle United. If we make it out of this group, it'll be a very big accomplishment. Because honestly, right now, it's not looking too good. And our first match is PSG versus Kylian Mbappe, which on our sliders is going to be an absolute nightmare, I think. Of course, Mbappe starts as striker for PSG. It's definitely a, not a bad team right there. Now, I am going to throw Bellingham on the bench. Let's throw him on the bench for uh, Uz Chan. Is it Uz Chan or Oz Chan? I actually don't know. So he is on the bench. I'm not sure if he's going to play. But we go with that. Pretty much the same starting 11 as in the first episode. Yeah, I feel like this game could go very well for us. We could uh, have a very, like, good, shockingly performance, but it could also go very bad. It's a very good test of where we're at, though, facing a very good team. But we are kicked off in France, and let's just see how we do. In the first episode, we won both of our first two Bundesliga games. We didn't face any good teams, though. Okay, Mbappe, that's an early foul. That should be, uh, that's gonna be a talking to. We haven't faced a really good team yet, so once again, this is a test. And yeah, Mbappe, I mean, already, he's gonna be a nightmare. He's already good in this game, but on our sliders, he's almost, like, impossible to defend, as he should be. Now, Dembele is also tough to defend. And Schlotterbeck trying to do something here. Okay, boys. Schlotterbeck, Schlotterbeck, there we go. Good tackle. And no, it goes right to Mbappe. And what is happening here? Hobo is going to save it. What a sloppy first sequence right there. Okay, Royce steals it from the corner, and now we can uh, breathe a little bit. And Armour is seeing how much of a challenge is going to be. Cobal makes a good save there. Gets it to Dembele again. Schlotterbeck, I mean, that's pretty much prevents a goal right there. But they are putting us under so much pressure right now that gets through to marino and they're gonna score the first goal of the game okay they have just smothered us in the first like what 12 minutes one nil down to psg if we get a bad start here man this group is gonna be so tough to get out of see if we can find something or get something going now totem gets it out wide to wolf wolf good play now Diemi. Diemi tries to get it back to wolf yes he does over to royce royce malin now goes for a finesse shot that was such a good chance but i think he's actually scuffed the shot a little bit oh mbappe's in he's probably gonna score this shula do something please gets it to marino and marino has two goals in the first 20 minutes mbappe is being like a decoy right now and marino is the one punishing us yeah we just did not come out of this game with the right intensity they have started way more aggressive than us and we are two goals down in 20 minutes hey we're still gonna try to do something okay that was a bad foul on uh, malin now royce gets it back to turam turam a chance to shoot here Chance to shoot, and it goes right to Donnarumma. Okay, we have been corners FC, and man, all our corners look so good. I don't know if it's the fact that Royce is there or it's uh, Haled, but crossing again, Sebastian Haled gets to it, and that is so close to scoring again. Okay, we're coming into the game a little bit, you know, starting, starting to find our feet. Ram Malin gets it over to Adiemi. Adiemi's gonna stop. Now has a chance for a shot if he finds it. Adiemi shoots, but it's right at Donnarumma again. Now that's a great ball, but Kobol, Kobol. Does have that. Mbappe just ran into him. Mbappe, get off the floor. Oh, they've just been so hard to defend, bro. Mbappe lost that ball, though. That was very lucky for us. Now, Malin gets it up to Royce. I need Malin to make a run here, which he is. Get the ball to him. Now we got space. Malin, I need you to run here. It does run. Malin, Mike all the way himself. Mike all the way himself. And it's 2-1. Okay, simple counterattack. And we're back in this. Great finish by Daniel Malin. And also, Royce played pretty much a perfect pass to him. Okay, we are back in this. I like the fight back. Still got a lot of game left. And we keep losing the ball in bad spots and just keep allowing them to have good chances. Ben Spiney can only get a foot on that. That shot will be saved by Kobel, though. Dembele over to Mbappe. Mbappe, that touch is literally insane. Tracks it back to Dembele, and it's going to be 3-1. Yeah, just Mbappe, Dembele, Marino are literally just tearing us apart right now. Okay, it has been pretty much a reality check first half for us. We're seeing maybe how far we are from being like a Champions League winning team. I don't even know if PSG are a Champions League winning team, so that shows. It really shows, actually. We might get one more chance to attack before the first half is over. Malin waits for Marco Royce. Royce. Gets it back into Sebastian Allaire, who does shoot. Oh, that needed to be a goal there. I wanted it to go to Malin, actually, instead. Okay, Royce. Corner in. Looks decent. Shula. No, someone could be there for a rebound. That was fall. That fell right there. Wait, chance is not dead yet. Adiemi will shoot across goal. That's going to be blocked, though, and that will be cleared. Okay, 3-1 halftime. I think we're still in this, though, actually. If we get this second early on in the second half, I feel like we definitely have a chance. Now, if they score their fourth, though, in the second half, we should probably just uh, pack our bags and head back home. Because this could also turn into a embarrassment as well. And we're just having so much trouble, like, simple things like passing out the back. That aggressive play style we have, but definitely the team has got to used to it more. Because against a good team, we are struggling. Cobol, that was very good goalkeeping, though. All right, Turam up to Adeyemi, into Hilaire, over to Royce. This is good. Royce into Malin. Could get that second back, but Marquinhos, what a defensive play. Duram, chance to shoot, maybe? Okay, Ugarte just steals that like it's nothing from us. Emery Chan out to Wolf. Now, Wolf's got options here. Gonna go to Turam. Turam has a pass into Sebastian Hilaire, who does shoot. That needs to be in the back of the net, though. Donnarumma, what a save. 
Oh my, you gotta be kidding me. That tackle led to the ball falling to Mbappe. Okay, we were just not meant to win this game. Like, that was just so unlucky. 4-1 to PSG. Okay, I'm gonna give Joe Bellingham's debut. See if he can get some energy into this game. Let's do Makoko for Haled, and then also let's do uh, Nemecha for Taram. That is just so unfortunate. I feel like we were gonna get back in this and score that second, but now they score their fourth. Now it just feels like so much tougher. And Spaini into Joe Bellingham. First touch for Dortmund. Now Malin crossover all the way to what well, was gonna go to Aniemi, but it just was hit too much there. Oh, Mbappe is just a literal nightmare for us right now. Job, see if we can get a good ball. Actually, a good ball to Adiemi. Adiemi to Nemecha. Nemecha. Now, you Wolf, I need you to make a run here. Thank you, Wolf. Now, you're going to cross this in, which cross in looks decent. Joe Bellingham goes for the header. Makoko rebound, and it's going to be saved. And Job almost scored on his debut. Okay, this is some good passing here. This is some very good passing from us. Malin, Makoko over to Job. Joe Bellingham. No, I was going to try to play it to Makoko right back to him. And now Mbappe. I mean, he's just too fast. Koble, do you have this? Koble, he does not have it. It's 5-1. I knew it. On these sliders, Mbappe is a nightmare to defend, as he should be, though, in real life. I feel like it's almost realistic. Like, he should be a nightmare to defend, you know? Yeah, we have been slapped this game, unfortunately. I'm honestly seeing some positive things from the younger players, but yeah, we just couldn't contain their attack. Emery Chan, Adiemi gives it off to Makoko. Makoko is going to find. Okay, we try to find Job there. This has been a reality check, and it might get worse. That's going to get. Okay, Koble, I need you to dive for that at least. 6 1 loss to PSG. I feel like probably a 4 1 loss is probably right for us. I feel like 6 1 is harsh. I don't think we've played that bad as 6 1 loss uh, shows. So I think that's harsh on us, but we still got slapped here. Now, they're going to make it seven here. Come on, boys. You've already won. Don't make it seven. Oh, man, my team is just, they've just given up. That's a good tackle. Nemecha will clear that. Okay, full time. That is a 6-1 loss, but it more realistically feels like a 4-1 loss. Still, though, right there, we saw it, the challenge of making it out of this group. It is, uh, it's not going to be easy. I will say, though, Bellingham came on. He actually almost scored on his debut, so he actually looked really good. Like, a lot better than you think for a 65-rated player. So we may have found uh, the next Dortmund star in him, but now it's time to send our youth scouts out to actually find the next Dortmund star for us. Now, from the comments and also the press conference, I think I know what countries I want to scout. So first one, we're going to go, we're going to go to Norway and we're going to look for a striker for three months. Now for the next one, we're going to go to uh, Africa. We're going to go to Egypt and look for a right winger. And then the last one, we're going to go England last one and just uh, pretty much just scout any, I think. But Norway striker, Egypt, right wing, and also uh, England. I'm hoping these three scouts find us the next star because we need them right now. So next up on our schedule is uh, Wolfsburg. And Wolfsburg have started four wins out of four games. So they're in first. They might be the real deal. Now I think for this game, I'm going to put Charles on the bench for uh, maybe Hummels. I want to try to get him his debut this game, but I think Royce, I'm going to rest him for Julian Brandt. I'm going to rest Adeyemi for Sancho. I'm going to give him the start. Actually, let's give Vino Giddens the start. Let's start him. He's not a chance to play. I like that. This band's got a lot of pace, and I think we will go with that this game. So facing the first place team right now, talk about a test with PSG and then a test in the Bundesliga. Just uh, hopefully this one is better than a 6-1 loss. Our passing last game was so bad. Like getting out the back, we gave it up so much. So we got to be better with that this game. Now Turam into Vino Giddens. Gets to do Haled. Haled, Vino Giddens to Turam. This is not a bad first move. Crossover that goes right off that guy's hand. That should be handball. Okay, Ben Spaini has space here on the left. Got no one across it to, though. Halet is not in the middle. All right, get it back to Chan. Chan, options in the middle. That pass has got to be so much better, though. Why is that pass so slow? Apparently, we have the best defense in the first uh, four games. Talk about 6 1 loss to PSG, though. How about that? Now, Turam goes for a actually very good shot. Man, that had a lot of whip to it, and it hit like the back post of the goal. Okay, that's some skill from our new signing, Turam. I like that. Julian gets to a lad into Turam. Turam into a lad. A lad plays it through to Malin and oh, rebound. And that's in the back of the net. Okay, this has been a better start. And hey, Sebastian Haled is on fire right now. I know in the comments, I saw that Fulkrug's playing and Haled might be sold. But in the game right now, Haled is the better striker. So I'm playing him. And he's, like, he's scoring goals for us. Like right place, right time. Just was first to it. Okay, one nil in the 15th minute. Now that's good ball behind though. Okay, Wolf. Wolf, I need you here. This is dangerous. Come on, we can't concede right after scoring. Please. Oh, Oh, that's such a good skill right there. Emery Chan. Is that a penalty? Oh, that was so close. That was so risky. Julian Brandt plays it to Malin, who's on side. He should be on side. Now, Malin has a cross to Hillet. Actually, he's going to go. No one is there for that. I was aiming at actually Turam. And our fullbacks are honestly not that fast. And that's a shot. Koble thankfully saves that one. And these wingers are like beating Wolf uh, pretty easily. Wolf is honestly not the quickest. Now, Bino Giddens just clear that. I'm not messing around with that. That close to the net. Just clear that thing. Now, Bino Giddens gives it to Julian Brandt. I feel like Julian Brandt might maybe should start with a Royce. But Bino Giddens cross. That is, oh, that looked like not a bad cross, but rebound. Turam gets it back to Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt over to Malin. Over to Ben Spaini. No, that was such a good chance. Oh, this should be 2 0 right now. Oh, no. Can't let him score it after that. Can't let him score. Please, no. Shula, I need you. Shula. Oh, my. That is, again, another rough tackle, but apparently it's clean. And we survived that. And we are finding space on the wings here, though. Malin to Haled. Haled has someone in the middle. It's going to be Bino Gins who shoots. And, okay, Turam volley attempt, and that's going to be saved again. Bro, like, these shots got to go in. Corner. Okay, that's not 
actually not bad. Sebastian Hled, it, I can't believe how much he's scoring. And again, we are corner FC, corner merchants. That is 2 0 to Borussia Dortmund. Bro, this one didn't even look that good. Like, it was such a low cross. I don't know how it got by the first man there, but he just missed it. And then Hled, what a header. He's showing why he's playing right now. Like, that is a beautiful header. Okay, that goal was big because they look like uh, getting back in the game. But 2 0, we are in a much better spot now. Come on, still got to stay defensively focused here. No mistakes. Don't let him back in the game before the second half. Schlotterbeck, Schlotterbeck. Good tackle by Schlotterbeck. Okay, Julian Brand has so much space here Julian and you pick it a right pass gets it over to let Hillet turns waits waits for it gets it to Ben Spiney you know the chance to shoot goes for the shot and that is gonna go wide and he's had two chances now we probably should have scored okay though it's halftime after a 6-1 loss that was a really good bounce back first half right there still got a lot of work to do though Oh, no, you're kidding me. Man, Wolf is having such a hard time on the wing here. And that's going to be a penalty for Wolfsburg. We just let them back in this game. Man, he actually got the ball a little bit, and he kind of just went down, though. Okay, Koble, I need you here. Koble to save this penalty, and... Oh, we went the right way, but it went right over him. Okay, Wolfsburg are back in this game two minutes into the second half. That's literally a nightmare start. Yeah, I feel like for the future, we're probably going to need a fullback that's just quicker, especially a right back. But okay, let's try and score this third, get that two-goal lead back. We can do that, then we'll be in a good shape again. Malin, Ben Spiney. Yeah, it's back to Malin. Malin over to Bino Giddens. That shot is going to be blocked, though. Cross in, and then, okay, Ben Spiney. That is not the direction that you want to clear the ball at all. Oh, no, they're going to score this. They're going to score this. Okay, Ben Spiney, cross. he literally cleared that into our own uh, our own stands, basically. Okay, we can't do another penalty, but man, they're just dribbling in our box so much. Bino Giddens, that's a very good tackle right there. Emery Tran, great ball to Wolf. Wolf gets it back to Bino Giddens, who's got space to attack now. In the box, looking dangerous. Pass over, and oh, that's going to be cleared. Oh, I saw it tapping right there for a second. Karam into Ian Brandt. Julian Brandt into Sebastian Haled, and that is the hat trick for Sebastian Haled, and it's 3-1. That is a huge goal right there in this game, because I felt like they were going to make a comeback. And Julian Brandt has been pulling the strings today. But Haled has been the finisher. Okay, I'm going to put Emery Chan at center back. And then we're going to bring on the new signing, uh, Charles, at CDM. And then I think we're going to do Adeyemi for uh, Mao. Let's do that. Come on, this would be a very big win against the current first place team. And also, the bounce back after a PSG. Oh my, I'm going to throw up, bro. I'm actually going to throw up right now. What did we just do? I tried passing it back to a center back in Koble. Like now thinking about it, I should have just cleared it. But that pass was meant for Slaughterback. Oh, I just can't believe we just did that, bro. Okay, 3-2 now, 20 minutes left. This is now a game again. Two times we've left them back in the game. Like we're beating ourselves at this point. Not Wolves for beating us. It's literally us. Oh man, that is a momentum swing too. We got to keep our heads on straight. Adiyam, you have space. They're trying to get back in it. And if we could seal this here, I would love that. Vince Baini, cross up to someone. No. Oh, that was not meant for Adeyemi. Header to Terem. Terem. No, that touch was so, that touch was so heavy from him, though. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Then we don't get back. That's a crossover to an open man. And that goes in and it's 3-3. Bro, we've literally just lost the lead because of ourselves this game. We got 12 minutes and it's tied up now. This should be 3-1. We still fight, though. There's still a chance to win this game. There's also a chance to lose it still. Now, Julian Brandt. Emirates. Actually, Charles. Well, first touch. Welcome to the club. Now, Julian Brandt. Chance for a finesse shot. That felt good, but it's going to be saved. Bro, it's like been the biggest momentum swing. Okay, uh, Emery Chan, do you want to mark your man? Wolf, why did Emery Chan let that man just run right by him? Okay, last sub is Nemecha on for Turam, just for fresh legs, basically. We got five minutes cross in. That is cleared. Now, Julian Brand, can you win that? Oh, not quite. This, we are we going to lose this game, bro? Are we going to lose it after being through one up? Please, no. Slaughterbeck makes tackle, and we get it out, I think. Sebastian Aled over to Kareem Adiemi. Oh, doesn't have the pace here. Needs help. Adiemi. Get it to Ian Brandt, to Haled, Haled to Adeyemi, over to, no, that was the pass, it just couldn't get through. Oh, that was totally the pass, it just needed to get right between those defenders. Okay, I'm glad we didn't lose, but man, 3-1 up, this is two drop points right here, like, we literally lost this game due to ourselves. Okay, now, the next game is against AC Milan in the Champions League, which after our loss versus PSG, if we lose this game too, we might be knocked out of the Champions League already. So, we're gonna sim this game because we're gonna play Milan probably on the reverse fixture uh, at the San Siro, so I'm hoping the boys can at least get a draw here at the very least. I am gonna play Julian Brandt over uh, Royce though for this game and this game is gonna be it's gonna be a 1-1 draw okay you know what Haleda scores again I think I'll take that a draw I'll take that now a few days later we're sitting at our house and we currently have a meeting scheduled with one of our players so he's about to be here we're gonna go in the backyard have a little talk relax because we need to ask our club captain a favor here so we sit down with Marco Royce and we say what do you think of Job and Royce says he reminds me a lot of Jude but not quite as experienced and we say yeah we think he can be a very important player for us but he needs a mentor and we want that to be you under your 
your guide? I think he can reach his potential. And Royce says, all right, I hear you. He says, I'll make sure to teach him what I know. So Marco Royce has become Joe Bellingham's mentor. So what that means is Marco Royce is teaching Joe Bellingham all he knows. And that includes Marco Royce's play styles. So before Joe Bellingham had zero play styles, he had nothing. But with Marco Royce's mentorship, now he has grown. So he's got the same base play styles that Royce has that he's taught him. And he's also received a very big boost up to 74 rated now. I mean, when you're 18 learning from a club legend like Marco Royce, that is sure to accelerate your growth. So Job is taking a big leap here. And that's going to be very important for us this season. Now, our next game is again in the Champions League and it's versus Newcastle United. So currently we are bottom of this group, but we're not out of it yet. Milan have drawn twice and a Newcastle of us have drawn one and lost one. So we're still in this. I think PSG are going to finish first. So it's basically us versus Milan and Newcastle to finish second. And this next game versus Newcastle is so big to keep our Champions League hopes alive. Now, once again, Julian Brandt starts for Royce. I mean, Brandt has just been playing better, honestly. Um, Bellingham goes to the bench this game and Eddie Emi is not sharp at all. That might be an issue here. I think I'm going to start Bino Giddens over Eddie Emi due to that. So versus Newcastle away, we go with that lineup right there. Now, once again, if we win this, we'd be right back on track in the Champions League. I feel like Newcastle are good, but they're definitely more, uh, they're definitely worse than PSG. So if we could win this, it would be so big. We can't make mistakes like last game. If we got the lead, we got to keep it. Vince Maini over to Malin. Malin has been so good on the left wing, honestly. Now he is going to cross this in to Turam. Okay, that might fall kindly. No, it does not. That was a very awkward cross. Turam blocks that pass. Isak gets it over. That needs to be a good touch there. And oh man, we just got cut apart again. It's 1-0 to Newcastle. Oh, those one-touch passes just destroyed us though. Like we're kind of out of position here. Like Emery Chan's all the way out of position at CDM. So that, that's what caused the issues initially. But they just combined so well there. Barnes scores. And it's another nightmare start. Seven minutes in. Here we go. I try and fight back here. Vince Maini over to Malin. Now, can we get a better cross this time? We're going to try to cross over. That looked good, but it goes right to Pope. Karam in to Bino Gins, out to Wolf. Now, Wolf over to Julian Brandt, who outside the boot shot. That was such a good shot, but it's a good save. Corner swung in. Haled, are you a corner master? Yes, you are, but we're not going to score that one. Okay, they got a free kick in a semi-dangerous spot, but I don't think they would score this. Thomas Lamar just hit the crossbar. They would have scored that. I would have packed our bags myself. Okay, Haled gets it over to Malin. Malin has a passing maybe. Okay, but yeah, we needed a better pass than that. That was terrible. Dolentin gets it. Isak, this is dangerous, but Shula, that's a strong tackle. Wolf, and okay, we said it be a corner. I'll take that. That did look dangerous. Corner in. In Isak header attempt, and it's gonna be 2-0 to Newcastle United. But we're just getting like destroyed. Our passing is nowhere near good enough. Feels like PSG, like we are just the non-aggressive team in this matchup when we should be. It's Maini into Malin. Malin could feed in Haled. Does feed in Haled, but that shot is right at Pope. Oh, we're still in this. If you score one, we're still in this. Julian Brandt. Oh, man. Once again, it's just like one pass destroys all of our momentum there. And then we're so open for a counterattack. Turim, that's a good tackle, but okay, he won it back. Julian Brandt, that's a good tackle. Bino Giddens to Haled. Haled, get right back to him. Now, Bino Giddens, use your pace. That's a foul, right? Apparently, I think that was clean, actually. I think Bobman, that was a good tackle. Brandt over to Bino Giddens. This could be a chance here. Bino Giddens through to Haled. Haled just doesn't have the pace to reach that. Like, we're getting into the game more. We just got to score this and get back in it. Julian Brandt to Haled. Haled, back heel. So, see, that pass is just so bad from Haled. That's nowhere near Turam. Now, granted, it's a tough pass to pull off, but that was just nowhere near him. Basically gave it right to Newcastle player just into a counterattack with Shula. Clear that, and that might be halftime. That is halftime. Okay, we're only 1-0 down. We're going to need to relax. We are still in this game. But I just said we're 1-0 down. Uh, we are 2-0 down. I need to get the score right. So if we make it 2-1, we can definitely get back in this. We cannot go down 3-0, though. That would be curtains for us. Maybe in the Champions League, Koba will save that shot. Isak can't get that pass through. Slaughterback, Slaughterback, I need you to win that ball back. Oh, man. I think Koba barely saved that one. Amidon, crossover. Koba, I thought you'd grab that one. He just punched it out almost towards the net. Amidon gets it back to Gumadas. And Spaini good tackle. We just can't win it back, though. Okay, there we go. Julian Brandt made a good tackle again. Emery Chan out to Julian Brandt again. I need pace on the wings. Like, where's the pace, guys, at? Where are we at, boys? Julian Brandt over to Malin. Is he onside? Please be onside still. Is he onside? Yes, he is. Malin shoots, and Pope makes a very good save. Come on, score here. This would be big. That is gonna be Shula, but it's gonna be cleared. This might be game. Shula blocks that uh, shot. Thankfully, Joensen's offside. Okay, we got 30 minutes. Gotta score this first goal, though, at least. Malin again onside. Now, wait for Haled. Actually, get it back to Julian. Julian has, uh, Turim in the middle, maybe. Okay, Julian Brandt was just taken out there by uh, Jolinton. That's going to be a free kick. Now, is this scoring range? It actually might be. It's got to be Julian Brandt. So, Julian from pretty far out. We're doing a lot of power on this. Julian, if you score this, it'd be big. That's going to fall. Oh, man, that could have fell to Turim for a rebound shot. Julian. Okay, Julian Brandt is injured, which is not good. But Turim 
A chance to get one back, and we've got one back. 2-1. Okay. Great uh, first goal from our new signing. And we are back in this now. Hopefully, Liam Brand is not hurt badly. He is injured, although he had a good pass there. Okay, Turam. Good finish. Okay, I don't want Brand getting injured more, so Bellingham on for him. Big moment for Joe Bellingham. And I think Sancho for Bino Gins. Let's do that. And I think we leave it at that for now. Come on, if we could draw this, that'd be a pretty big draw away from home. Bro, Lamar is just... He's a cheat code as a midfielder because he's so fast and good dribbling. He can just dribble through like a winger. I mean, he basically is a winger too, so it makes sense. Ball day crossover. Emery Chan. Good clearance. Jolinton. Isak gets it through. It's going to be Almond on shot. Koba will save that. Okay, time is running out. We got 20 minutes. Job. Good ball to Ben Spiney. Now Ben Spiney. In to Malin. Malin. No, man. I need you to get that pass off. He tried turning. Emery Chan. Okay, that's not the tackle I wanted. Bro, he just skips over it now. If they score this third, it's going to be heartbreaking. Crossover. Please clear that. No, no. You're kidding me. Oh, thank you. Cobalt makes that save. That was such an unfortunate cross. Corner in. And Hale will clear that. Lamar against. Well, come on. Win this ball back. We got a chance. Come on. Gets it to Isak. Isak looking for a shot. Teammates. I need teammate pressing here. That's going to be a shot. Cobalt. Good save. And that's going to be another corner with 10 minutes left. Oh, what kind of corner? What kind of cross is that? Oh, that's going to fall. That is just so unlucky. I can't believe how unlucky that is. We made a tackle top of the box, I think, and the ball just fell to Isak in front of Koble. Like, we had a touch right there. Actually, it might have been a good pass. I don't know. But for him to reach Isak there with all of us running at him, oh, it's just so bad. That might be the nail in the coffin for us. If we lose this, I'm not sure we make it out of the Champions League. Sancho led into Job Bellingham, who will shoot that. Good shot, but Pope saves it. Gotta score here. Got to score here. And Haled off the line. Oh, that's not gonna be a rebound either. Oh, we have just been We've been very unlucky today. I'll say that. PSG was very unlucky at times. Wolfsburg was pretty much our own fault, but I feel like there's so many chances which do not favor us. And that cross is blocked right out to Barnes. You gotta be kidding me. Now it's a counterattack. That is exactly what I'm saying. All right, Sancho just run, play the final whistle. Can we get a consolation here? Pass to uh, Turam. Back to Emery Chan. Back to the middle. And Spaini just destroyed him. In to Haled. Over to Malin. Malin shoots, and that's going to be a corner. Bro, I'm seeing so many good things. I feel like we're not playing that bad. It's just there's a feeling, a sense of unluckiness in these games. So we now need, like, uh, Newcastle and Milan to lose. And we need a lot of things going in our favor to make it out of the Champions League. Like, losses to PSG Newcastle hurts so much. So it's not quite impossible, but it is looking rough in the Champions League for us. Now, Bundesliga, it's been a little bit better. We are sitting in sixth, though, after uh, eight games. We're, like, now drawing too many games. But we're still only seven points off Bayern, uh, four points off Wolfsburg in third. So we knew this was going to be a challenge. We knew it was going to be a journey. And we've only made three changes so far in Turan, Bellingham, and Charles. But to make this team the best team in the world, we're going to need more. We're going to need development. And like I said, it's going to be a journey. And all oh, just more bad news. Julian Brandt has a broken toe, and he's out for three months. He was playing so well, too. That's so unfortunate. So I guess that means that Joe Bellingham gets a bigger role for the rest of, uh, I guess, the winter period. So we're going to see more of him. But okay, next episode, our scouts come back. So Norway, Egypt, and England. And I'm hoping to find some positivity here. Hopefully we find the next Dortmund youth star. Okay, I am the new manager of Borussia Dortmund. And we are trying to dethrone Bayern and also the rest of the Bundesliga. Now, so far we've made three signings. Kefren Turam, Shea Charles, and also Job Bellingham, the next Jude Bellingham. I mean, hey, he's literally his brother. But it's been a bit of a rocky start here. Especially especially in the Champions League. Today will be a decisive episode for this group of death. And also, finally, our youth scouts have returned and they may have found a gem. So if you want to see more of this series, then drop a like and let's get back into it. Now we start this episode at our house. We're making some breakfast or uh, at least trying to when we get a text from our sporting director that says, hey Ty, our scouts in Norway have sent over a report. Take a look, he says. So we get right to our TV, load up the highlights. And yeah, after watching this, our scouts may have found something here. Now, once again, last episode, we sent finally our youth scouts out and we sent them to Norway, Egypt, and England. Now, unfortunately, England, Egypt, we found nothing. But in Norway, Leas Meyer, he might have found something, but he's going to be back in a few more days with a more detailed report on this certain player. So until then, we have probably the biggest game of the first half of our season, at least in the league. We are facing the most heated rival we have, Bayern Munich. So already early on, our first meeting with Bayern. Now, they have not lost a game yet. They got seven wins and two draws in nine games. We currently sit, what, seven points off them? So, man, this is going to be such a tough game. Our team has been very, uh, uh, inconsistent. And now after losing Julian Brandt for three months with a broken toe, we're going to need Joe Bellingham to step up. And bro, that is such a strong Bayern lineup there. That is insane. So I feel like this is going to be rough. Now, I think I might start Jaden Sancho at this left attack and mid spot because Royce is tired. And Royce, I mean, he's, he's so slow now. I feel like we got to use him like sparingly. So I'm going to try Sancho at cam and we go with that against Bayern. And I'm a, I'm a little scared here. You know, I thought we'd have more time to like develop the team, get used to it more before we face Bayern. But nope, here we are already. At least we're home. I mean, that's a good thing. But bro, this Bayern team is just insane. So we're kicked off and uh, let's just see how we do. Let's be positive here. Maybe we can get a draw. Maybe we can get a win. You know, we're going to try. Now, Turam. 
New sign to get us started. Hey, that was not a bad shot from uh, Kefren Turam. Now, Kareem Adeyemi. We have been lethal from corners, and I think Shula got to that, but it might have been blocked, too. Adeyemi, cross again. That is... Uh, let's go to Malin. Malin hits the crossbar, I think. Sancho goes for a volley attempt, but that goes right at Neuer. Okay, not a bad start from us. Adeyemi into Sancho. Sancho, back to Adeyemi. Adeyemi, good dribble. Now, Wolf has got Turam. Oh, man, that pass needs to be so much better, though. That was a tough one, I'll admit. Okay, Gary Kane got injured early on. Maybe on that corner, so he's already hurt. That's big for Bayern. Davies. Davies, Wolf, the decent there. Decent, Wolf. Okay, that was some very good defending from Wolf, actually. Yeah, if Kane has to be taken off, that's a big moment early on in this game. But I feel like he's probably going to run it off. Okay, I like this start now. Turam in a decent spot. See if we can find some space. Sancho, keep it. Wolf into Turam. Turam, again, I got to play that pass better. Adiemi gives it a Wolf. Now, this left side with Davies has been so tough to attack, but this looks good. Goes to Jaden Sancho, and that's 1-0 to Borussia Dortmund. Okay, 22 minutes in. This has been such a good start. We've been like the aggressive team here. And hey, Sancho in that camera spot. You guys have said to do it. And yeah, it might be a pretty good uh, position for him. Our new number 10 scores, and it's 1-0. Come on, if we win this, it would be so big for momentum. Just showing that we can beat a big team like this. I feel like this game is probably not going to end up being... 1-0 because they've already scored. I accidentally dragged the defender, I think, away from Musiala there. I thought I was controlling the left center back. And okay, it's 1-1 just like that. Yeah, I think that was pretty much my fault. I don't think that was my defense. I think that was me. Okay, I mean, we knew. 1-0 wasn't going to win this game. We knew that already. Still, it's been a positive start. Cameron Cham and Turam, great work there. Eddie Emmy gives it to a lad. Okay, he just got he just got manhandled and we manhandled Komen. And then Wolf comes back. Can't get the ball from Komen, though. This is dangerous. Musiala, chance to shoot. Oh, Schlotterbeck, what happened there? I don't know, but Koble, what a save. This could be 2-1 to Bayern right now. Sancho, good ball to Malin. Malin through. Oh, Vince Baini, I need space here. We can't find it, though. Sancho in to Malin. Malin will shoot to Lick. That's a good block, though. Sancho, Vince Baini. Okay, I was going to cross that in. That was such a bad touch from Vince Baini. Man, they are tearing us apart right now. Our fullbacks just aren't quick enough. Kane, okay, Shula, good tackle there. That's a shot, and Koble will save that. Yeah, our fullbacks are just not fast enough to keep up these wingers right now. I feel like it's one of our biggest issues right now as a team, as our defense. That's a header, and Koble, another big save uh, from Kim Min Jae. Yeah, Byron, I've truly gotten to this game. Koble, good catch, though. Wolf into Turam. Turam gets it into Adiemi. Adiemi into. Sebastian Led, who will shoot, and okay, we have taken the lead. That is like so against run to play for the last like 20 minutes. But Sebastian Led is just on fire this season. It's something that is like so unexpected, but great finish to make it 2 1. Okay, that is big for confidence. And we go into halftime with the lead here. Come on, I want to win this so bad. If we can win this, it would be once again, it'd be so big. It might take like four goals, though. I don't know. Wolf, not a bad ball to Adiemi. No, I need runners, though. Adiemi is going to cross that in. Oh, that almost fell kindly to a Led there. Emre Chan into Sancho. Sancho, two. Kareem, Adiemi goes for a little shot and Neuer makes that save. All right, Musiala gets a yellow for an earlier tackle. This was cynical, actually. Look at that. That is that is two legs into Wolf. That should be a red. Sancho crossing. Sebastian Hale header attempt. Oh my. That goes off the crossbar and also off the defender, I think. Bro, how unlucky could we get from hitting the crossbar there? Well, that's a rush clearance, but somehow it goes right to Kimmich. Oh, once again, Sana and Komen are just torching Ben Spaini and Wolf on pace, but we're barely hanging on here. Into Mazrawi, Mazrawi. No, that's bad. This is very bad. Kimmich on Ken. Emery Chan. Is that a foul? That's not a foul. Kane. Kane, let him shoot. Good block. Second chance for Limer. Limer. It still gets through. Sané shoots, and then, oh, you got to be kidding me. Outside the box, screamer from Leroy Sané. Okay, 60th minute, it's 2-2. I didn't think he was going to score from this far out. Like, we had a lot of people there, just no one can block the shot, but, I mean, it's pretty much just a perfect shot. Okay, 2-2. Once again, I feel like probably three or four might win this game, but two is not going to win it. Oh, three might win it for them. Musiala on Koble. No, they're going to score that. They just broke free. It is now 3-2 to Bayern in the 63rd minute. And it's like, as the game goes on, we just get more defensively weak. Like, way more fragile as time goes on. Okay. Okay, now after having a 2-1 lead, we're down 3-2. I mean, right now, we're far away from Bayern in terms of quality, so I feel like they should win this game of anything, so us putting up a fight, I'll take that as a small positive so far. But there's still a chance for more. Adiemi, get it over to Aled. Oh, man, Kimmich's going to sniff that one out, though. Whoa, that's a great tackle from Wolf. Adiemi is running here. He might get around to Ligti Will. Gets it to Jaden Sancho. Get into a decent spot. Oh, man, there's no angle here. Okay, get it to Turam. Turam, over to Emre Chan. You pass here, man. Emre Chan. Haled gets it over. No, there were people open on the right side. Oh, man. Look at the pace from Coleman. That was that was a penalty. How was it a penalty? Wait, I didn't even see what happened. I didn't even see the penalty here. 
Pullman goes to, okay, wait, wait, that might be a penalty. In the last like 30 minutes of this game, they have just taken it to us. Kane versus Koble. Koble is not going to save that. Bro, we had such a good chance to win this game. It's just right now, Bayern are the better team. Oh, it's just so heartbreaking this game, bro. Bro, literally, as the game goes on, we just get worse and worse and worse defensively. And I don't know why. It's 5-2 to Bayern. Like all of a sudden, these teams just can't stop scoring against us like late game. Okay, we got subs on. We got Joe on. We got Nemech on. We got Ian Matson at left back. And when I said this would be the most challenging series we've done so far in this game, FC24, I was not lying these sliders are no joke but you know what it's actually a challenge which so far this year i haven't really had much of in this game so with that in mind it is satisfying it will be when we try to win everything it's just right now this team i was a decent shot right there this team needs a lot of work we are not to byron's quality at all right now it'd be nice if they can stop trying to embarrass me though or the cpu is just ruthless against me right now in two okay that's a good save and we'll get that out it's gonna be a 5-2 loss it really feels more like a 3-2 loss because when they scored that third one it was pretty much game bro like 2-1 probably 40 minutes left we could have won this game that easily it shows how close we are but also how far we are from being where we want to be there is still some positives that we can take though i think for like maybe three fourths of that game the team actually looked really good it's just the Defensively, Wolf is not the quickest. I mean, he has decent pace, but he doesn't feel that quick. And then I like Benz by any, but he's not quick at all. And I feel like for a modern left back, you need pace. So honestly, I might try starting uh, Matson because he's quicker. The uh, Chelsea Loney. See if that helps out because I just feel like we can't keep up with these uh, fast wingers. Now, next game is uh, versus Newcastle United. Now, we lost to them in Newcastle last episode. If we don't win this, there's pretty much no chance of getting out of this group. Now, since we already played them, we're going to sim this game, which it is going to be. It's going to be a 1 0 win. Okay, Eddie Emmy, 54th minute score is basically a winner. Hey, that's very lucky, but we're alive in the Champions League still. So two games left. We're two points behind Milan. So we need to beat them next game. That Milan game next is so big. But okay, a few days later, we have a meeting with Sebastian Kale. And he says, what do you think of that Norway report about Kai Jakobsen? So these right here are the highlights that our youth scouts sent us. And it's about a player whose name is Kai Jakobsen. Now he's a Norwegian six foot striker prospect who's got a lot of similar qualities as a young Erling Holland. Like he's tall. He's got good jumping. He's got speed. And it looks like he knows how to score inside the box. Now he still needs a lot of development but he looks special and we tell sebastian i think we can get him first team minutes this season so sign him up now here is the report itself there's kai jacobson once again he's six foot he's got a wide range of overall potential kind of a wild card you could be good could be very bad but we are going to sign him up and hey he's a bit of a, a prospect here in the world as fabrizio romano tweets where is the adornment of signed 17 year old wonder kid kai jacobson maybe the next erling holland and hey not gonna lie he looks very solid 69 rated so he's got four star skills three star weak foot he's got a decent pace actually so uh, he's pretty fast for being six foot and he's also got 77 finishing already so that is definitely not bad at all and it says he has four to five play styles and that could be huge for him too so honestly he looks ready for a call up maybe to get his uh, debut soon so we're gonna promote him of course and okay he's showing great potential so not the highest potential i don't think i mean that could always change but he's got the flare trickster quick step and also aerial uh, play style so that looks actually really good and um, we'll give him probably number 29 or something like that let's do 29 now we already have full crew give have is playing good makoko but i want to try and get jacobson his debut in this episode see if he is the next holiday I don't know though if we can do it in this game versus AC Milan because like we just said if we lose this we're pretty much out of the Champions League I think but if we win we have a really good chance going in the final day well actually we'd have to then beat PSG or draw against them so it's tough no matter what that's why they call it the group of death so against AC Milan at San Siro we try and survive here now I am going to throw Jakobsen on the bench over Makoko for this game otherwise we go with the normal starting 11 and once again this is just such a big game so even if we win it's still tough but if we lose I feel like that's pretty much we're done then we got to try and hope for the Europa League or Conference League or something then I don't know. So to survive the group of death, we need to win this game. Let's try and do our best. Matson at left back, see if more pace helps us out. We've had like no problem starting games, really just been like the middle of the game towards the end. Just the team completely falls apart. Okay, soon I'm saying that. Nope. Maybe it's the opposite. Oh my, what a block. Koble just saved us there. I almost gave up. That looked like a good chance, and Koble saves us again. Koble, what a save. Okay, Milan showing why. They are currently second in this group. Tamari shoots. That's blocked. Okay, we are under pressure right now. It's not sure we're as good as these teams in the group with us. Like, ace them a lot. I'm not sure we're better than them. I'm really not sure. Layout against Slaughterbeck. Slaughterbeck, good defending, and we do survive. Our corner by Layout. That should be out by Hillet. It is. Wolf, please clear that Wolf. Okay, good clearance. Relieve some pressure on us. Okay, Wolf, good tackle there. It's actually a great tackle. Now, Mullen's making a run. Hillet, I see you. We got a cross on B. Hillet. Decent cross. Actually, not that good of a cross. Tamari's going to get that easily. Ram, back to Emery Chan. In to Malin. That first touch is so bad. I actually meant that pass to go to Hillet and not Malin. Now, I am thinking about playing like a 4 2 3 1. Maybe having two pivots or two CDMs might help us. I think I might try that if things go very bad still, but we're still trying to make this 4 3 3 work. It's just not looking good. And Leao's going to score that. It's 1 0 to Milan. Bro, I just feel like these teams are just currently better than us. Like this, getting out of this group was always going to be tough, but it is proving to be a nightmare. But we're not going to give up. We're going to keep pushing here. Just one goal at a time. Try to get back in this. And it's Royce. Royce, see if we can pick out a pass here. Get it. It's Turim has got space. Now, Turim. 
Chance for a shot, and uh, that's a decent save. All right, cross in by Royce. Haled, decent header. Oh, man, if that would have went in, that would have been so nice. Royce, crossing again. Haled, that looks very good. Oh, Haled, you got to put that in, though. How do you miss that? He's the heading specialist. That was right in front of the net. And into Royce. Come on, keep pushing. Royce, out to Wolf. We got space. We have a cross, though. Wolf, we're going to try to cross it right there. Okay, that was deflected. Is that handball? That's handball, at least. Now, I feel like this is not really a uh, shooting range. I mean, we might actually catch the keeper off guard here. We're going to shoot her. We're going to shoot her, Royce. Why not? He's got good free kicks. So, over the wall, that bounces. Terem, oh, I, I was hoping for a bounce, like, right into a Haled, but that didn't really work. Okay, that should be half time. We're only 1 0 down, though. We're still in this. We might switch the formation half time, though. I want to try the. Uh, uh, four two three one i think so we're gonna try this in the second half maybe like structurally it makes more sense with our uh, term and chan being uh, on the same level with each other than royce has the more like clear number 10 so we're gonna try this you know, maybe the four three three holding was a bit more progressive than we needed like, maybe a bit too advanced for this team all right into sebastian Aled goes for a shot oh man that looked like a good chance but it's blocked okay, Manata is running by schlotterbeck this is not good shula shula needs to get a block here goes back to ryan Deers. that's gonna block by chan this is not good Mata shoots oh you gotta save that that's such a tight angle it is 2-0 to ac milan yeah i feel like we're just not good enough to compete with these teams at least that's what it feels like right now we just can't compete adiemi into sebastian Haled gets it over see that pass needs to be quicker Haled is just slow though now, i know there's some people in the comments saying that we should change the sliders make them easier but trust me if we didn't have these sliders i would basically win every game like there's not much of a challenge on default ultimate these sliders make the good teams actually play like good teams you know what I mean? Like, first episode, we won against two teams that we were better than. And it feels like this episode, these two games, we might lose against two teams that are just better than us. Matson, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's that cross going, though? So I feel like it makes things more realistic, to be honest. And, like, actually presents a challenge. Yeah, when I say challenge, I definitely mean challenge because Chiquese's in and Koble. Good save, though. Okay, we're 2 0 down. I mean, how much could it hurt? I'm going to give Jakobsen his debut. So he goes up top. I'm going to bring on Bellingham and then Sancho for uh, for Malin, I think. So, some uh, youth on the field, Jakobsen's debut. See if some energy can get us back in this game somehow. At this point, I feel like like it can't really hurt. Crossing again, Emery Chan, good clearance. Okay, that works. I think Emery Chan played it off Leao's hand. I like that. That actually worked very well. Eddie Emi, Jakobsen, first touch, plays it to Job. Back to Jakobsen. Chance to score on his debut, and he scored, what, five minutes into his debut? Okay. Kai Jakobsen, what a start to his career. He's only 69 rated, and he scored that easily? Hey, that's not a bad finish either, like, from that spot. It's powerful. Okay, 2-1. Now, if we draw this, I think there might still be a chance for us, so we got 20 minutes. See what we can do. Man, that was the youth, Job and uh, Kai combining. Come on, clear this. You have a chance. Clear it. Clear it. No, okay, turn around. I need you to go for that. Is that handball? Okay, by them, I think. Okay, there might be a chance here if we play our cards right. We gotta be aggressive, but, like, we might get punished for it now into all oh, coble that's a huge save corner sent in sancho good clearance bounces right to chiquese though that is not good gets ruben off his cheek shula blocks it emery chan out to jacobson okay run so we got space and a chance here wolf through daddy emmy daddy emmy in to job job no that touch was so slow to the left wait good still oh my daddy emmy daddy emmy look for sancho sancho Joe Bellingham into Kareem Adeyemi. No, that's got to be in the back of the net right there, bro. Oh, that was the chance right there. Jaden Sancho cross in. Turam, header attempt, and that goes in from Kefren Turam. Okay, 85th minute. This game is tied up. We have fought all the way back. Okay, a draw might actually keep us alive. It might. I feel like it's still really bad, but this team is showing some fight here. Like Sancho, good cross, and Turam, great header attempt. Okay, Shula is rinsed, so Hummel is on for him. And then I think... Should I do Nemecha for Wolf? You know what? He's got better defending and he's got more pace, actually. So I'm going to do that. Just for like fresh legs and try to prevent us conceding here. Man, the fight back from the team, though. I love seeing that. Oh, my. Job steals it. Coming forward. No, man. Ben is scared. What a tackle. Also, Schlotterbeck, what a tackle. That is actually amazing. Oh, wait, wait. You're telling me that's not a foul? Are you telling me actually that's not a foul right there? Okay, we got two minutes. I don't think we'll lose this, but we get a chance to win it. Turam, Turam, Jakobsen into Turam. Turam gets it back to Jakobsen. No, we got a chance to score a winner and it's saved. Bro, that literally just probably saved Milan's uh, round of 16. Bro, Jakobsen, if he, if he scores it, it'd be so big. That is such a good save, though. He's like full stretch. Okay, final chance. Sancho, cross in. It is going to be Adeyemi, and that's going to be the winner. Are you kidding me? 3-2 in the 92nd minute. Kareem Adeyemi scores the winner. Okay, 2-0 down to a 3-2 comeback. Hey, that shows we can still win on these sliders against a good team. Hey, still, though, we are corner FC. We are corner merchants. Adeyemi, that's a no-look header. He's not even looking. Okay, this changes everything. Bro, that is one of the best comebacks so far I've had this year in this game, and that's full-time. What a win. 3-2, and Jakobsen started the comeback coming 
coming off the bench. Bro, that is one of my favorite wins so far this year in this game. And on these sliders, it's just so satisfying when you actually win a game. But Eddie Emmy with the uh, with the winner. And hey, maybe this is the first of many goals for Kai Jakobsen for Borussia Dortmund. Maybe the next Erling Holland. What a finish. But one more time, the winner in the last second of the game, Kareem Adeyemi. Look at that new boy, Kai Jakobsen scores. Honestly, he might have just saved our Champions League hopes. So with that win, we are now sitting in second place. We've gone from bottom to second place. Now, the bad thing is that Newcastle and Milan play each other final day of the group stage and we face PSG. I think that final match day versus PSG, we need to win in that game. A draw might get it done if Newcastle win, but we basically need to win. Hey, we stay alive though. We were almost knocked out. What a debut for Kai Jakobsen. Also, by the way, it's Jakobsen, right? Not Jacobson. I'm pretty sure it's Jakobsen. If you guys know in the comments, let me know. But man, that has given us so much confidence and like life. Now, I think that settles it though. Four, uh, two, three, one is the way to go moving forward. 100%, that's the move. Okay, after all that, we have another tough game though. Now versus Leverkusen. So they're in fifth below us. We're actually in third, so we're not doing too bad. Although Bayern are being Bayern. They're just running away with the title. Like now 11 points above us. It shows what we're up against. Now, before this game, we have a press conference and we say that we think Kai Jakobsen is going to be a very good player. He's got so many good qualities of a striker that everyone at Dortmund is so happy with him so far. I mean, that's one of the most impactful debuts for a youth player I think I've ever had. One of the most. So for Leverkusen, he makes the bench again, for sure. He's got to make the bench. And Matson's tired, which is not good, but so I guess we got to start Ben Spiney for that. But I might start in the match at right back because he actually, he actually has better defense and better physical and pace than Wolf. So I'm going to try him there. Otherwise, pretty much same lineup. And now we face Chabi Lonzo's by Leverkusen. And that last win just makes me so happy. Like that was a tough game. 2-0 down to 3-2 comeback in the final minute. That was just magical. But okay, Dortmund versus Leverkusen is going to be tough again. They're not AC Milan, they're not PSG, but they're still a very good team. Okay, good ball in high. Frimpong, this is already dangerous. Frimpong, that first touch was uh, actually very good. That dribble was good, actually. Thankfully, though, Koble has come up so big for us so many times. If we didn't have him, we'd be in such a worse spot. On a face, gets it to... This is so dangerous. That's going to be Patrick Stick, and it's going to be 1-0 to Leverkusen. And we are just so fragile defensively. Like, we missed one tackle in the midfield. That was another tackle. We just, uh, we just can't miss tackles like that in a bad spot. It's pretty much my fault, I think. Okay, we know we can make a comeback. We literally did it last game. We got to try and do it again now. And we're missing Julian Brandt a lot. He was doing so good before his injury. And now, Turam, see if we can find a pass here. Gets it to Royce. Royce tries to find a lead. Oh, man, that was so close to working. But they got Gabrielle from Arsenal. That's a pretty good signing for Leverkusen. Wallen, Royce turns. Emery Chan gets it out to Adeyemi. Adeyemi to Nemecha. Nemecha into Sebastian Lillette. Oh, man, I was going to shoot there. What a good tackle, though. On a face. Back to... This is Patrick Schick again. Schlotterbeck, huge block. Okay, we survived that. Obviously, in real life, Leverkusen are probably the best team in Germany right now. So, in this save, although they're not in first, they're showing why they're so good. Now, Malin, Malin, he's going to get caught up here, though. Malin gets it to a lead. Keep it. Turam into Emery Chan. Lead. Royce, this is not bad. Gabriella just gets him, though. Man, we're kind of just like, we need to make runs. A lot of people in the box are just kind of standing still. Emery Chan get tackled. I need runs, like more movement. Adiemi, Turam, Turam is in. Turam. Chance to shoot, will shoot, but Gabrielle is blocking everything right now. Oh my, what a block. Adeyemi, please score that. You've got to be joking me. I wanted that pass to go to Halet. I should have, I rushed it. I should have passed it or took my time. Oh, that was such a gift and I ruined it. Man, they're having trouble passing out the back. That's another steal right there. I don't know what they're doing. Malin, in a good spot, Malin. Two, Marco Royce. That's got to be a goal. Oh my, Adeyemi, please, Adeyemi. Thank you. Okay, we do score. If we would not have scored that, I'd have been so mad. 35th minute, it is 1-1. Man, our gig impressing is just getting to them, I think. And Royce, like, again, the defense of them has been so good. But Adeyemi finds that little bit of space and wins that header. Okay, this is tied up. Now on this team, we definitely have, like, balance back ability. Emery Chan plays it to Nemecha. Now, Nemecha does not look bad on the right here. Plays it to Sebastian Alet into... Marco Royce, once again, it's Gabrielle just blocking everything. Whoa, that's a dangerous pass back. Bro, he's been so good for them. He shouldn't even be here. He should be at Arsenal. Emery Chan in to Royce. Royce, get it out wide. Back to Royce. Find a space here, Royce. Man, there's just not many angles. Emery Chan has room to shoot. That is off Kasunu's face right there. Of course, it falls right to them, though. Oh, that's a missed tackle. See, we can't do that. We cannot do that. Patrick Stick. No, I thought I blocked that. Koble. Good save. Man, I just feel like we can get these tackles and I keep missing them. 45th minute corner in. That is... Oh, okay. Koble. Koble has it. That was a little bit dangerous. Okay, 1-1. One, one. I like the fight back to make it a 1-1 one, one at least. Still, a lot of game left though. Now, I think our uh, little Erling Holland regen, the next Erling Holland, might make an appearance. After last game, how could I not? Now, Nemecha versus Grimaldo. Didn't do well there, but okay, that's a weird angle. Koble. Good save again. Brandon Chaka. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a good co uh, corner routine. Kasunu hits side netting there. That was dangerous. I didn't expect that. Okay, Turan was fouled there. That's definitely a rough tackle. Now, it's, I don't think it's shooting range, though. I think it's too far out. Yeah, that's that's too far out here. Now, we are going to lay this off. 
Please keep it, bro. The way they get so close to that annoys me so much. Like, you can't play it farther than that. Okay, let's try and get possession, you know. Let's try and play this a little slower. We do not want to lose the ball in a bad spot like this. Ramey Chan into Terem, though. Good ball. Terem's hurt after that tackle, which is not good. Royce, two, Ben Spiney. He's going to try to cross it. Okay, Frimpong just literally took it from him like it was nothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro, they are looking shaky out the back right now. I say that, but that's a good pass. Oh, it's a very good pass. Now Boniface is in. Shula, Shula. Come on. We got this. We got this. We definitely have this. Maybe we don't. Terem, I hope he's not injured badly. Frimpong. Gets to Patrick Schick, into Alwar, somewhat, I don't know his name, but Schlotterbeck, that's a good tackle right there. Dan into Royce. Royce, okay, that's a foul right there. We are going to take this shot, though. Okay, Royce just skied that one. Okay, we need some subs. Okay, I'm going to take off. Oh, man, what do we do here? I'm going to have to put in a match at center mid and then bring on uh, Wolf. I got to do that since uh, Tram's hurt. I think let's do Sancho and let's do Jakobsen for Hale. Let's do that. So 64th minute, Jakobsen, his second appearance for Brissy Dorman. See if he can make a similar impact as last game. You know, actually, let's also do Bellingham for uh, Royce. Let's do that. I mean, they both got us back last game. We got to do the same this game. Oh my, bro, something about our setup is causing them issues. Hey, Jakobsen is kind of in here. Jakobsen gets it back to Joe Bellingham. Chance to shoot, and oh, the finish needed needed better than that. Probably going to pass it to Sancho. Cross in. That is Schlotterbeck, and that falls right in front of the net. It's going to bounce out, though. On these subs, feel like they're giving us a little bit of momentum here. Some life, some energy. Jakobsen to Ben Spiney. Look for a pass here. Gets it to Sancho. Ben Spiney. Crosses it all the way over. That is Adeyemi, and that is gonna be a it's gonna be a goal kick. Granit Xhaka gets it to Florian Verts. Dangerous player, of course. Gets by there. Florian Verts goes for a shot. Koble, big save. Corner swung in. Out by Nemecha. Needs to be out by. Okay, that's not the greatest clearance, but you know what? It's fine. Jakobsen. You know what? That is almost a really good pass. It actually is. We keep it from that. Okay, like 12 minutes. Game is still tied. Adeyemi. Oh man, that was a little bit rushed and a little bit ambitious. Probably could have slowed it down there. Oh my, Emre Chan steals it. Jakobsen, chance to score again, and Jakobsen scores it. What is up with their back line? It's Jakobsen again scoring to make it 2-1. Bro, something about the way we're set up is causing them so many issues. And I can't believe Jakobsen, what a finish. The kid is only 69 rated, but it does not matter. Look at that, he's got composure. Okay, 2-1 versus Leverkusen. We got eight minutes left though. Man, that's still out of game. Good, attack one verts. No, that was a foul. That was not a foul, come on. Okay, they're gonna take the free kick. Gonna be actually played short to Gabrielle. Frimpong, Frimpong, Job, Bell. Bellingham, what a tackle. Sancho gets it to Job, and we got space to steal this, maybe. Job gets it over to Jakobsen. Jakobsen gets it back to Nemecha. Okay, everyone relax, actually. I am slowing this down right now. I need this win. I am playing this like I'm desperate, because we are desperate right now. We got two minutes. Just hold it. Sancho, just hold it. Sancho, please. Oh, please. Is that Who's that a foul on? Oh, on us. Thank you. Okay, call for the second player. Gonna be okay. That's That was almost out. Have we held on, though? Bro, what a win again. Okay, we definitely slowed it down towards the end, but we had to do that. I was not about to let something bad happen and lose us this game. Bro, 2-1. Jakobsen scores the winner this game, too. Like, what is happening in this team? That is just such another big win, though. Bro, he might be the future star of this team. He might be. Like, bro, this is one of the best Youth Academy player debuts ever in any series, I think. Like, what an impact he's made. Super Super sub Jakobsen inspires late win. And that is an understatement. Okay, so we stay third in the Bundesliga. We are what now? Eight points off of Bayern? I mean, honestly, we're not in a bad spot considering uh, the inconsistencies we've had. And hey, after that win versus Milan, there's a chance we make it out of the Champions League group stage now. If we can beat PSG final day. But I am so proud of this team. Okay, Teram is hurt. Please don't be a bad injury, please. Okay, it's not that bad. It's still bad, but it's not that bad. He's going to be out for six days, so they pulled calf. That is not as bad as it could have been. Man, I am so impressed with Kai Jakobsen. What? a debut episode. So in the next one, we have that huge match versus PSG, which will decide our Champions League campaign this season. And also we're probably gonna get through all of January as well, maybe into February. So January transfer window, we got 134 million to spend and we see now some holes in this team that need improving. So we are going to sign some players for sure. Okay, in the last episode, we found our first youth academy player and that is Kai Jakobsen from Norway. Maybe the next Erling Holland, And he had one of the best youth player debuts ever on the channel. Like he helped us win some very big games and has put us in position to maybe survive this group of death. Now we have a huge deciding match versus PSG. And also today we enter the January transfer window and yeah, signings will be made. So of course, drop a like if you are enjoying this series and let's get back right into it. Now to start this episode, we are at our house. We're in the backyard just chilling. It's been a stressful first few months as a Dortmund manager. So we're trying to relax because it's about to get even crazier. Now, as we're chilling, our phone buzzes and the caller ID says Eric Ten Hag. What could this be about? Now, some news just 
leaked online that Eric Ten Hag is trying to salvage his relationship with Jaden Sancho. And with May United in need of January reinforcements, they're looking to the cheapest option, bringing Sancho back. So May United want to recall Jaden Sancho in January. Now I would say so far in the first half of the season, Sancho has been good for us. I like having a player that can play on the wing, at Cam that's as creative as him. So if it were up to me, I'd keep him, but I don't know how Sancho feels about it. But if he wants a second chance at United, we're going to have to have a little sit down and talk with him. But first we find out if we survive in the Champions League. So final match day versus PSG, we're currently in second place. Now there's a lot of different outcomes here, but basically we need to draw or beat PSG. And that gives us the best chance of getting out of the group. But if we lose and then Milan Newcastle ends in a win for either of those teams, then that means we're probably not making it out of the group. So if we can beat PSG here, we make it out safely out of the group of death. Now, as we remember though, this team killed us in the last meeting. So it is not going to be easy. Now, I think I'm going to start Mott and left back for that pace because we need that versus their uh, fast wingers. I think I might start Nemecha over Wolf too, just for more pace basically. And then I think Sancho at Cam for Royce because Royce is a little bit tired. And I think we go with that lineup right there. And honestly, Jakobsen scored some big goals for us. So I think he makes the bench over uh, Makoko. I feel like we have to do that. I mean, he's played so good in his uh, two appearances. So we go with that lineup versus PSG. And this right here is the biggest game of the first half of our season. Yeah, I just like have no clue what this is going to go. Like we're at home this time. So that should give us uh, a better advantage than last time. But PSG are just so good. And they literally destroyed us last time. But if we can pull it off and survive the group of death, I mean, that would be such a big achievement. So let's see if we can do it. Emery Chan into Sancho. Come on, I need a good start here. Haled, Haled, play it through. Oh my, this could be a dream start. No, he's offside. No, there's no, how close was that? No, Marlin, that was such a good finish. How close is it? Oh, come on. That's so close, right? Come on, show me the other player. I can't even see it. Bro, that is so close. That would have been a dream start right there. Come on, we're a better team since they last beat us. We're a better team. We got to try and show that. But already Mbappe, nightmare to defend. Slaughterback, oh my. Mbappe has already done me. He has already destroyed me with that skill move. Okay, penalty for PSG. What? Four minutes in, we could have scored on one end. And now they have a penalty? Yeah, I just basically went for a tackle and Mbappe destroyed me. Okay, Mbappe versus Koble. Mbappe goes to the right. Koble, Koble, what a save. In a game like this, that is huge. Okay, wait, chance is not done yet Koble of double save basically what a moment okay let's see if that gives us some life here corner in that is caught by Koble okay we survived that let's uh let's not do that again now as I say that they're in again which I'm blocking the pass I'm blocking it and then I thought that was another penalty I was about to scream actually it's a good save by Koble though and Bele cross in Haled that is not the best clearance direction I'm sure that's also not a good clearance bro you're telling me that's a foul bro they are getting all the calls right now they are getting every Single call. Koble grabs it. Okay, come on. Let's wake up, please. Emre Chan to Sebastian Aled. We got a runner. Malin. I think he's offside again. Okay, we need to slow down. We're moving way too aggressive passing wise and leaving ourselves open. Slaughterback, Slaughterback. Okay, we got to clear that. We got to clear that. We're just so slow. After that goal was rolled offside, bro, we've just been so flat footed. It is now 1 0 to PSG. Now, there is an outcome where if we draw this game, there's a chance we still make it out. So we got to go for a draw at least. Man, I wish that first goal wasn't offside. Matson gives it a Malin. Matson, I need that pace in the wing. I need it. There it is. Into Sebastian Aled. Gets it over. No, Sancho was right there. Wait, Malin steals it. Into Jaden Sancho. Sancho puts it. Oh, was it wide or over the net? Oh, that's a golden chance, Sancho. I need you to score that. It goes wide, not even over the net. I thought I put too much power on it, but it just goes wide. Bro, two chances where he should be in this game, but they come down the field. Matson, Matson, very good defending from the uh, Chelsea Loney there. I like to see that. But we should be in this game right now, way more than we are. Slaughterback, Slaughterback on Mbappe. Slaughterback this time. Okay, Nemecha helped out. That was some good help there. First 30 minutes has been eventful. There's no way. There's no way. Wait, what? You were telling me that's a red card? Bro, they are getting every single call right now. We are down to 10 men? I was making a tactical foul there. Oh, come on. That's not a red. There's no way. He wasn't in direction of the goal there. Are you kidding me? We're down to 10 men now. Okay, Hummels comes on for... What do we even do here? Oh, man. This is just so bad. Okay, I'm going to do Sancho to the right. You got to take off uh, our cam, basically, and put Hummels at center back. Bro, I cannot believe that. Adiemi is sacrificed for this game. And now, Kylian Mbappe from the free kick spot is going to... He's gonna score that i'm gonna throw up i i can't believe what i've seen it is 2-0 to psg they might be just the better team by a wide margin here okay turan we got space here actually turan okay we need to hold it though we got no number 10 this is gonna be a little awkward that is gonna be header into Haled. Haled gets it over no i need someone running there quicker we score one there's a chance if we score one we just gotta put the ball in the back of net though okay turan into Malin. Malin crosses it over to... Oh, I thought that was going to go to uh, Sancho. Oh, we're just so slow on every second bounce. Oh, my. Schlotterbeck just saved a goal there. Bro, every bounce, we're just so much slower than the PSG players right now. Led into Matson. Okay, Matson, I need you a good pass here. Get it to Malin. Malin cuts inside. Oh, man. Kim Pembe just caught up so quick there. Last chance, first half. Led. 
can flip it up okay that's gonna be blocked but that's fine Naram into Matsin. one final cross Matsin crossover Sancho it's gonna go right to Donnarumma okay two nil this is within reach but if it goes to three nil then we're done then it depends on the other match of the day okay second half we're going to a three five two this is probably our best chance here so we fight for our Champions League lives down to 10 men bro we could have scored that first goal if it was on side of this big this game would be so much different it makes me sick to think that okay please don't concede two minutes in. It's going to be called back for a foul. Bro, they have got so many calls this game. Mbappe, are you shooting this from this far out? There's no way. Okay, he's flipping up. Butterback. No, that's going to be a good save by Koble, actually. That man advantage is going to be so hard to defend now. Benino shoots, and Koble makes another big save. Koble, you're going to be busy in the second half. I can I can tell you that. And you know, another shot. That's going to be another shot. Koble makes another save. This is about to be ridiculous. Corner this time swung in, and that is uh, cleared by Haled. There is just so much space in our back line, and they're going to shoot that. Koble is saving us right now. At least barely. Early. Corner in out by Nemecha. We gotta get this ball out though right now. This is the longest attack ever. Mbappe Turam Turam. Great tackle on Mbappe. Might be our one chance to counter off this. This looks decent. Gotta win that. No, we gotta win that ball there. Yeah, they're playing aggressive. They're trying to like close this game and end it right now. Now Malin up to Haled who will shoot and okay that's 2-1 we are back in this that goal came out of nowhere that pass by Mullen was so good and then Haled that one touch that touch was so good too okay is there a chance we could draw this right now we got 30 minutes hey the fight from this team is showing though the Emery Chan is hurt which is not good that's a good that's a bad pass though our PSG getting nervous here Sancho into a lead and a match I need you to run match that no man he just he did not make the run I needed there okay, I think Emery Chan is good so that's good Hummels Hummels okay Risky, risky, but we need to do it. It, it works. It make me scared, though. Sancho into a let, a let. No, I need that to be like a really powerful through pass to Malin. Yeah, we're going to need some subs. I think more subs. Schlotterbeck, good tackle there. Bappe, please, no. No. Goes to Lee Kang in, and Koble makes a save. No rebound. Still a chance. Dembele versus Schlotterbeck. No, what is happening here? Oh, my. I don't even know what just happened there. All over. This is so bad. We are playing so risky right now, but Koble grabs that cross. Led through to Nemecha. Nemecha could win that. He does. Nemecha gets it through Two. Jaden Sancho shoots and Donnarumma saves it. Oh, it's going to be a corner. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do Wolf for Nemecha. I'm going to do Royce for Sancho just for fresh legs. And I think we leave it at that right there. Come on, Royce. I put you in for this corner here. Corner. Swung in. Sebastian Hillet. No, I thought that was right at him. Okay, Royce gets it over. It's going to be Kefren Turam with a finesse shot. Oh, that shot looks so good. Come on, Sebastian Hillet. I need that corner technique. No, that one's too close to Donnarumma. All right, 10 minutes. We're still alive here. All in. To Royce, Royce, Royce keeps it. No, we got tackled from behind too, though. Thought I would at least like draw a foul there. Moani, Moani. No, no, no. Okay, Hummels, Hummels. Hummels is using all his pace here. Just clear it. Just clear it. We got to be safe. We got three minutes. We got like one chance here, maybe. Royce into Haled. Royce gets it back into Haled. Gets it over to Turam, who does shoot. Donnarumma makes the save. No. No, is that the last chance we get? That was a decent chance. Dembele is in. Gets it over. Koble saves it. That's full time, I think. No, we had a chance. Ten men. We fought so hard in this game. We gave ourselves such a tougher challenge by going down to ten men, but, oh, the team showed so much fight, and we almost tied it up. Now, the only way we make it through, I think, is if a certain team drew, and we beat them on goal difference or head-to-head, -head, but I'm not sure we're going to do that. I'm not sure there was an outcome that gave us that possibility. Oh, I feel sick. I feel sick to my stomach. So Milan beat Newcastle 3-2. Uh, and we finished third in our group. We were so close. Now, funny thing is, even if we drew, then we still wouldn't have made it through, actually. So that last goal didn't even matter. We needed to beat PSG because Milan beat Newcastle. So, oh, man, it was always going to be so tough. At least we're in the Europa League now. We're still in Europe. But that hurts so bad. I just think how that group finished uh, reflects the best team in that group. I feel like we're the third best team in that group. We're not better than PSG. And we're not better than AC Milan. At least not yet. All right, now we got to focus on January the transfer window is opening so we have a sit down talk with Jaden Sancho and Sancho says I don't want to play for Manchester United I want to stay here at Dortmund but they want me back and they're in control of my contract so for me to stay you'll have to negotiate with them now in January we have 136 million to spend and if we want Jaden Sancho permanently we're gonna have to pay probably around like 65 million which that's a lot of money I mean United signed him for what probably more than that but that's still a lot for a player that wants to leave and is not even playing for them I feel like it's worth it though I feel like Sancho is still only 23 years old he's 83 rated I feel like at Dortmund that's the place for him to revive his career to save his career so we're gonna try to save sancho for manchester united save his career pretty sure in the comments you guys wanted us to sign him permanently anyway so we are going to try to i'm gonna try to get a deal here though i'm gonna start with like 57.5 hopefully a respectable offer and eric ten Hag is gonna want 79.7 that's just so much all right 72.5 they're going to want 76 man it's gonna cost 75 million that is so much money but 75.8 they still want more now this right here is a risk because sancho could be like you know a player that doesn't grow anymore or he could grow to like the 
90s maybe so it's a lot of money it's a big risk but we're gonna try and save sancho's career at dortmund i feel like it's only right so no longer just on loan sancho is here permanently at Borussia dortmund and we've saved him from old trafford saved him from eric ten hog more specifically so now it's official Jaden sancho welcome home welcome back to Borussia dortmund now that's not the only signing we're gonna make in january we still have plans but we are gonna try to sell a few players here now first one is thomas moinier i mean he's a player that hasn't played at all i feel like wolf is better and moinier just isn't quick at all and i need i need a fast right back so for 6.5 million to get i feel like that makes sense i guess he is the sasha boy replacement um bayern munich want marco royce uh no all right more near sorry but he didn't play much uh see you later now a player that i'm gonna try to sell that is a little bit controversial is uh the striker uh nicholas Volkrug. i mean i know i know in real life he's playing amazing actually but in game smash and is just so much better than him so it makes sense to like cash in on full crew because we also have makoko we got Jakobsen. it just makes sense to sell him right now he's 30 years old now the biggest problem this team i think is our right back spot i don't mind wolf as a backup but we need a better starting right back someone who's quicker and has more pace basically too and yeah sasha bowie would have been the perfect right back for us but we may have found a really good second option here and that is alexander ba playing at benfica currently he's 26 years old from denmark he's 80 rated and he looks like a very well-rounded right back who's also got a lot of physicality at six foot and also he's got 90 pace like he looks really really good good pace good defending good physical he's got five star weak foot so he could play left back too that could be good for the future maybe but he is one of like the most well-rounded right backs i've seen i think and he's not that expensive so i feel like he'd be a huge like defensive piece for this team going forward so i'm gonna try like 20 29.5 see what benfica say to that they are going to want 31.5 i can do that 31.5 this sounds like a really good deal for us and also he's a player that i've never signed before i don't think so that's always a plus but alexander ba welcome to barissa dortmund this could be such a big improvement to our defense so this could be like a hidden gem signing so alexander ba welcome to barissa dortmund finally we have that new right back reinforcement so ba goes straight in the starting 11 i mean those stats look so good i have no doubt he'll upgrade our defense now we still have 28 million left but i feel like bringing uh sancho in bringing ba in that might be it for transfers for us in january we have a lot of players here we have a lot of players in different positions like we have a lot of wingers we have like four strikers we have midfielders so i feel like for this first season we don't need anything more any more will be too much i think and also julian brand is finally back from his injury so that's kind of like a new signing there he's gonna be very big for us actually he's probably the starter now that he's back now i feel like it's probably gonna be big changes in season two like big changes but rest of the season we go with this team here and we try to do our best in the boons again try to win uh, the europa league and try to just develop all these players so just like that the transfer window is now shut i feel like alexander ba has proved to be a very big signing for us this season and now that sancho's here permanently we saved him we now have to try to get the best out of him all right so next game on our schedule is in the europa league now it's sad that we dropped down here but i feel like we have a good chance to win this if we can beat some of the better teams like united are in it still at uh, napoli now i believe this is around 32 we have drawn a team that i cannot pronounce the name of which means we should be able to beat them by just simming this we should not have to play to beat this team the so first leg i mean come on we should win this first leg is going to be uh three two we barely beat them by one goal hello to emory chan and emory chan scored okay if we lose to this team i'm gonna lose my mind actually second leg is gonna be okay there we go four nil emory chan adiemi and uh joe bellingham scoring look at that okay so now on to the round of 16 of the europa league all right now we face hoffenheim in the bundesliga which we're actually not doing bad in the league 22 games in we're only five points off Bayern with the game in hand so if we win this game we'd only be two points off them and they still have not lost a game this year so wait we are still in this title race now it's gonna be our first game using bot right back which i'm excited about that uh Milan's out with the red so we're gonna put sancho on the left wing we're gonna do that let's bring up maybe uh let's bring up yakson because he's the most energy i guess and we go with that lineup against hoffenheim now i'm not expecting uh ba to fix all of our defense problems but having a right back that's that good that will round in like passing wise defensive wise it should be a big improvement we'll see ba first touch of using him welcome to dortmund all right sancho okay sancho's taken out immediately first uh pretty much play the game come on send him off send him off that is gonna be it's gonna be a yellow card huh yeah, it's gonna be a yellow. All right, Julian Brandt, welcome also to the team. Welcome back. Ball to Turam. That, that corner, that cross is blocked. Sancho, chance for finesse shot. That's handball. Give me that free kick. I'll take it. Wait, actually. Let's try this again. Matson, good cross. That was right at Julian Brandt. Matson, Turam into Julian Brandt. Okay, that pass was so telegraphed. Led Julian Brandt. Brandt into Kareem Adiemi. This could be a great start. Adiemi shoots and in off the post that is a great start okay kareem the dream at yemi makes it one nil within 10 minutes great pass by julian brand good to have him back okay great start let's keep this going all right ba first defensive action ba that is some good defending from our new right back now look at the pace too national ad into ba he is on his bicycle okay, yeah he's very quick we have missed this the right back spot ba 
Tries to get it back. Okay, we had no help there. He was like too fast for everyone. Dula, Brand gets it to Taram. Taram back to Emery Chan, who's shooting this because we know he's got long shots. That'll be a corner though. Okay, corner swung in. That is going to go right to Emery Chan header. That was a good header. Adeyemi crossing again. Someone's got to fight for that Emery Chan. That one goes over the net though. Okay, we look good this game though. We look good. Okay, they got a free kick. Man, these free kicks at like the middle of the field are actually always kind of dangerous, just like this. See, they're always dangerous. I always feel like they're going to they're gonna score from him. Corner for them. Swung in. Koble, you have that Koble. That is some strong goalkeeping right there. Yeah, it's good pass over. Hoff and I'm getting slowly more into this game, which is not a good thing for me. Ball top of the box. Emery Chan tries to close him down. Taram. Taram. That should be a good tackle. Gets by though. Matsin gets by him. This is some good passing and good uh, breaking down of our defense right here. In to the striker. Schlotterbeck. Schlotterbeck. That is such a good tackle though. All right. Ball out to the new signing Alexander Ba. He's going to get it to Taram. Taram. Bring it back out. Taram. Now to Julian Brandt. Good turn into Sebastian Aledo can't, yeah, he's just so slow turning there. That's his one downside. If he gets the ball, like, facing away from goal, he just can't really turn that quick. Julian Brandt, Aledo, we got Sancho making a run. Actually, Eddie Emmy's in, though. Eddie Emmy cuts inside. Can go for the shot, but he was just offside. That is so unfortunate. Julian Brandt, Amatsen, man. Having Matson on the wing, just a faster left back, you can already see how much he opens up the offense, too. By Boz, do now doing that same thing on the right-hand side. But, okay, he's not helping us here. Beghorst gets it back. Do not let them tie it up run halftime. This would be terrible. Ball in. Shula, just clear it. Shula clears it. Okay. We feel like in control of this game, but that second goal would actually show it. So, still a lot to do this game. Oh, this is dangerous. Murray, I was a dangerous player. Okay, we went for an aggressive tackle there. That didn't work. Gonna be another shot. Veghorst gets it over. That's a good block. Schlotterbeck has had such a good season, though, in defense. He makes so many big plays like that right there. And they're having a lot of the ball to start second half, which is also just not good. Matson, we cannot let them have this much of the ball because they're likely to score. Schlotterbeck, okay, Matson and Schlotterbeck. That was some good combo defending there. Ram gives it to Sancho. Let's get this second goal here. Ram through to Sebastian Aled. And now he's got Sancho on the run behind. Sancho. Plays it over to Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt, welcome back to the team. And he just hit the post. He's actually smacked the post. That was a good shot. Cross in. Shula, good clearance. Ram wins it back to Sancho. Okay, wait, who was injured? Who was injured? Oh, I thought it was uh, one of my players. I mean, no disrespect to Veghorst. Um, get better soon, I guess. Okay, this is a very interesting corner routine, which they might get a good shot out of this. That's a shot, and it just gets by all my center backs. Oh, we can't let them score that easily. It was a short corner routine. They just basically, like, passed it into the box. They found this guy, and then we couldn't close him down quick enough. Like, Shula. That you gotta slide over there or something. I mean, this is what we get for not extending our lead. It's now 1 1. Come on, I feel like we're still gonna win this game. I'm confident. Duram into Haled. Haled gets it back to Emery Chan. I need runners here. I need someone. Find an opening. I'm gonna go back to Liam Brandt. Get it to Turam. Turam. And shoot that. And that's gonna be blocked. Eddie Emmy back to Turam. Into Brandt. This is so congested. Turam, though, finds space. Goes for a shot. And how does Turam miss that? I guess it was his weak foot, though. That shot felt like awkward when we hit it. Okay, we're bringing Jakobsen on for Haled and then Makoko on for uh, Sancho because Sancho's tired. We got some young energy on the field now. 15 minutes to try and win this game. Jakobsen to Makoko. The subs combining. Okay, that was a little bit bad, but this might not be bad. Jakobsen plays it too that was such a slow attack the ball would not go quick enough whoa 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 tell me he's offside right i was about to say if he's onside that was such a good pass okay time is running out here though we gotta hurry up brant to turam okay we got space in the middle turam find that space gets it to jacobson into lean brant get it back to turam turam chance to score a big goal the shot is right at the keeper though not yet yet though jacobson Gets it to Brandt. Julian Brandt into Makoko. What a finish by Makoko. 88th minute. That might be the winner in this game. Man, that's a big goal from a very young player with a bright future. That finish was so calm and collected, like outside the boot. Have we just gone two points within Bayern? And Julian Brandt, we have missed him so much. But Makoko, what a big finish that is. Okay, I'm throwing on uh, Ozchan at CDM. Let's get, uh, let's get Wolf for uh, Matsen, then throw Wolf on the right side. And I think we leave it at that. Actually, let's do Nemecha for Brandt. Come on. We need more, like a little bit more defense in the team. Three minutes to hold this lead. All right, how much added on? We got probably a minute at least. It's gonna be actually one minute. Of course, it's a minute at least. Come on, if we steal this, it's game. Okay, they didn't go quick enough. That is game. Man, that was a tough win. We really should have won this game like 3-1, 4-1, but a 2-1, that's three points. I'll take it. And we are now only two points off Bayern Munich. So like Jakobsen last episode, Makoko steals the headlines in this game. And we are now two points within Bayern, like I said. Okay, next up is Rangers in the Europa League round of 16. I feel like we're a lot better than Rangers, like a lot better. So we're gonna sim the first leg, see what happens. So first leg is gonna be 3-0 to Borussia Dortmund, Schlotterbeck, Malin, and Malin. Okay, I feel like we're already through now. Second leg is going to be 3-2, but it's going to be 6-2 in aggregate. So, and okay, we're through to the Europa League quarterfinals now. That was uh, pretty simple. Okay, now our next game, though, is in the league again. We're facing Frankfurt, and uh, Bayern have still not lost a game. Same as last time. Game in hand, and we're five points off them. So, win here. We stay within that two-point gap. And keep this title race alive, because it's only us versus Bayern right now. Everyone else has just fallen off. Now, a day before this game, though, we're meeting with Sebastian Kao, our sporting director. So, we have a sit-down meeting with him, and he says, 
Francis Tyster. Your contract with Dortmund was initially for only one season. And if it were up to only me, I'd give you a contract extension right now. But the higher ups want to wait till the end of the season to evaluate and see if they want to keep you as the manager for next season. So he says, just want to be clear and honest with you. How we end this season will affect their decision. Yeah, of course. Like we needed more pressure, right? I mean, the Champions League was a big disappointment, but us challenging Bayern for the title when they're unbeaten, I would say that's a pretty big plus. We are still in the DFB Pokal. We're in the semifinals now versus Augsburg. So also Europa League quarterfinals, it's not bad. So in this game, we got to try and keep that two point gap between us and Bayern. So that's the lineup we use against Frankfurt. Um, Uli and Brandon Sancho were a little tired, not sharp. So Joe Bellingham starts at cam. It's a decently big game for him. And also Matson was tired. So we rotate uh, Ben Spaini and I left back. Now if we lose, Bayern get a five point lead, which obviously is not good. So we got to keep that two point uh, gap. Now Ba into Sebastian Alet. Alet has got options here. Gets it into Adeyemi shoots. Kareem Adeyemi, what a finish. It's taken only four minutes and we're up one nil. Man, Kareem Adeyemi is having a good end of this season. He's becoming that star for Bristol Dortmund. Like it's a very close uh, tight dribble here. Just one touch and then what a good finish off balance. Okay, four minutes in, it's 1-0. You know, I'd like a game where we win like 3-1, 4-1. It isn't going down to the final like 20 minutes. I would like a game like that for once. Now, Alexander Baugh could whip this in. Gonna go for an early cross that is a good cross, but no one is there for it. Alex, that's not your fault. Look at that, Mario Goza is playing against uh, Dortmund. Man, what happened to him? Kind of crazy. He was like the biggest Warner kid when I started playing FIFA. And then he just kind of did not go the direction everyone thought he would. Why would we go to ground there? Schlotterbeck, Schlotterbeck again. A goal-saving defensive play. Okay, free kick sent in. These are those dangerous ones. Schlotterbeck, though, gets it. On defense, stay focused. Schlotterbeck again. He has just been so good. Adeyemi gives it to Haled. Alexander Baz making that run. It's not, it's not a bad idea, but it doesn't reach him. Oh, our counter, though. Our press actually gets it through into... So actually Malin and Malin makes it 2-0. And that is our pressing that we've instilled into this team. Our uh, tactical vision just working there perfectly. Okay, 2-0 so far. This game has been decent. Let's just keep it up though. Here we got a free kick. It's going to go to uh, back to Turam. I want to shoot this so bad. Okay, let's be a little bit more patient. Emery Chan out to Ba. Now we got options that are actually in the box. And Sebastian Aleta, that was such a good header. It's a better save though. Corner sent in. That is going to go to Schlotterbeck. And that was a good header, but also goes wide. Okay, this is not a bad attack from... Uh, Frankfurt gets it in. That's gonna might be a goal. Oh, he just slid that in past Koble. That was such like a nifty finish. Everyone's expecting power here. They never go for these kind of shots. He just decides to like pass it into the net. Okay, that was just a very bad defensive sequence. Like we were out of position there. And now it's 2-1. They're back in the game. Okay, final chance of the first half. Job is running here. Job has a pass. Maybe okay. He was just taken out there. That's not a foul though. How is that not a foul? They just took Job out. Okay, two and a half time. This game is not over by any means, even though it probably should be. Well, let's get this third. Take control of this game. This might be a good start here. Malin gets it back, and then Haled chance to shoot, which would be a big goal, but it goes wide from Sebastian Haled. Ram into Ben Spaini. Ben Spaini, good pass. Job. Oh no, that was gonna be such a good pass to Haled. It was gonna be in there. And I'm nervous. I hate just one goal leads on these sliders. It just never feels safe. I want this third. Taram, I see you. Taram, we have a pass. We have options here. Get it to Malin. No, Malin. That wasn't supposed to go all the way to Adeyemi. That was supposed to go back to Turam. Oh, this is getting to one of those just another, just a tight game. Whoa, Schlotterbeck just got beat there, but the ball goes out. Come on, we need this third here. Job, Turam. Turam has Haled through Haled. Does he have the pace? No, not quite. Job into Emery Chan. Get it back to Job. Into Turam. Turam. Back to Job. Bellingham. Left footed shot looks decent, but Trap makes the save. Bro, one of these has to go in here. Okay, I'm gonna do Makoko. Actually, let's do Jakobsen for Haled and then Makoko for Malin. Let's do that again. And then I'll do Royce for Bellingham. I feel like we need some experience on the field here. At least down the middle, then some fresh legs up top. Makoko or Jakobsen, you guys have a big goal on you in this game. I could use it right now. Come on, this could be it. We got room here. Royce plays it to Makoko. Makoko, good turn. Into Jakobsen. Jakobsen. Oh my, that pass from Makoko is so bad. Royce gets it back into Jakobsen. Turns. To Ram, to Makoko, that should be it. No, I was so patient there. We still can't score it. Man, that pass to Jakobsen ruined, though. That first pass from Makoko, that was so bad. No, are they going to score on the other end now? Are they going to score? Please don't let it be Goatse. To Ram, no, couldn't get a tackle there. Goatse, he's going to score it. Oh my, he's actually going to score because we can't get a tackle in. On one end, we should have scored. Instead, they've tied up. Oh, I just feel, I just feel sick, bro. I thought we won it there. Oh, we should have scored our chance to make it 3-1. We get punished again for not extending our lead. Okay, we're winning this game. I'm calling it. I am not losing this game here. Ba to Adeyemi. Adeyemi could run here. Wait for Ba. Gets it to Alexander Ba. Could cross it. Does cross it. Okay, that's going to fall. Ba. Gets it into Jakobsen, who does shoot. Second chance to shoot. Jakobsen shoots and Trap still makes that save. You gotta be kidding me. Kareem Adeyemi cross in. That is Emery Chan and Trap makes another save. Okay, we need a Royce corner here. Royce, I need that delivery. Goes to, oh, that just wasn't that good actually. Emery Chan gets it back to Jakobsen. I can't shoot with him there. Emery Chan into Jakobsen, into Turim. 
Why was that so slow? Oh, everyone is just so slow in the box there. Okay, now they're in here. This is a nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare. Shula catches up Shula. It's going to be a corner. Okay, that's good defending though. Corner sent in. That is cleared. Right to Adeyemi, who's now in stride. Adeyemi, I need you to run here, please. Oh, he needs help though. Adeyemi needs help. Come on. Good pass. Good pass here. It is on time. And Kai Jakobsen scores. What a goal by the next Holland again. Bro, this kid is clutch. He's only 17 years old. Hey, all credit to Adeyemi, though. He made that run. and It was a good pass. Just perfectly timed. Another late winner. Like, boys, can we win a game normally? Okay, still, though, I will take the three points if we get it. Man, Kai Jakobsen, what a finish. Talk about a big game player. All right, final sub is Wolf on for Ba. How much time is left, though? Please, ref, blow the whistle, please. Do they have a chance here? Okay, they got about 30 seconds to get forward here. Come on, ref. Please, thank you, ref. Oh, man. Another, like, close win. These games are close, though. They're challenging. Man, Makoko last game coming through. Now, this game, Adiemi and Jakobsen. Like, the youth in this team coming through for us. And also, this kid's gonna be an absolute star. I can already tell. Jakobsen's dramatic late goal seals Dortmund win. And uh, most importantly, keeps us in this Bundesliga title race. We are two points within Bayern. Like I said, we're in the DFE Pokal semifinals and also Europa League quarterfinals. We've drawn a team here that could probably win the Europa League. So we are set up for a very big season finale, starting with maybe a Bundesliga title decider versus Bayern Munich away. It is going to be insane. Can we do something special with this Dortmund squad? And can the youth players carry us to maybe a trophy? Okay, in the last episode, we signed Jaden Sancho on a permanent deal. Pretty much saving him from Manchester United. But we also fell short in the Champions League, unable to beat PSG and knocked out in the group stage. And this has put a lot of pressure on us. You could say we're in danger of being sacked, but we still have a chance for trophies this season. We are in the Bundesliga title race versus Bayern Munich. We're in the DFB Pokal semis and also the Europa League quarterfinals. So all will be decided in this season finale and we'll find out if we stay on as Dortmund manager for next season. So drop a like down below and let's get straight into it. Now we start off, it's early morning in Dortmund. I would say a very nice morning and we are comfortably off in dreamland when we get startled by our phone buzzing and we're being sent a tweet which apparently most of the media think that we won't survive the rest of the season that we're the favorites to be sacked again now we've been hearing this all season long in this episode we're going to show that despite our failures we are still the right manager for Borussia Dortmund now we're going to get through a lot of games in this episode which the first one is maybe a Bundesliga title decider so it's us versus Bayern we are two points behind them so if we win this we jump into first place and also they're currently unbeaten they have not lost a game yet so we have a chance to ruin their unbeaten record now if they win this it pretty much feels like the title goes to them like it's gonna be so hard to catch up to them if they win this game here so i think definitely you could call this a bundesliga title decider now i believe last time we played them they smacked us so this time it's away in front of their home fans this could go bad but we are going to try our best to keep us in this title race now our new right back alexander bog good pass to emmer chan in two to Ram, who will shoot and that's right at neuer okay not a bad first shot Adiemi into julian brand now brand wait for Adiemi. Man is the top scorer of the team, and he's on fire. Pass into a lead, but that pass does not get to him. Okay, Makano has made a really big run to our attacking third. But man, I was going to say he's out of position. We could have counterattacked there if that wasn't a foul. They're playing this very slow to start. Like, we are pressing them, but they're just slowly clinging on possession. Emery Chan could tackle there. This is bad. Musiala in a good spot. Matsen gets it over. What a save by Kobol. Emery Chan gets it out. Okay, that was a very good chance. We barely survived that. Adiemi has a pass here. Oh my, Adiemi plays it up to our new signing Ba, who's going to slide it over to Julian Brandt, and that's 1-0 to Borussia Dortmund. Talk about a swift counterattack. Alexander Ba and Julian Brandt, that was beautiful. Okay, that's our new right back right there. Man, they almost scored on one side of the field, then we come down and score on uh, their side. That is a little bit against run of play, but 33 minutes in, it is 1-0 to Dortmund. Kane, okay, this is dangerous. Kane, Kane, Shula misses that tackle. Coleman, Coleman is in. That is so awkward. What's happening here? Oh my, Cobol grab it. I don't even know what just happened there. All right, final tag in the first half, maybe. Turam, Turam has a chance to go for finesse shot. Turam, finesse shot, it goes right at Neuer though. Okay, we're 1-0 up. That was a pretty good first half right there. I didn't think there was much possibility of winning this, but we're 1-0 up currently. Like, do we actually have a chance of getting into first place after this game? And also handing Bayern their first loss of the year. Hey, Davies is trying to change that. Davies, please stop. Now that's a fired pass into Musiala. But Schlotterbeck defending falls to Kane, though. And we got to clean that up. Kimmick shot. Emery Chan, good block, though. Right to Julian Brandt. Ram gets it out to Alexander Ba. Ba's going to go for an early cross. Going to be out of Upacano. What a clearance. We got 30 minutes, and we still have a 1-0 lead. As I say that, though, Harry Kane looking dangerous. Gets it over to Sané. Back to Limer. Turam, Turam, Turam. Oh, wait, that was actually a great tackle by Turam. And he also keeps it in. Look at that. Okay, we got space here for counter to actually break out. Malin, I see you. Now he's going to be caught up a little bit. Get it back to Aled. Get it over to Matson. Oh, Matson just lost it to Limer, man. That's so unfortunate. 
Okay, Musiala just actually destroyed me with that move. I was not expecting that. Schlotterbeck, though, great defense. 15 minutes, and we're just defending a one-goal lead, which is not our strong suit. But so far, okay, Ba is man of the match right now. What a tackle. Now that leads to a counter here. Okay, Ba need a good pass. Get it to a lead. They lost it, and now they're countering us immediately. This is end-to-end, -end, which is not good. Kane gets it back to a Guerrero. Emery Chan fails to block that. Oh, my. Sula missed the header there, but thankfully, Cole makes the save. Okay, we got five minutes. We need subs. I'm going to do Sancho for Malin. Let's do Makoko for Haled. And then let's do Nemecha for Adiemi. Let's do that. We got five minutes to defend. A slim one goal lead to jump into first place. Corner in. That is out by Sancho. Come on, boys. Just defend. Just defend for our life. Cross in. Upmakano. Oh my, what a shot. What a save, though. Bro, if he would have scored that, I would have just tipped my head off to him. I, we can't do much there. 89th minute corner. Just get it out. Emery Chan, great clearance. Julian Brandt, I need you to win this. Julian Brandt, Julian Brandt on Kim Min Okay, that was a foul. Into out of time. I'm like, I can't look up how much time, though. I can't not look at the field. Shula, have we actually won this game? We've actually just beat Bayern 1 0. I can't believe it. That is Bayern's first loss of the season. And we jump into first place. Bro, I was not expecting that. Like, I think fair and square, we beat Bayern today. That shows we're making progress as a club right now man first time this season Borussia Dortmund sit in first place now that right there is crazy but okay now our focus shifts to the DFB Pokal which we're in the semifinals of that now Leverkusen be Hamburg so Leverkusen are in the final we face Augsburg which honestly we should beat to reach the final but it's never quite that easy now before this game though we have a meeting with Sebastian Kale and he says we are not unrealistic in our expectations the board understands this is more than a one season project they just want to make sure you're the right manager for next season and he says a trophy would definitely help your chances so when this game we get a chance for a trophy in the final and we're going with a pretty young and rotated team here. A little bit rotated. At least in the attack, we got Jakobsen, we got Makoko, we got uh, Joe Bellingham. I still have confidence this team get the job done. I still have confidence in that. Turam into Jakobsen, get it back to Turam. Turam gets it over to Jakobsen. Chance to shoot. He almost just scored in, uh, what, the first five minutes? Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Augsburg, this is a trap game here. You expect to beat them, of course, and they're going to play good and make this a very tough game. It just feels like that. Emery Chan into Yadiemi in space, which he could be very lethal in. Yadiemi, you're going to try to get it to Jakobs, maybe. Actually, get it back to Turam. Then to Job. We're going to try and find a space here for a shot into Makoko. Makoko. Chance to go for a shot. Okay, that was so awkward. Okay, this is not a bad attack, but Shula, that's a great uh, tackle right there. Ram gets it out wide to Matson, who's been very good at left back, I gotta say. Since making him a starter over Ben Spaini, he's been really good. Okay, Jakobsen gets it to Kareem Adeyemi. Turns, the shot's gonna be blocked. Actually got a good shot out of that. That angle was not the best. Now Adeyemi, Frost and Emery Chan. This time could be better. No, it's not. Pass to Makoko, though. Makoko gets a great turn. Back to... Kai Jakobsen, whose finesse shot goes over the net. Okay, first half, it's no, no. I feel like so far, we've been the better team. We just can't uh, can't get that first goal yet. It really does feel like one of those games that could just be like, you know, just they get one lucky goal and then the game changes. Emery Chan, Eddie Emi gets it back to Emery Chan, who does shoot, and that's going to be blocked. Come on, where is corner FC at? Where is the corner goals? It almost, almost was right there. Dula Jakobsen, get it out wide to Eddie Emi. Eddie Emi gets it through to Makoko, kind of deflected there. Where is this goal at? It's going to be right here. It's going to be right here. Eddie Emi will shoot, and oh, the keeper's going to save that one, though. Come on, I feel a goal. Oh, right here that's Schlotterbeck's oh that what was that header though he got like no contact on that we got 20 minutes game is still just nil nil okay Turam what a tackle Job into Kai Jakobsen that first touch by Kai was so bad and okay, now we're uh, a little bit out of position here which is not good oh that's a good pass it's a very good pass Schlotterbeck Schlotterbeck how did he not make a tackle there? How did that player get around him? Okay, 70th minute, exactly what I thought would happen. We just can't score, and they score a goal late. Schlotterbeck has been so good this year. I thought he totally had this, but I feel like he just got around him last second or something. Okay, Makoko to striker. We're taking Job and uh, Jakobsen off for Binogins and also Sancho. Pretty much our last play here, last 15 minutes. We've been, like, dominating this game, but once again, it's just felt like one of those games. Oh, Eddie Emi. No, we had a runner there. Eddie Emi couldn't turn, though. All out wide. This is bad. This is so bad. Schlotterbeck clears it, though. Emery Chan doesn't win that. Okay, someone's got to win that, please. Ba, thank you. Okay, now we can't even get the ball out, though. This is dangerous. Shula needs to get over here. We got four minutes, and they are wasting time here. Okay, we got one chance here, basically. Adiemi through to Makoko. Makoko needs help. Gets it to Sancho. Sancho, Turam, Turam, Sancho to Makoko, who will shoot. And Makoko, what a late goal again. Just like last episode, he ties it at the 92nd minute. Okay, we are still alive in the DFB Pokal. That was literally like the last kick of full time, I think. Man, Sancho, Makoko, what a good combo there. And hey, just like Jakobsen, he knows how to score big goals for us. Okay, this might be going extra time. Yes, it is. Literally the last kick of the game. Hey, we're still alive here. We're still alive. Koko to Bino Gins. Come on, the fresh legs. Bino Gins, there's no way he's not quicker than that guy. I think he got held. I think he actually like got his hand on his shoulder. And Alexander Ba has been sucked. Such a good signing. Now, Sancho, lead of the counterattack. Lead it. Sancho, through to Bino Gins. This time, he's not going to get caught. Bino Gins, 
Chance for a big goal, and Bino Gins is not gonna miss that. Okay, the two young substitutes giving us a 2-1 lead. I thought we were out of this, bro. I thought it was done. Now we just gotta close this game out. We got 20 more minutes. I want this third. I don't wanna leave it 2-1. I want this third goal. And there have been a lot of late comebacks this season for us. And I mean a lot. Coco to Bino Gins. Bino Gins gets it back to Taram. Taram into Sancho. Sancho has got a pass here. Oh man, that was almost a really good pass to Adeyemi. Okay, 50 more minutes, and we're through to the final. All right, Nemecha and Wolf are on for the final of 15 minutes. Because Matsun was rinsed, and also Adeyemi was too. Sancho. Oh, man, Nemecha was so in. Wolf plays it to Nemecha. Okay, they got back pretty good here. Let's try to find a good shot. Get it to Wolf. Wolf back to Sancho. Sancho. Oh, man, I saw Turan making a run there. It looked good. Okay, everyone get back now. Everyone, please get back. We got five minutes. Wolf. Oh, we just got by Wolf there. I didn't expect that dribble, but Wolf. Wolf makes up for it there, I think. Okay, relax. Get the ball out. Just relax. No mistakes. Sancho. What a ball to Nemecha. Now, Nemecha going all the way here. Waiting for a pass. Gets it back to. Makoko, who will shoot and will send us to the DFB Pokal final. Bro, 90 second minute, we were down 1 0. And this game is going to end 3 1. What a comeback. We are literally comeback FC. We're corner FC, we're comeback FC. And now DFB Pokal final bound FC, I should say. All right, so we faced Chabi Alonso's Bayer Leverkusen in the final game of the season. But before that, we got a lot more to get through. Now, next up is the Europa League quarterfinals, which unfortunately for us, we have drawn probably the best team in this competition, Liverpool. Like, this could be the final right here. So, it's it is just so tough. They beat uh, Sparta Praha 5-3. I mean, right now we're facing a team that could win the Champions League. So this is going to be so tough. Okay, keep a track of the Bundesliga title race. We just drew in a sim game versus uh, that's Stuttgart, right? So that is not good. We just lost our spot in first. We have uh, we have lost our spot in first to Bayern. Bro, as we just got it, we then lose it. I mean, that shows like over sim games, the team is like very hard to be consistent, as consistent as Bayern. But there's still a chance. There's still a chance. Now, first leg versus Liverpool at Anfield. We're going to sim the first leg and play the second leg. So first leg just keep it competitive please keep it competitive so first leg is gonna be it's gonna be 2-2 okay Luis Diaz scores twice but Malin also scores twice and okay we just had a 2-2 draw at Anfield I'll take that now thankfully we do beat Bracey Motion Gladbach next game though 2-1 heading now into the second leg versus Liverpool which hey this is basically nil nil now now before this game though we see Jurgen Klopp in the tunnel and he says hey it took me a couple years to win my first trophy at Dortmund I know how hard it can be so don't be discouraged I mean we all know Jurgen has a soft spot for Dortmund of course I'm pretty sure he became manager of Dortmund in 2008 and then won his first trophy I think in 2011 or 2010. So it did take him like two years, but I think first team looks uh, pretty good in terms of fitness. So we go with that lineup and win this. We're in the Europa League semis. But yeah, facing a team like Liverpool, I just have no clue what to expect here. We just beat Bayern, so I know we can beat uh, Liverpool if we play our best here. Oh, that's a free kick sent in. That's a terrible free kick by Salah, though. Now it can lead to a counter. Led gets it to Adeyemi. Adeyemi. Now Haled is in, but he's not going to have the pace here. Is he actually going to have the pace? Hold up. He's trying. Oh, he's trying. What a shot, but what a save by Allison. That was a great run by Haled. Julian Brandt, cross in. That goes to Slaughterbeck. He's not going to get it, though. Taram, get it back to uh, Julian Brandt. Oh, he's offside. Please be onside. He is onside. Oh, my. What a cross. Malin hits the post. That cross was so good. Oh, Malin, you got to score that. You got to score that. And our press at Dortmund is getting so much better. We're forcing Liverpool to, like, struggle to get out the back. As I say that, they get it out. But, hey, that was a pretty good, like, two-minute stretch there where they can just play it back to Allison, and that's it. Like, our press is getting better. Okay, Malin, good still there. Malin, Malin. Okay, what was that? Was that not a foul? Hold up. Malin's still going to win it, though. I'm not sure what's happening here, but Malin. Malin needs a pass. Goes back to Julian Brandt. And we have hit the post now twice. Um, how is that even possible? Talk about unlucky. Robertson, don't let him get to the wing. He's gonna cut inside. Okay, that's not bad. Whoa, that's such a good pass. But Koble, what a save on Salah. Okay, this is starting to get end to end here. Salah cross in. Van Dyke header. Koble, good save. And okay, that's gonna be another corner. Second time around, Adiemi, good clearance. And that should fall to Chan. I think it will. Emery Chan wins that. Okay, Julian Brandt win it again. Julian, he did not win it. Curtis Jones up to Darwin. Nunez gets it back to Salah, and Liverpool take a one-goal lead. Bro, we hit the post twice, and they come down the field and score. It's just so unlucky, bro. The post prevents us a two-goal lead, maybe. Okay, we're still in this, so we can score here. This does not feel like an impossible feat to beat them. Emery Chan to Kareem the Dream at Emmy. Needs help. Gets it to Julian Brandt. Julian, Julian. Wait for him. Oh, man, that was so bad. That was actually so bad. Look at our press, though. I mean, we're forcing them to uh, play these risky passes here. Our press start of the season did not look like this. It was a lot worse. And it's worked really well against the, like, the bottom teams of Bundesliga. But a team like this, I mean, eventually, they probably will break out of it. Especially uh, Jurgen Klopp. I mean, the man is master of the gig in pressing. We are trying to teach that to this team. Matson on Nunez. Good tack win. Get it back to him, though. Nunez, don't let him shoot. Slaughterback, good block. Raven Birch, Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt, just clear it. Oh, my, what's happening here? Just clear the ball. Thank you. Okay, half time. It's currently a one goal lead for Liverpool. I feel like we're still in this, though. I feel like we're still in this. I'm going to see Makoko for uh, for Aled. It might be one of our first changes. Matson gets it over to Malin, though. Malin across to Aled, maybe. 
actually to Adeyemi, which, oh man, that's just not the player that I was aiming at. Ram into Lian Brandt, over to Haled, who's just not going to get that. Okay, against a team like this, we just need a faster striker up top, so Makoko is on for Haled. Haled's speed right there is totally exposed in a matchup like this, so kind of a big moment for Makoko here. Yes, dangerous. Yeah, it's going to go out. He kept that in somehow. Dala, Shula, good block. Bubble slide. Now Emery Chan, good tackle there. Wait, that was a foul? That was not a foul right there. Come on. Who is taking this? Is Trent on the field? It is going to be Alexander Arnold. I thought that went in. That free kick had so much pace to it. Okay, 30 minutes, and we are down a goal here. Naram, good ball to Matson. Matson, get it to Julian. Okay, goes Makoko instead. Over to Malin, though. Malin has an option here. Malin, okay, stops. Van Dyke out of position. Matson in to Julian Brandt. Brandt finds an angle, but it's going to be blocked. Oh, man. Salah on the counterattack. Plays it up to Gakpo. Gakpo gets it back to uh, Endo. Salah plays it right to Schlotterbeck. We survived that. Okay, time is running out here fast. Julian Brandt to Malin again. Malin. We might have Makoko on the far post here. Actually, no, we do not. That was a terrible cross. Okay, Makoko. No, you're telling me that was a foul, bro. These refs. How did Makoko just foul Van Dyke there? Okay, Sancho for Malin. And I think, honestly, that's it. That's all we can do. Okay, actually, Matson is a rinse. Let's do Wolf for Matson and switch him in ball. Let's do that. I mean, we're comeback FC. Final 15 minutes of the game. We score a lot of goals, so. Do we have one in us this time? Taram, Taram, wait. Oh, the ref is calling that a foul, too? I can't believe the calls that Liverpool are getting here. Come on, counterattack here needs to be fast. Sancho, we're going to play a long ball. Sancho, Sancho, where is that ball even going? That wasn't even close to Makoko. Oh, then Allison plays a perfect pass to Luis Diaz, and then Wolf can't get him. Yeah, I probably should have more patient there. I should not have played. That was Sancho. Shula, good tackle, though, and no penalty? Okay, how do we not win the ball there, though? Gakpo, Gakpo gets it back to Sobosly. Oh, I gotta get aggressive here. I gotta get aggressive. We gotta just go for a tackle. We got two minutes added on. Okay, we got a minute here to get the ball forward. Okay, we have time for one attack if we're quick here. Ref, don't blow the whistle, please. Adeyemi, please, no. No, Adeyemi, don't lose it. No, the ref's gonna blow the whistle there. We had no time to get forward. Man, a slim 1-0 loss hurts so much when we hit the post in the first, like, 20 minutes twice. If one of those shots goes in, this game is so different. But Liverpool knock us out of the Europa League. If there was any team to do it, I guess Team Liverpool is not, uh, not an embarrassment because they're probably going to go on and win uh, the Europa League now. But we had a chance this game. We had like a real chance. So Europa League hopes are now done. So it's just a uh, league and then DFB Pokal, which hold up. We are back in the first place. Did uh, Bayern lose? Oh, they lost to Cologne 3-1. So we jump in a first. Bro, this season is insane. We got five games left and a real chance at dethroning Bayern Munich. Okay, so we can put the Europa League uh, heartbreak away. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now we focus on this league season, which uh, next game is Leverkusen, I believe. They're in fourth, so it's going to be a tough game probably. And also kind of like a preview to the uh, DFB Pokal final. Now, Matson is rinsed, so let's do uh, bot left back because of that four-star weak foot. Actually, five-star weak foot. And then a uh, wolf right back. And I think we don't change anything else. We're gonna go with that. So wait, now we focus on trying to win the Bundesliga. It's so crazy. Bayern's like perfect season derailed by us after that loss. And now we have a real chance. Still five games left though. A lot could happen in five games. You're gonna see what we can do. I don't know why the field looks like glitched out right now, but we're gonna just deal with it. The shadows are a little bit weird. Julian Brandt to Taram. Taram, great touch. Oh man, I thought that was a foul actually. Yeah, confidence in this team has grown a lot. Earlier in the season, I'd go in every game expecting like concede two or three. But recently, it feels like I'm expecting us almost to win every game right now. That is how much has changed. Okay, that's a very good foul right there though. That is a tactical foul no card either perfectly executed by i think schlotterbeck dangerous attack though dangerous is that a foul Shula. oh that's gonna be a foul okay that was definitely a foul i'll concede that very bad spot though does this give leverkusen a one nil lead nope a uh, wall did their job there that was a really good free kick all right brent it's driving down the middle here he's got no options though get it back to wolf in to turam turam over to Adeyemi. Adeyemi. Oh, man. This strength is just like... At least his turning strength is so low. He always gets out muscled on those. Grimaldo. Okay, Grimaldo just destroyed me. Schlotterbeck. 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 No, what was that? That was almost a penalty. We got lucky there. Wolf, I don't know why you're in the middle, but okay, I'm not mad with it because Adeyemi crossover to Julian Brandt. Oh, my. If he would have scored that, that would be goal of the season. Now, Adeyemi cross in. Looks good. Schlotterbeck header. Oh, man, that just got... Again, Schlotterbeck's headers have uh, no contact on them whatsoever. All out wide, Grimaldo has been a dangerous player for them. I could already see it. Shula, Shula, good. Okay, great tackle by Shula, though. Apparently, Patrick Stick has uh, picked up an injury. As long as it's not my player, I'm not mad. I mean, obviously, I don't want him to be dangerously hurt. Turam, chance to shoot that. Taps up a good block. Turam wins it back, though. Julian Brandt, two. Kareem Adeyemi. Adeyemi cuts inside, tries to find a shot. Oh, it's going to fall to a lead, and it's still going to be saved, though. Corner in. That is going to be, man, our corner. We've lost the corner magic. Plays it to Brant, though. Julian Brandt. Finesse shot. Looks good. Julian Brandt 
hits the crossbar, but that is justice right there. The ladder just gets to it and makes it one nil to Brissy and Dorman. That's justice. We've hit the post like what four times in the episode. Finally, a rebound goes to us. And okay, one nil. Bro, we actually have a chance to win this league title. I don't know how, but we actually do. Ba, good tackle, gets it to Malin. Come on, start second half. Good. Malin. Malin. Chance for finesse shot, of course. We we shot that right at the defender. Malin, Julian Brandt, try it again. Julian Brandt finesse shot. What a shot by Julian Brandt. What a start to the second half. It's 2 0. Bro, there is some magic around this team right now. All of a sudden, we're figuring it out. What a shot this is. This could be goal of the season right here. Probably like what? 25 yards out. A perfect finesse shot. And it is 2 0. Yeah, this is starting to get very real here. We are making Bayern very nervous. That's not a foul, though. These refs just hate me. All right, still out of game, though. We can't get too ahead of ourselves. Still a lot of game left. Keep playing the same way, though. Emery Chan, Emery Chan, what a tackle. They still kept it, though. Oh no, that's a shot. Thank you, Koble, for making that save. Corner in. That is out by someone. I can't even see who. Apparently, Verts handballed it, though, I think. Come on, a third goal would raise the roof off this arena. Smashing a lead out to Malin. Oh, Frimpong. What a sliding tackle that is. Okay, we're starting to get sloppy here. This is not a good sign. Starting to get a little sloppy. Ba, though. Okay, Malin, actually, that's great defending. They're starting to really press us here, like, play a lot with the higher line. So it is pushing us back. But if we break out of it, there's a chance now. Koble. What a pass. Oh my. Julian Brandt. Play it to Adiemi. Adiemi cuts inside. Adiemi tries to. No, Incapier. What a tackle. Bro, Adiemi, that's his one fault there. Oh my, what is happening here? What is happening here? We almost could have played it into the net there. But Adiemi, his strength is his one downfall right now. Emery Chan, Haled, to Malin, out to Ba. Ba, chance to cross it in to absolutely no one. Adiemi gets to it though. Is that a corner? Oh, it's a goal kick out of taking a corner there. Okay, Julian Brand is tired, so let's throw Job on some fresh legs, some energy on the field. And then Shul is tired, but Hummels is just so slow. I can't put Hummels on. I think we stick with that lineup right there. Bro, I did not think a league title was even possible this season, but somehow Bayern have slipped up so much that it's actually a possibility here. We got five minutes. All we gotta do is not concede two in five minutes. Oh man, they are just struggling now. We're making Chabi Alonso look like a fool. Wolf gets it into Job. Bellingham. Okay, that was a shot attempt. That was very bad. But I think that's it. They don't have they don't have enough time. Ref, blow the whistle. Just do it. Blow the whistle. That's gonna be a tackle by Emery Chan. And somehow we beat Leverkusen 2 0 in a commanding fashion. And we justify us being in first place. This is getting too real right now. It's getting way too real. Four games left, two point lead. Now, next up is Leipzig, which we have to sim this one. So this could be a big moment here. This is one of the biggest sim games we have left. So this game is going to be it is gonna be a 2 0 loss to Leipzig. Werner Hydara. Did we just lose? our first place spot again oh i'm gonna be sick i am gonna be sick Bayern win and we're right back to being one point behind them okay four games left there's still a chance here they've slipped up so they can slip up again after all that is saying that we can win the title i'm just heartbroken now come on we can still do this i have a feeling we'll still do this next up is augsburg this is going to be a 2-1 win hummels scored a late winner basically eddie Emmy scored two okay that's a big win right there now did Bayern win as well oh my they lost their game and we jump back into first stuttgart beat Bayern, bro they didn't lose a game till match day what 27 and now they've lost three of the last like eight that is insane stuttgart put us back in a first with a two-point lead what is actually happening right now okay so we have two games left we got mines and then darmstadt two teams that are trap games you know teams we should win but are usually the tougher games i think we got to play both of them and then the final i think we got to play both so mines up next if we win these next two games we are bundesliga of champions in our first season as Dortmund manager. Okay, let's not focus too much on the big picture. Let's just focus on this game right here. Just win this game one game at a time. That's what we're going to try and focus on here. Oh man, I can't believe we are leapfrogging first, second, first, second so much. Stuttgart have given us a real chance here, a final chance probably. If we slip up again, I'm not sure Bayern is going to slip up. So it might be our final chance at not slipping up. Malin gets it back to Turam. Turam into... Julian Brandt, what a start, and it's 1-0. Seven minutes in, what a start for us. We just worked through their defense like they weren't even there. That that play was beautiful, and Julian Brandt, what a shot. And we have we missed him earlier on in the season like that. What was it, a three-month injury? We missed him a lot because he has been so good since his comeback. Okay, this is a very good start to this game, but still a lot of game left. Cross in, that is dangerous, Koble. I don't know what that was. Matson clears it, though. That was very odd. Alexander Ba gets it in to Sebastian Alette. I'm shooting this. We got... We got, oh my, that shot was so good. We had like momentum going into that shot. All right, Kareem, cross in. That looks beautiful. Schlotterbeck, it is 2-0 to Borussia Dortmund. What am I seeing right now? We're dominating pretty much. What a start to this game. Now, if Bayern lose their game and we win here, that's the title to us. So we could win it today if we win this game and they lose. Bro, what a start here. It's literally a magical run right now. At one point, we were like nine points off Bayern. Somehow it's ended up like this. Okay, keep our head on straight. Don't get too ahead of ourselves. It's hard not to, but please don't. Okay, Julian, Julian Brand. 
man, again, what a tackle by him. Now, Matson. honestly, when we put Mots in the starting 11, we signed Ba. That was when this team really changed. Julian Brand at Cam. That is when this team really got a lot better. Cross in. Khaled. Oh, that could have been 3-0. That would have been so nice. When I want this, though, we got to keep scoring here. Because I don't know what could happen in this game. We just need to keep scoring Malin to Sebastian Aled, who will shoot. And, oh, we have hit the post, I think, now five times today. Oh, that is so infuriating. Oh, what a good pass. But Matson, what a good interception. That pass totally fooled me, but Matson was ready for it. Julian gets it out wide to Malin. Malin into Aled. Now, be patient. Finding a good shot here. Get it out to Ba. Now, Ba into Adeyemi. Adeyemi. Oh, man, I wanted that pass. If that pass got to Hale, that was going to be a goal right there. Now, instead, they're counterattacking with a lot of pace here. Schlotterbeck, Schlotterbeck, good defense. No, that's going to be a foul. Pretty sure he, like, elbowed him there. Okay, maybe last chance the first half. Cross in, and that is going to be caught by Koble. Okay, beautiful first half, though. 2-0. I want more goals, though. I am sensing some magic around this team somehow. It just feels like we're figuring this out right at the end. Like, the sliders, the team, like, everything's coming together right now. We are learning how to win with this team. Emery Chan. Two, oh, brilliant, Brand. That pass was so bad from Chan. We had numbers there, too. Naram gets that's it. This is dangerous. Don't let them score one. Please do not let them score one. No foul there. No foul, please. Someone's got to mark that second man, though. Okay, shoot like a tackle. We do survive that. Liam Brandt through Daddy Emmy. Their defense is out of position. Daddy Emmy will try to do it on his own. Again, he gets caught up, though. I always think he's going to blow by them. Then I forget our sliders. You just can't abuse pace like that as much. Because the normal sliders, Daddy Emmy would blow by all those defenders. Like, I'm not used to not being able to do that. Okay, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous shot, Koble. Good save right there. Okay, I'm going to do Adeyemi up top for Haled, and then I'm going to do uh, Sancho for Haled on the right. I feel like Adeyemi has got these breakaway opportunities. If he has more space at striker, we might be able to seal this game. Okay, I don't know what that was, but we're just going to clear it. Okay, right what I just said, we might have a chance right now because Julian Brand into Adeyemi. He's got more space. Still needs help, though. Get it back to Sancho. Sancho. No, Sancho. How do we not get that pass through? Oh, that could have been game. We got 20 minutes. I am nervous. Okay, Ryan Gold just did that to me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Not like this, please. This would be the worst time for them to score. Uh, Shula just fell over there. Not sure what that's about, but Emre Chan, Emre Chan. That is a good tackle. Come on, score this third and make it game. Malin, you got so much space. Malin gets it into the new signing from day one. Turam, and he's going to score to make it 3-0. 79th minute, we have taken a commanding step towards the league title. I don't know. I should have looked who Byron were facing. I have no idea who they're facing now. If they're facing like a good team, there's a chance we can win the trophy at the end of this game. Turam, what a finish. Okay, Wolf on for Matson. Switch him a Ba. 3-0, I feel like this game is done. I wish we could see the Byron score right now. I don't even know if they're even playing on the same day. Okay, let's not concede, though. Let's try to not concede. Oh, my. What a good pass. Shula, good block, though. And, of course, there's an open net, and they're going to score. Okay, seven minutes. Let's relax. It doesn't mean anything. We're not losing this game. I will not let us lose a 3-0 lead in the final 10 minutes. That's not happening. We got three minutes. Kobo is going to kick that. Actually, a very good pass to Sancho. Sancho is going to do a little dribble. Get it to Brandt. What a pass. Now, Julian Brandt goes all the way. Julian! Brandt goes all the way, and he's going to make it 4-1. Now, did Bayern lose, and are we champions? We maybe are. It's about to find out. He's going to blow the whistle. What's happening? Did Bayern lose? I am confused. There's no big celebrations here. Okay, I think Bayern won. I think Bayern won, and now it goes down in the final day with a two-point lead. Oh, it just couldn't be more dramatic than this, huh? Oh, wait. Bayern didn't even play on that day. Okay, so they didn't play. We currently have a five-point lead. Who do they face? They face, uh, oh, they face Wolfsburg, the fifth-place team, which has a good chance of maybe getting a draw or something off them. The only way they can stay in it is if they beat Wolfsburg. If they draw, then we are Bundesliga champions somehow. Bro, this is, like, one of the biggest bottle jobs I've ever seen, I think. Okay, wait, what day do they play? They play on uh what day is it um they play on the 11th so literally the i think the current day so we're gonna sim the 11th now are we champions we are going to be oh my they actually drew are you kidding me byron have bottled the title like i've never seen before they drew with wolfsburg 2-2 and that means we are bundesliga champions somehow bro i have never seen such a big bottle job how did they lose like an eight point lead i cannot believe we just won the league in our first season though like i didn't think that was a possibility like what has actually happened here i'm like shocked of course the game like doesn't even know we're champions yet it just says dortmund maintain title charge but Okay, final game now we can lift the trophy. Like what? I cannot believe Bayern just lost the title. Literally that first game of the day was almost title decider. We beat them and it just ruined all their confidence. Okay, final game. Let's play the highlights and then lift this trophy. And I'm thinking I might have to adjust the sliders even more. Like at the start of the season, the sliders felt like impossible to win on, but I don't know if we've adjusted them. Like the team has gotten better too. We might have to adjust them even further, which sounds insane. But I feel like it was actually more so Bayern just bottling the title. Like they lost to uh, Cologne. They drew with Stuttgart. We beat them after not losing a game all season long. I honestly did not think that was a possibility in this episode.
mode, but somehow we are league champions. Did not think I was going to say that. Okay, let's try and score a goal here. Why not on the final day? Okay, that's not going to be a goal. Get it back to him, though. Malin will shoot from the stratosphere. That's going to be a corner. Of course, you don't get to take that corner, though, which is why I don't play highlights. I feel like highlights are pretty much, uh, they're not bad. I just don't really like playing them. A lead through to Adiemi. Adiemi crossover. Is that handball? That should have been handball there. And a chance for Sebastian to let it go for a long shot. That went off that guy's face with so much pace. Ah, uh, he's going to have a headache. A rather large one, probably. Emery Chan is going to shoot that. Man, our shots in this uh, highlights have been terrible. But okay, final whistle. We lost a 2-0, but it doesn't matter. We have somehow won the Bundesliga League title somehow. Now, I better get a trophy lift here. I better get a trophy lift. Obviously, it was already decided, so it's not going to be a huge celebration. Okay, we do get the trophy lift. Thank you, game. Bro, I did not think this was even a possibility. Like, I'm so surprised. I didn't plan on playing this many games in the episode, but the fact we beat Bayern give ourselves a chance, even with us, like, losing a sim game, drawing a sim game, just Bayern literally handed us this title and then or a chance to, and then we we took advantage of it by winning the title and at the end just everything came together in this team i mean i thought there was a chance we could get fired at the end of the episode if we didn't win um the europa league the dfp pokal the bundesliga but i feel like now you could comfortably say well, we will be returning as dormant manager even though they haven't told us that i can pretty much guarantee that now and we still got the uh dfp pokal final to play so a chance for another trophy but bundesliga champions that's one of the most unexpected league titles i think i've ever won so final game of the season now leverkusen versus Borussia dortmund dfp pokal final now i thought this might be the only trophy we win if we get to the final but now we win this it'll be the domestic double i still can't believe we won the league okay let's end this season right though and let's win this cup final i've always loved the dfp pokal trophy that is a beautiful trophy so if we can be the ones to lift it i'll take that and uh, we just beat leverkusen earlier so we know we can do it again man first league title since 2012 like i cannot believe we did that the first season i can't believe it i was hoping to just finish top four this season and uh, stay in the champions league that was my hope okay hold up good start Lauren verts we'll try to get a shot here shula is doing defensive work shula okay that's a turn Oh my, what is that? Oh, they're going to score first. Bro, I just couldn't tackle Verts there. Okay, let's focus on this game. Let's focus on this final right now. I'm getting a little bit distracted. Terem into Malin, who's in space. Malin to Sebastian Led. Oh my, that was like a shot where he was falling over. But it uh, still looked pretty good. Adiemi, that's going to be a high cross. Someone just fell over. Is that not a penalty? I guess not. Terem into Adiemi. Adiemi crossover. That'll be another corner. I feel like Julian Brandt should be taking corners, huh? Probably should fix that. Let's see if we should. Julian Brandt cross. Looks good. That looks pretty good. Yeah, Julian Brandt, you are now taking corners. Malin, I don't know what that was. On a phase, pass up, and Schlotterbeck probably just saved uh, a goal there, definitely. Now, I'm excited for next season, but now I'm thinking um, all of our players after winning a league title are going to be a lot more popular, you know? So if some big teams come in for players like Schlotterbeck, Adiemi, Malin, I'm not sure we can say no to that. So that's going to be a whole other thing. But Turam makes it 1-1. What a shot by Kefren Turam. 28th minute, this cup final was 1-1. But that's kind of the bad thing I'm seeing. Like, all these players are going to be so much more higher profile players. I mean, they just literally dethroned Bayern. So I'm not sure we're going to hold on to some of them. But once again, let's focus on now. I'm getting too ahead of myself. Let's focus on now. And uh, currently, this game is 1-1. Decent pass. Hoffman, Shula. Good tackle by Shula there. Adiemi up there, May Chan. Get it to a lead. Now, Julian Brandt's going to play it over the top to Malin. Malin couldn't fight for that Frim Pong. I mean, he's got. Definitely a lot of pace there. Which Malin is not the quickest player. This is bad though. Patrick Schick. Butterback needs to come over. Oh no. Ba. Okay. We just got so lucky there. I don't know why Patrick Schick did not shoot that. They probably should have scored that one right there. Okay. Half time it's 1 1. This is a competitive game here. Kind of feels like it could go either way. Adiemi lays it off to Ba. Ba. Cross in. Great cross. Turam header attempt, but it goes over the net. Yeah, that one looked pretty good. That's a cross in, but that's right at Schlotterbeck right there, so that's not bad. I feel like, once again, I'm thinking Makoko on for a lead. I feel like just more pace up top helps. Or we put Adiemi up top. I might put, actually, Adiemi up top, because that worked out really well in the last game. Now, Ba. Great ball to Julian Brandt, though. Julian Brandt. Oh, this needs one more pass. Gets it over to Adiemi. Adiemi. Pets inside. Beautifully done, but Verts is going to block the shot. Oh, that felt so good again. Hlojek, this is not good. Hlojek running through. Gets it to through the stick. Oh, hello, Jack. Don't let him shoot. That's good block. Turam, Turam, get it out. Okay, that works. That actually works very well for us. We got 15 minutes. This game has gone by so quick. And it's still nil nil. Adiemi, though. Adiemi is in. Oh, my. This could be it. Adiemi gets it through to Julian Brand. One more pass. Haled over to Malin. Who will shoot? Just executed perfectly. 79th minute. It is 2 1 to Borussia Dortmund. Bro, I don't know what happened. Like last two episodes, all our late comebacks, the uh, late goals. There has been some magic around this team. And in the season finale, it just hasn't left us. The whole episode, basically. Okay, Eddie, me up top. We're going to do Sancho for Haled. Let's do Wolf for Matson. Same change as usual. Let's go with that. We got 12 minutes and a one goal lead. Waterback, Schlotterbeck. He got fouled. No, don't let him take that free kick. That's actually a very good play on. Just now we count him score. Slaughterback once again doing all that work. Emre Chan gets it through to Sancho. Sancho back to Wolf. Wolf get it right back to Sancho. Sancho two. No, I was going to play that over the top to Julian Brandt. Okay, Tap Silva's running here. We got one minute. This is their final chance. This is their final chance. I'm blocking that lane. Shula, what a tackle. 
we have just done the domestic double in Germany. Oh, I cannot believe this season finale. I thought this would be maybe the only trophy we won if we were perfect. And that's a big maybe. But we have won the Bundesliga, won the DAP Pokal, and all of a sudden we look like the new kings of Germany. There has been such a big shift in this team though the last like what, two episodes? And now we have trophies to show it. So I can't believe this, honestly, I can't believe it. This changes the plans for this series a lot now. Two trophies, Bundesliga and the cup. Honestly, next up, the next target should be the Champions League. So that is the next target if we stay on his manager, which honestly, we're staying on his manager. There's no way. We're not being sacked because of course, DFB Pokal champions along with the Bundesliga. There's no way we're sacked now. But the problem is all these players like Schlotterbeck, Kobel, uh, Malin. If big teams come in for these players, we simply just cannot keep them. Like that's not the Dorman way. So that's gonna be a whole new challenge, but what a season for this squad. Such an unexpected first season. And this right here is something I did not think we'd have in the first season at all. A trophy parade. I did not think this was possible, but first time since 2012, Borussia Dortmund are the kings of Germany. So man, just what a season now. Let's see who won the Champions League. Champions League is won by um, Real Madrid beat Bayern in the final. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Bayern. And of course, Liverpool won the Europa League and I was surprised there. Now, final stats this year. I mean, Kareem Adeyemi has proven to be the star of this team now. 26 goals, 6 assists. Um, Sebastian Lair, 16 and 6. Marlon, 15 and 5. Definitely respectable. Efren Turm has been such a good signing too. Like, 8 and 8 for your midfielder. I can't ask for much more than that. So, pretty much like from the mid-season point, this team was amazing. Now, it's time to talk to the Borussia Dortmund board. So, we have a big board meeting and Sebastian Kale says, we've brought you here to discuss our plans for next season. He says, the Champions League was a very big disappointment for this club, but your efforts to win the league and also the cup, this season proved to be an amazing season for this club. Now, as for next season, we are offering you a one-year extension to remain as Borussia Dortmund manager, and we expect big squad changes in the summer, and we want you to have a major role in decision-making, and we say we appreciate the offer, and we accept, and we say next season we go for the Champions League. Okay, we are starting season two at Borussia Dortmund. Now, in season one, we somehow dethroned Bayern and won the Bundesliga. I mean, pretty much Bayern bottled the title, and along with that, we also won the DFB Pokal as well. So now in season two, we go for the Champions League. We got some big changes coming to this team, along with three brand new kits, some big new signings, and new challenges for this Dortmund squad. So if you're excited for season two, then drop a like, and let's get back into it. Now we start this episode, it's early morning. We're barely just waking up. Today starts a new season, and we have a big meeting scheduled, so we get dressed, we make some coffee, try to actually wake up, and then just like that, we're out the door. Now this meeting is with sporting director Sebastian Kale, where he says, although we just won the league, there will be a lot of changes this season. He says two of our first team players have requested a transfer and then two others we've received offers for offers Which we cannot turn down. He says our goal is to win the Champions League this season But there will be challenges now first though It's been a whole summer of training for the squad Everyone's gone off and had their summer, you know train on their own and a few of the younger players have actually grown a lot over the summer And I mean a lot first one being the Northern Ireland CDM We bought last year Shea Charles from Southampton He's gone from 68 to a 74 overall now He didn't play much last year, but he's trying to get playing time this season and honestly with his stats now he actually she might. Now, another player that's worked hard over the summer is Job Bellingham, who is now 80 rated. Now, compared to all the other youth players, like he actually played a decent bit last season. So he's got that experience. And now that he's grown even more, he's going to be big for us this season. And now the other player, the last one who spent a lot of work over the summer is our youth academy product, Kai Jakobsen from Norway. Of course, the next Erling Holland, And he scored some big goals for us last season. Like he definitely showed his potential and he's now 76 rated. And also he's earned that a uh, rapid plus play style as well. So um, Jakobsen, Bellingham, and then Charles, they're all going to have like much bigger roles this season. And that is because you might have seen it already. You might have noticed. We've already sold or been forced to sell four players and two were starters. The first one being Sebastian Aled. He's gone to Lazio for about like 40 million. Now we sold him because I want to give Makoko that starting spot and then Jakobsen the backup spot. It's time to give some of the younger players a chance to start the team. So Aled, it was just kind of the process of how it goes. Older players out, younger players in. Now the other one was actually a little bit more heartbreaking. And that was Daniel Mullen has gone to Roma for about 70 million. He was one of those players where like I would love to keep him, but if we got an offer for him, I couldn't really say no if we're trying to be realistic here at least a little bit and i had offers from roma and psg which i accepted both and i thought he'd go to psg but he actually went to roma instead so that's two players in our attack starting 11 that are gone now and helped us win the league now we also lost a pretty important bench player and that is felix nemecha now he actually requested a transfer and uh when chelsea came knocking i couldn't say no to that like chelsea's a big move for him probably so he's made his way to the premier league he wasn't gonna take Turam's starting spot so it kind of just uh feels like it had to happen now the fourth player we sold or i guess kind of sold it was actually uh Ozchan. now he wanted to leave the 
the club, but he was stuck on the loan list. So we couldn't sell him. So he's actually on loan at Spurs, which is a little weird, but he's basically sold. So it was Chan, Nemecha, Haled, Malin. That's four first team players that are just gone. And I think for the most part, we're going to promote players to instead replace them in the starting 11. Basically, Sancho comes in and starts for Malin, and then Makoko comes in and starts for Haled, which also means our bench is now very, very thin, which we're going to need to bolster that with a few signings, I think, along with maybe a defensive upgrade for us too. Now, after winning the league, uh, selling those players, we got almost 330 million to spend. Now, we are Dortmund though, so we're not going to spend all of that. We're definitely not. It will be useful though, because I'm thinking we need a backup keeper. We need a new left back. I think we need a midfielder. We need a winger. Pretty much to bolster the team and try to get us to defend our title and go for the Champions League. It is uh, not going to be easy though. Now, I like Bono Gins and Duranville on the bench, but I feel like we need one more winger on the bench. And I think I have the perfect player in mind here. Kind of like Jaden Sancho, we're going to try to save his career. And that player is Ansu Fati, the Barcelona player that's currently in real life out on loan at Brighton. I mean, injuries have hurt his career a lot, and it kind of feels like Barca are getting closer to giving up on him. So we may be able to sign him from Barcelona to be the new backup to Sancho. It's crazy that Ansu is still only 21 years old, but I feel like in a bench role, like he'd be so good off the bench. Maybe also playing a little bit of striker too. So for our first attempted signing in season two, I want it to be Ansu Fati. Now it might cost a lot. We're going to try like 55 million to start with that. So 55 million, they're going to want 71.2. Let's go for like 65. That uh, selling clause is fine. And okay, Xavi accepts that. So Barca are giving up on Ansu Fati. Hey, I'm not giving up on him though. I feel like he could be a really good player for us and maybe the future replacement to uh, Adeyemi, Sancho. Now Dorman, I think he could really revive his career. And again, he's still only 21 years old. Like there's not much reviving going on. He's still got time. So first signing of season two is going to be Ansu Fati. Hey, that's a statement signing right there. So Ansu replacing basically Daniel Malin. Welcome to Borussia Dortmund. I'm excited for this one. I think he's going to do very well here. Now, by the way, with Haleta gone, I feel like Makoko should probably get the number nine shirt because he is our starting striker now. So Makoko is now number nine, but Ansu pretty much bolsters the bench. I feel like uh, Bino Gains will be the backup to Adeyemi and then Ansu the backup to Sancho. So I like that a lot. I think next we need to address this uh, left back spot. I like Ben Spaini. I don't want to sell him, but the problem is he's not quick at all. Like we bought Ba who's quick and it proved to be such a big defensive upgrade. So I want a faster left back. And while Matson was good, I think I found a better option here. I think with our defense being a problem, we should have someone more experienced in that left back spot. And I think David Rom from uh, Leipzig is that perfect option. He's quick. He's got very good passing dribbling, also good physical stats. So very much like a more modern left back, but I feel like it'd be perfect. And it seems maybe more like a realistic ish transfer. So we're going to offer about 35 million. It's not going to be too expensive, which they want Bino Gains. That is not happening. Let's go 35. And okay, they accept uh, 35. I mean, this is a no brainer signing right here. With our uh, young attack, we're going to need some experience in the back and the defense. So I think David Rom is perfect. So signing number two, David Rom. Welcome to Borussia Dortmund. All right. So with Ansu in there and also Rom, I think we should start the season now. Let's see how the new Makoko are placing a Let's see how uh, Sancho places uh, Malin and then get Rom's debut and also Ansu's debut. And then after that, I feel like I still have a few more signings up my sleeve. Now, the start to this season, though, in season two is actually insane. Our first game of the season is the Super Cup because Bayern came in second last year. So already first game is Bayern. And then we face Leipzig in the league for the first game of the Bundesliga. And then second game is Bayern again. So first episode of season two, we're going to face Bayern twice. Yeah, talk about a tough start. Now, before we start this game, though, let's show off our new kits for season two. Now, you've seen the home kit. That is our new home kit for season two. It's got like the design down the middle. It's got the sleeve designs. I would say it's nice. That black and yellow colors always look so good. Now, our away kit is this white design. It's got the, like the white collar. It's got the unique design on the front. It's not bad. Now, I do like our third kit, though, which is this kind of like black sleeves and like red middle, like dark red middle. I don't think Dorman usually have red kit, so it's a little bit unique, but I like it. Our uh, first game, we'll wear the home kit. But okay, first game with Makoko Sancho coming in and also Rom's debut. Let's see how this uh, post winning the title team looks now. Now, the one player we've held on to, which I'm actually happy about, is Kareem Adeyemi. So far, we've got no offer swarm, and he's going to be so big this year. I feel like past this season, we probably can't keep him if we get no offers, but we're going to try our best to hold on to him this season because I need him to be the star of this team. But okay, first game of season two. Let's see what we can do. Last time we faced Byron, we beat them 1-0. Uh, it was a slim 1-0 win. It pretty much was a title decider, so we got some fresh blood still between these two teams. Now, Adeyemi, cross over to Sancho. Sancho got to that, but that goes over the net. Now, also, Hummels is still here and Royce is still here. I think they're both retiring at the end of the season, though. So I'm going to keep them as like the leaders in the team, you know, the experience on the bench to help the younger players. We're going to keep on the team for now, though. I'm not selling Royce or Hummels. Hey, Adeyemi has Turam here. Turam. A chance to go for something special. That would have been insane. I'm right, Chan, boss. So far, we look actually decent. Makoko hasn't got in the game too much, but I feel like so far we look decent. We don't look scared in this game, which obviously we should not. We are the current champions, which still feels insane. Now, Ba, good steal. Julian Brandt. Can go for a shot here. That was uh, a little bit wide, but it looked threatening. Adiemi to Makoko. Makoko, good touch there. Get it to Adiemi. Good pass. Adiemi into Turam. That pass from Adiemi was actually so bad, though. That was so off target. I feel like we're actually holding more possession than Bayern, which is uh, not usual in this matchup. Usually they're the ones dominating the ball. Now Kane is always dangerous. They got players that can score. 
whenever they want to. They just find a moment. Okay, let's just clear that. Let's just be safe. And versus Turam gets it back to Mizrawi. Over to Limer. Into Komen. Oh, we gotta step up there. Cole makes a good save, but we gave Komen way too much room there. Okay, Byron are coming into this game now. Muziala goes for a shot. Actually does not. Passes it to Komen. And okay, Ba, that's a very good tackle right there. Now Makoko could be in here. Does he have the pace though? I feel like no, not quite. Not as slow as Ale, but he needs help still. Oh, damn, he loses it to Limer. All right, the team has got that uh, early season rust right now. I can already tell. A little bit sloppy in the attacking third. That is our new left back. That's a great tackle, too. And now he's making a really good run here, actually. Let's see that 87 pace. Okay, Makoko, I need you more towards the middle, though. We're going to try and cross this to someone. Whoa, whoa, what a cross from our new left back at Eddie Emmy scores. Okay, Noah, hello, we still score headers. That's how you announce yourself to your new team, David Rom. That cross is perfect. Eddie Emmy attacked it perfectly too. Okay, 1-0 to Percy and Dortmund. That goal came out of nowhere. And makes tackle, then leads counterattack. That is really good to see. And okay, halftime, it's currently 1-0 to Dortmund. I am very much encouraged by that first half right there. Now, I think Antu in second half is going to get his debut very soon here. But first, pause on attack here. We're going to get it to Ram. Now, to Ram, over to Sancho. Gets it to Rom. Now, does he have another cross in him? Maybe. Oh, yes, he does. What a cross, and that header is right at Neuer. Man, his crossing is actually insane. Julian Brandt gets it. Emery Chan. Emery Chan is shooting this from distance. Why not? Emery Chan, long shot, and it goes right into Neuer's hands. Okay, that was risky. It's a bit. Could have easily lost it there, and it could have been a one-on-one -on -one almost. Instead, turn ramp into Rom. Okay, Rom was making a great run there, but that dribble wasn't as good. And when we joined this team in our first season, like, the fullback spots were the weak points. Now they're not. Like, we are got some strong fullbacks now. Speaking of that, Adiyemi into Ba. Ba gets it over to Makoko. Makoko, one touch pass to Julian Brandt. Oh, man, that wasn't the best choice. I thought Julian had a better chance at a shoot. All right, now it's time for Ansu's debut. So, Joe is coming on for Brandt, and then Ansu Fati is coming on for Sancho. I mean, man, he could be such a good player off the bench for us. And he might be in immediately. Ansu is in. Is he on side? Oh my, Ansu. Literally an instant impact. No, it's going to be saved. It's going to be a corner. Ansu, a chance to score on basically his first touch. Okay, corner in by Ansu. That's going to go to Slaughterback. Slaughterback. Oh, good header, but it goes over the net. Okay, Sané is destroying the entire defense here. Slaughterback covers. Then Rom gets back. Rom against Guerrero. Gets it over. Yasuo can make against Taram. Okay, don't give him a penalty. That'd be terrible here. David Rom tackle. Is that clean? No, we got the ball there. We did get a lot of Sané, but I thought that was clean. Okay, Makoko off for uh, Jakobsen. Let's see the uh, new and improved Jakobsen. They got this free kick, though, which that is dangerous. Koble barely got to that. That was so awkward. Ansu, great first touch. Hey, Ansu looks lively here. Into Jakobsen. Gets it to Job. Bellingham, who is in. Job, do you have the pace here? Oh, man, not quite. Get it to Ansu. Ansu. Oh, we can't get it back to Job, though. Again, uh, just a horrible counterattack. Job steals it, though. Job gets it into Kai. Jakobsen shoots. Neuer makes the save. But, okay, he punches it out, too. What did I just see there? That was crazy. Okay, Matoma playing for Bayern. That must be a new signing. Sané. Sané is in again in the box. Dangerous. Shula, I need you. Oh, my. That's a good block. Naram into Matoma. Matoma. Musiala. Shula, just clear it. Okay, that was so dangerous, but that desperate defending works. Musiala gets it to Komen. Ba. Can't make a tackle there, but we're still good. We're still good. Okay, no, we're not. We are not good. Oh, we are not good. We are not good. Schlotterbeck basically was keeper there. What a block. Look at the team. We're fired up. Yeah, six minutes. This is a very long attack by Byron, though. Kimmich gets it over. It's going to be someone. Schlotterbeck, good tackle. Get it out, though. Get it out. We do get it out. Okay, we survived that entire attack, and we can break here, actually. Jakobsen, Rom, over to Ansu Fati. Ansu's got options here. Tries to go around one, and he can. And where are all the teammates at? He had, like, no support there whatsoever. Oh, that is such a good pass. Sane, no, gets it to Kimmich, and we can slide over fast enough, and they're going to score. 90th minute Byron tie up the game. Oh, we just could not get over fast enough and i missed the tackle there at the end is the uh, first game of the season gonna be a penalty shootout we might have one chance here for a winner maybe okay rom ansu i need you to run please thank you ansu to turam oh you gotta be kidding me bro how does the ref blow the whistle when the ball is progressing forward that is so infuriating okay penalties in the first game of the season i guess okay first up captain himself emre chan we're going top right Top right into the back of the net. All right, Kane versus Kobol. He's going to go right, Kobol. What a save that is. New signing, Ansu Fati going top right again. Top right, top right. Oh, Neuer's going to guess right. Okay, Yasuo Kimmich is going to go. He's going to go left. Kareem the Dream, Eddie Amy, we're going to go bottom left. Bottom left here, and that's a decent penalty. Kingsley Komen versus... You, okay, no, I thought we guessed right there. I totally read that. We still couldn't get it, though. Okay, Kai Jakobsen. We are going bottom right. Bottom right. That's a good penalty right there. Leroy Sané, he's going to go right. He's going to go right. No, he's going to go left. Efren Turam, we're going top right. Top right. Okay, Neuer was faked out there. All right, Kobol, save this, and we win. I think it's Matoma. Matoma. 
versus Cobalt. It is going to be, he's going to send it to the left lightly. All right, Alexander Ba. That's a lot of power. Is that too much? Is that too much? Oh, it's not a good penalty though. Are we about to lose on penalties? I think it's uh, it's Limer. Limer to keep us alive. Cobalt, no, I went the right way and he still couldn't save it. Bro, we were in control of this game for like literally 80 minutes and they just took over in the end and got their goal and then they went on a 50-50 penalty shootout. That's so unfortunate, but I'm still encouraged though. In all our previous meetings, they were the ones that controlled the game, but in this game, we controlled it. So although we lost, I'm not mad because I think this game, we showed how much ground we've, uh, we've gained on them. So we'll let them lift their little trophy. You're welcome, Harry Kane. All right, I'm encouraged though by this starting 11 here. I think this 11 is the 11 I want to start the season. I think now what's left is to bolster the bench more because we need a backup mid to Turam. We need uh, also a fourth choice center back behind Hummels or maybe even to take Hummels spot on the bench. So midfielder and a center back. I think at center back, I really like Bella Kotschap from Southampton. I mean, he's German. He's 6'3". He's only 22 years old. He's got pace, strength, 76 overall. I feel like that's not a bad pickup and also pretty inexpensive for a player that young. So I think I'd put him on the bench over Hummels and Hummels can go to the reserves for now. So we can try to grow Bella Kotschap up a little bit. Uh, let's try just 20 million to strip 20. And they just say yes to that. So Bella Kotchap is going to be signed up as our third signing of season two. Once again, when time comes for either Schlotterbeck, Shula to maybe move on, Bella Kotchap could be that perfect replacement for either of them. So welcome to the team, our new center back. Now we need uh, that Felix Demetra replacement, a box to box mid to back up Turam. And once again, I think I've found the perfect player here. And that is Juventus's Nicolo Ravella. He's 22 years old. He's a center mid slash uh, CDM. So box to box. I mean, he's pacey. He's got good dribbling. It reminds me a lot of Demetra. So it looks like a perfect replacement. Now he is going to be a little bit more on the expensive side, but it's because he's got potential. And come on, Juventus are in a very bad spot right now being with that point deduction. So he can come play for a club that's known for developing young players like him has a much uh, more respectable right now stature, I'd say. Try 51.5 and they are going to flat out just accept that. So like on Sufati, now Ravella joins and that is another really good like young player to add to this team. So again, I think a pretty good signing for us. So yeah, Bella Kotschap, Ravella, Ansu, that bench has now been bolstered. And I think we're ready for the first game of the season now. The first boon is like a game, which as I said before, we're facing uh, Leverkusen, which towards the end of last season, we beat actually pretty easily. I don't know if that'll be the same this time around. So we'll try to give some debuts, but starting with the first team, the first 11, of course, and we now start our Bundesliga title defense. Come on, after losing that uh, on penalties, I gave to Bayern. I want to win this game. Prove that Makoko, uh, Sancho are worthy replacements of Malin and uh, Haled. It's a big game for those players and also maybe some debuts off the bench as well. Like, it'd be very nice to get Makoko uh, a goal this game for confidence and everything. Okay, Tella is driving forward there into Patrick Schick. Schlotterbeck. Schlotterbeck has been okay. No, this will be a terrible start. Oh man, I gotta just clear it. They pounced on us so quick right there. I wanted to try and pass it out to keep possession. I tried one little extra turn here. That turn right there, that last one. Oh, I was just trying to wait for that pass to turn him to open up. Okay, what a terrible start actually. That's terrible. Welcome to our title defense of the Bundesliga. All right, now I'm mad. Coco to turn him into Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt. Okay, that is not exactly what I had in mind. Almost look good though. Emery Chan into Julian Brandt. That shot's blocked. Get it over to Ba. Ba into Adiemi. Adiemi. And go for finesse shot. Oh man, that almost deflected right into uh, Brandt's stride. It is a chance for a counter attack. Adiemi to Makoko. Now Makoko is going to try to find Ba. Adiemi, Adiemi, you just ran completely offside there. Like, how are you going to be an option for Ba if you're offside there? Um, that is one of the best tackles of the series, I think, right there by Schlotterbeck. That is one of the best tackles I've seen. That was insane. From Julian Brandt, Makoko, are you on side still? I think you're on side. Are you onside? I think he is. He was onside. That was not a bad take. Corner in by Kareem Adeyemi. That is Emre Chan, and this game should be 1-1 right now. Okay, second time around, Emre Chan again. This time, oh, he's going to hit the crossbar. Man, that would have been so nice to score right there. Emre Chan, it's around. We can find a pass here. Get it back to Emre Chan. Feel like this tying goal is right there for us. Julian gets it into Makoko, who's going to shoot. That's got to be a goal right there. Oh, Makoko, you're getting chances. That is going to be out to Sancho. Jula into Adeyemi. That shot is blocked. Man, we had some really good chances there. Really good chances. Now, Palacios into Golovin. This is looking dangerous. Very dangerous. Grimaldo against Ba. Grimaldo gets it in. This is so... Okay, boys, what are we doing here? We can let them just dribble in our box. He just uh, ran that one out. That was decent by Shula in the end. Duram, I'm waiting for Makoko. Actually, Turam's gonna shoot this. Man, Gabriel blocks it. Oh, Sancho, what a steal that is. I didn't even know he could do that. Julian, Julian, waiting for Makoko. Oh, that pass is so bad. Yeah, our attack is so rusty right now. That's a bad clearance, though. Turam cleans it up. Is that a foul? Patrick Schick just tackled him from behind. Thank you, ref. Okay, this seems a little bit too far out for a free kick, though. Oh, I feel like it's too far. We're going to go for an outside the boot shot. Outside the boot, kind of go for a line drive here. And go maybe like right there. Now, Julian Brandt, let's see what we can do. Looks decent. Actually, was not, but that might bounce kindly. It will. To Turam, but his shot's gonna be blocked by Tella. Man, we are getting so unlucky there in like our final moments of our attack. Okay, that's half time. We're currently one no down, man. We should have tied this up. Like one of those goals had to go in there. Now, if they score early in the second half, this game might be done. Because after all this work for us not to have one goal, like that is devastating. But if we score, it's game on. Ba, 
Out to Adiemi. Alexander Baugh is going to get it to Julian Brandt. Okay, wait. The option is going to be there. Into... No, Ba. I need you to slide over more. He went right in front of that defender. He had space to the side. Julian to Sancho. Okay, Makoko, where are you going there? Bro, Makoko was in such a good spot. Then he just, like, ran to the left. He went out wide. Ram into Jaden. Sancho finesse shot. That's going to be blocked. Alexander Ba is going to cross that in. It's going to be a throw in. Whoa, that's a through ball. Come on. Patrick Schick is not this fast. He's not faster than Schlotterbeck. Okay, maybe he is. Slaughterbeck, though, good recovery. Gets it out wide. Slaughterbeck needs a tackle there. Needs one tackle. Cobble saves it, though. We are very lucky there. Corner sent in. That is out by Shula. Cannot let him score there. Cannot let him score here. Granite Chaka gets it back. Gets it over to Palacios. They can't score here, boys. Gotta get this ball. Okay, Ba gets that. Okay, we survived that. Now, let's tie this game up. We might need some subs soon. Okay, Makoko has had a very tough game, I think. So, Jakobsen is on for Makoko. We got two young strikers, so I feel like we got a balanced game time. See if uh, Jakobsen can do something different this game. Brandt gets it into Terem. Terem right into Kai Jakobsen, who's going to shoot and he's going to score on basically his first touch. Okay, 70th minute, Kai Jakobsen ties it up for us. Man, should he be the starter over Makoko? I don't know. I thought there'd be no way, but that instant impact right there, he's got a chance to earn that starting spot. Turam, great pass down the middle. And then what a finish by our Youth Academy player. Okay, 1-1, we're back in this now. And Jakobsen just scores big goals, like nothing but big goals for us. Oh, Grimaldo, that was dirty. Okay, thankfully we didn't uh, foul him there. Please get it off him. Ba, ba, no, we got to win that. We got to win that. Oh, Cobble, what a save that is. Granite Chaka. These, they keep sitting on top of the box like this, and it's so dangerous. Ba, ba, ba. That is a great tackle right there, though. Jakobsen gets a great pass to Adeyemi. Adeyemi to Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt threw it to Adeyemi. One to beat. Adeyemi skips over, goes for a finesse shot. Keeper was uh, diving for that one, but it actually wasn't that good. I mean, no, it wasn't the worst shot. Keeper was definitely worried. All right, Ansu on for Sancho, and then uh, we're getting a debut here. Ravella on for Turam. So he gets his debut from Juventus. We got 13 minutes. Try and get a winner here. This is such a good attack by Leverkusen. Shula, Shula. Oh, that was risky. Crowd wants a penalty, but it's not. That was so risky. All right, Rom gives it to Jakobsen. Jakobsen has a chance here. Dribbles around a few. He is fouled. I'll take that foul right there. Okay, is this more? This might be more shooting range. It's still pretty far out, though. We're going to go for it. Okay, Julian Brandt, if you score this, it will be amazing. Free kick from 26 meters out, but man, that was just too far away. That is unfortunate. This is bad. Route position, this is very bad. This is extremely bad. Ba, ba, saves me again, I think. Jakobsen to Julian. Wait for Adeyemi. Adeyemi now on. On his bicycle. Gets it to Ravella. Ravella needs a good pass. What a pass to Ansu. Ansu stops. Ansu cuts inside. Looks for his shot. Oh, Ansu. Well, bro, what actually was that shot? I went for a finesse shot. He literally, oh, he literally scuffed it. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That right there is a confidence issue, I think. And that might be our final chance of the game. We got two minutes added on. Just don't let them in our box. Don't let them anywhere near our box. Yeah, I think it's going to be a draw. I think first game of the season. Okay, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to jinx it. Hold up. They actually have a chance here. Nope, that's going to be a steal. It's going to be a 1 1 draw first game of the season. Oh, man, Ansu. I wanted him to score that so badly, but he basically just took that shot horribly. I mean, it shows like our team is. Pretty much same team, but we lost two big players, and it's going to be a challenging season to try to repeat. And I don't know now if Jakobsen should be the starter or Makoko. I think next game I might start Jakobsen and see how he does as a starter, which if he scores again, he might keep that starting spot. I might just rotate them. Like, whoever is playing better in the moment is going to start between those two. All right, now, next up is, of course, Bayern again. How fun, but we got a problem here. We only have one keeper on our squad, and that is uh, Gregor Kobo. So we need a backup for him. Matter of fact, we need two goalkeepers. One to be the backup for the backup. Now, I found this guy, Jose Moreira from Chile. I'm pretty much... Pretty sure he's a regen. Bro, he's so buff. Like, that is the buffest keeper I've ever seen. And is built like Adama Traore. So I want him to do the backup to the backup. He's gonna be the third choice keeper. Now, this should cost just like 7 million. And yeah, 7.7, I'll do that. So he signed up. Man, he's like a third choice keeper. And we're also gonna make him lift with uh, Adeyemi, with Makoko to get their strength up. Because this dude looks strong. Now, for the actual backup to Kobo, we're gonna go for Oliver Bauman. Maybe Bauman. In that rare case that Kobo gets injured, I feel like Bauman would not be a bad backup. So, like 4 million, it's an easy choice. So he is going to be signed up as well. All right, so so now backup keeper and backup backup keeper is now sorted. Uh, why is everyone silver? So there's the backup for Kobo now in case of a freak injury. Bro, look at Kobo and then look at uh, Jose Marrera. Like the difference in body shape. This kid's on steroids. Look at his neck. All right, now let's play Bayern though. Jakobsen gets the start at striker. Big game. And will this game earn him that starting striker spot with moving forward? And I want revenge for that uh, that Super Cup. Like we were the better team that game. We should have won that. So this game at home for the home fans. Let's show Bayern why they're the second best team in this league right now. Hey, Rom, great tackle. He has been a very good signing so far. I like him a lot. Pretty much same as Ba when we signed him. Now, Ba gets it out of Yemi. Out of Yemi. Chance here. Gets it to Julian Brandt. Gets it back to Turam. Oh, this chance is so awkward. That's going to be blocked. And whoa, whoa. Man, Limer's going to clear that. And another, like, awkward chance. And they're attacking third. Water back up to Sancho. Sancho, wait for Turam. Turam is going to get it back to Sancho. Sancho has got in to Kai Jakobsen. 
Okay, he might be the starter. The next Erling Holland, he literally is Erling Holland for us right now. One nil, like he can't stop scoring. He's just so lethal in front of goal. Like I want to start Makoko this season, but Jakobsen is scoring. All right, great start to this game though. Let's see if he can keep it up. Man, seven minutes in, one nil already. That is more like it. Okay, they're coming back right away. Ba gets it to Moeller. Man, Moeller, that shot is terrible. He must be getting old. Sancho, Turam, Turam. No, wait for Sancho. Now he's got space. Now Jakobsen is also a much better crossing target than uh, Makoko, which that cross was bad though. So that's another thing to take into account between uh, which one we should start. Adiemi, Jakobsen. Okay, that was a bad touch. Don't get injured. Brandt, good steal though. Julian Brandt into Jakobsen. Shot and that goes wide. All right, Sané, they're looking to tie this up. That gets over. Kimmich, oh, I went for that pass instead, but Koble, what a save. That is such a good save. Corner in by Sané. Now, that's a really good header, but oh, keeps it in. And then Emery Chan also prevents the corner. I like the defending there. Jakobsen, pass to Adeyemi. Now, Ba also making a run, which he's in. Does he have the pace? Man, he got caught up there. That recovery by Kim and Jay is so good. He looked nowhere near him and then all of a sudden caught up. Duram, Julian Brandt, Adeyemi, get on side. There we go. Back to Julian Brandt into oh i should just shot with brand there that was overpassing now harry kane is pretty much in which is not good that shot is gonna be in by harry kane man just one mistake on one end led to them having a good shot that is why we can't make those mistakes we can't lose in a bad spot like that especially against a team like byron to have a player like kane who could score from that far out that easily okay this game is 1-1 i feel like a lot of what we're seeing is that early season rush just sharpness is not the highest right now emory chan Addy emmy Julian Brandt into Jakobsen, tries to find Sancho, but Mazraoui, good defending. Emery Chan, Adeyemi, chance for a finesse shot that doesn't look bad, but it's not very threatening. Kane into Coleman, this is so bad. Shula, great tackle though. Adeyemi over to Ba, we got Julian Brandt. Where is Jakobsen? I need Jakobsen and a chance to cross it. Okay, he's in the box now, which Ba to Jakobsen, and he scored again. Okay, we waited for him to get into a good spot, and Ba crossing a perfect cross on that uh, five-star weak foot. Man, he might be at the starter, Makoko. He might be. I mean, how could he not be with this uh, this two games right here? Like, what a finish. What a header. Okay, 2-1. Jakobsen on a hat trick. 40th minute. Good response to Kane scoring that goal, though. Okay, Kane hits the post immediately. They almost just tied it up again, literally instantly. Turam Jakobsen. Get it over to David Rom. David Rom. Now, Jakobsen, I need you to actually gonna get it to him there. Jakobsen into Sancho. Went for the left. Sancho hits the post. Adiemi to Liam Brand. Gets it to Turam. Left footed shot. That's blocked. Okay, this chance is out. There's just so many people in the box. Wait. In to Sancho. Sancho shoots again. That's gonna be a corner. This is end to end right here. Pretty much last chance. The first half. Adiemi. Cross up. Schlotterbeck. Good header, but it's gonna be saved by Neuer. Okay, I mean, solid first half. 2 1. It has been the Jakobsen show so far. Adiemi. Great pass to Emery Chan. Up to Jakobsen, who's on the hat trick. Will he complete it? He will complete the hat trick. Bro, I thought there was no chance Jakobsen would start with Makoko this season, but this game here has literally just changed that. He's got a hat trick versus Bayern, and he's still what, like 18 years old? Like, he is literally the next Holland here. Okay, um, 3-1, 50th minute. Still a lot of game left, but man, this has been the Jakobsen show. And we're not stopping, Sancho. Gets it, no, get it over, swing it over. Get it over. It's going to go to Adeyemi. He's going to shoot himself. And it's 4-1 to Borussia Dortmund. Okay, we're showing why we're champions now. Even after losing a lead in Malin. Man, we swung that over so quickly. Or at least we tried to. But Adeyemi across goal. What a finish. I am loving what I'm seeing from this team right now. We need to just keep this up. I feel like if there's a team that can make a comeback uh, down 4-1, it might be... This Bayern team, is that handball by them? That is handball by them. We gotta be careful here, not get too comfortable. Come on, into Kimmich, into Sané, Shula, Shula. No, wait, what was that? Oh, he's offside. I thought we got a foul there. Emery Chan, man, we are breaking through their defense every single time. Basically, Jakobsen, oh, that pass to Adiemi should have got through, though. That is a unfortunate error. Okay, David Rom though. Man, every new signing so far has looked good. Kane gets it over to Coleman though. Coble, Coble again. Just what a save. Okay, Ravella, Job, and also uh, Amansu coming on. So three basically young players. Some energy injected into this game and carry us over to the finish line. Don't let them back in the game. Please don't. Guerrero, Guerrero gets it through to Kane and I reacted so bad to that. I did not think that ball would get through. Kane scores and it's 4-2. Right, now this guy a little bit more worrying. This was just such a good pass here. That pass, that's just so good. I got caught so flat footed with Schlotterbeck. I like to know where to go. Okay, Bayern are fighting back. Just keep playing the same way. Okay, we can't lose it there, though. That is so bad. Oh, Rom gets a tackle when it goes right to Guerrero. Schlotterbeck. Okay, please collect it. Jakobsen, thank you. Oh, no. Ansu's hurt. Okay, he doesn't feel that hurt, though. He doesn't... Okay, maybe he is, because that pass was terrible. Bro, Ansu, you can't get injured in the first episode of Season 2. That would be so heartbreaking. Bro, how did he just get by there? Oh, my. Oh, my. They're going to score and make it 4-3. Matoma scores. Bro, how did he actually score this, though? Outside the boot? After all the saves that Koble makes, I totally expected him to save this. Like, oh, I mean, Koble. 
cool. I'm not gonna blame him. He made, he's made so many saves. This is now 4-3 though, and I'm terrified. We still got 12 minutes here. Okay, we need one more goal. Ravella, good turn there. Gets it into Jakobsen. Ansu, okay, he's not injured, which is very good. Ravella gets it over. No, that was actually meant for Jakobsen. Why would they go all the way over? Oh, bro, this momentum has just swung. I'm terrified, actually. I'm terrified. Ravella, Ravella, good steal. Ravella, great steal, actually. Gets it into Kane. They're gonna score this. Oh, my Koble with the save of the season so far in episode one. Ansu just clear it. I don't know how they didn't score that. Okay, I'm gonna do Makoko for Adeyemi just for fresh legs. So Makoko is playing right wing. Can we just get over the finish line here, man? We got two minutes to licked. If we steal it here, Jakobsen trying to. Matoma against Bob. Matoma's dribbling is literally just impossible to defend. They get it back to Kane. Kane is gonna get it through. Oh my, Guerrero shoots. Schlotterbeck is gonna block that. I didn't know which way he was gonna shoot there. Okay, one minute left. Might be their final chance here. Corner in by Kimmich. That is out by Ansu. Not the best clearance though. No, Matoma. Please, Matoma. Chavez. Come on, we need a tackle. Ba. Okay, actually, Rom. What a tackle. And that should be game, and that is game. I can't believe Bayern almost made the full comeback there, but at least we won. Um, Jakobsen scored a hat trick, which is insane. So not the cleanest of wins, but hey, it's a win versus Bayern. I'll take it. But man, it's so hard to predict how this season is going to go after those first three games. Like already, I thought Makoko would be the star this season, but it might be Jakobsen. Like for now, he's the starter. He scored a hat trick. How could he not be? We are done with signings, though. I'm not going to make any more signings. I think um, Bella Kochap, Ravella, Ansu, uh, David Rom. I feel like that's more than enough, and we've been uh, relatively realistic here and there. But it's definitely been an interesting start to season two. I mean, the Youth Academy player coming through for the team and maybe being the star of season two. Now, speaking of Youth Academy players, next episode, we're going to send our youth scouts out again. And we found Kai Jakobsen last season. Maybe we find another youth star this season. Okay, season two at Dortmund has got off to a very busy start. We immediately lost two players, two important players in Sebastian Aled and also Daniel Malin, two starters. And then to reinforce the team, Ansu Fati and also David Rom were the highlight signings. The question now is, is this team good enough to win the Champions League? We might get a glimpse of that today. And also, so last episode, Youth Academy product Kai Jakobsen, he basically stole the starting striker spot from Makoko. I'm hoping this doesn't cause any drama here. If you're enjoying this series, then of course, drop a like and let's get back into it. Now to start this episode, we're at the gym here, you know, getting a little workout in. Hey, even coaches got to stay in shape here. Now, while working out though, we see on the TV a story saying Teister and his Dortmund team have proved themselves in Germany, but not in the Champions League. They have a big Champions League season ahead of them. Yeah, I mean, after last season, not making it out of the Champions League group stage, we need redemption this time around. But okay, we're about to start our Champions League campaign this year. And also revealing our group. Last year was Group of Death. This year, not quite as much. But first, we're going to send out these youth scouts. Try to find the next uh, Jakobsen. Try to find the next Dortmund youth star. Now, first scout, we're going to send to Cameroon. And we're going to scout for just any position. I'm not looking for any uh, position specifically here. Scout number two is going to go to uh, Switzerland. So, uh, Cameroon, Switzerland. And then last scout, let's do the USA. Let's go United States, three months. We'll do that. So, Cameroon, Switzerland, and the US. Let's hope our youth scouts find the next youth star of Borussia Dortmund. Now, our Champions League group in uh, season two is going to be Atletico Madrid. Madrid, Club Bruges, and also Victoria pulls in. So definitely not like last year with uh, Newcastle, Milan, and PSG. Definitely now. It's a group that I think we can definitely make it out of. So not to the group of death. But our first game is a very tough one. We're facing, of course, Atletico Madrid, which is a huge test for us. And yeah, last episode, Jakobsen scored a hat trick versus Bayern in a 4-3 uh, win. So for now, he's starting over Makoko, which wasn't the initial plan, but it's just kind of how things have fallen right now. So we'll see. There's always a chance for Makoko to get back in starting 11. But that is what we go with this game versus Atletico Madrid. And come on, I want to start our Champions League campaign this year with a win. They got they got that five of the back, which is so hard. To uh, break down, but we just broke it down right there. Okay, Rom is in. The new left back signing has a chance to score, and Rom's gonna score that. Okay, man, that is exactly what we bought him for being that modern left back. Like, what a run and a decent finish. That is a great start in second half here. I thought it was Eddie Emmy. I was like, who is sprinting past the entire team there? But no, it's our left back. And that is a uh, tidy finish. 50th minute, 1 0 to Dortmund. Okay, Griezmann is all. Oh, that's a good pass to Molina. Molina. Gets it back to Griezmann. Schlotterbeck. Oh, that was such a good pass to Memphis by Griezmann. Okay, 63rd minute. It's going to be 1-1. That pass was so good. That totally destroyed me, though. We are doing uh, Ansu for Sancho and then Makoko for Jakobsen. We got 30 minutes, so a lot of time left. And like I said, I think two goals might win it. Three would definitely win it, but we need that second goal now. One goal is not enough to win this game right here. All right, Julian, I need a good corner here. Delivery in the box. Schlotterbeck gets to it. Oh, that goes in. Schlotterbeck scores. Okay, they're reacting like it's an own goal, though. Like it's not Schlotterbeck. So I think it might have gone off the man on the line. But 2 1 to Borussia Dortmund. That was a great Great corner. Yeah, I think it's an own goal. I don't think it's actually Schlotterbeck's goal. It's a very good header. Schlotterbeck has these a lot, and it kind of goes off. Oh, the defender, then the crossbar. I don't know how that's not considered uh, Schlotterbeck's goal. How is that not Schlotterbeck's goal right there? Yeah, it's a Molina own goal to make it 2-1. That makes no sense, but okay. One goal lead, that might be enough, but I mean, I would really like that third goal here to finish this game off. Don't let anything, don't let, oh my Schlotterbeck just saved us, and that was going to be what? Is that going to be a foul? Oh, that was a foul on us? They get one final kick in the box. Griezmann into the box. 
Yulian, oh my, that was so dangerous. Ansu clears it though, and that is gonna be full time. I can't believe that wasn't a penalty though. He got pulled down from behind, he couldn't shoot. Okay, at least it's still a two and win. The first day of the Champions League, we win. And this uh, shouldn't be our toughest matchup in the group, so solid first win, I guess. Although it was a little bit dramatic. Okay, a few days later after that game though, Makoko wants to meet with us. Now he tells us, I don't think I should be on the bench. I should be starting, he says. And we tell Makoko, it's my job to play the best team I can. And right now, Jakobsen is giving us more. But there's always chances for you to take that spot back. I mean, it's tough. So far, eight games in, Jakobsen has seven goals and two assists. Makoko only has three goals. Like, Makoko is a better player on paper, but in-game, Jakobsen is performing better pretty much. If you look at their stats though, they're actually not that uh, not that different. Main difference is like Makoko's size compared to Jakobsen a little bit shorter. But Makoko has better dribbling while Jakobsen is a little faster. So they're like very close in terms of like stats. And also in the pecking order too. It's tough because I don't want to anger Makoko, but Jakobsen is just playing better right now. Now, next game for us is Union Berlin in the Bundesliga, which uh, right now is six games in. We're in third place. Frankfurt actually in first, so we've not lost a game yet either. So it's still very close to the top. Now, Sancho is not really fit for this game at all. I might start on to. Let's do that. And do I give Makoko the start of this game or do I start Jakobsen? I might start Makoko this game because Jakobsen didn't play that great in the last one. And also Bella Kotchap for uh, Shula. Let's do that. So Makoko, here's a big chance for you. We'll see what he can do. Adiemi cuts inside. Adiemi is really the star of this team. I can already see it. Makoko, decent run. Makoko stops. Get to the Julian. Over to Ansu. Right footed shot. And Ansu scores his first goal for Dortmund. Okay, 15 minutes in. What a start to this game. That shot was so slow. I thought it was wide, but it was actually a good shot. I think uh, Julian Brand gets the assist in the end. But yeah, that first time shot was perfect. Like Ansu just put this thing uh, right in the corner right there. That was beautiful. Okay, 2 0. Great start to this one. Ba gets it to Brandt. Brandt into Makoko. Makoko. Good turn. Tries to turn, but he can't turn on Kandira. Okay, this is a decent counter attack, though. Bella Kotchap. Bella Kotchap. In his first time, first time using him, he is looking good. Now, lean the counter right to Ansu in space. Oh, this might be a bad day for Union Berlin. It might be. Ansu. Chance to score his second. Ansu's got his second goal. Okay, Ansu's coming for that uh, Sancho starting spot right now. This might be his breakout game. And 3 0 in 24 minutes. We are smashing them. And they're like a decent team. I thought this would be a lot closer, but so far it has not been. Decent counter attack though. Schlotterbeck, I need you to stop this man. I need you to stop him. He's going to stop him, but he doesn't stop that pass though. Now, Rom backed in, but Rom, that's good defending. It'll be a corner for them. Corner swung in. That is out by Ba. Yeah, he's going to steal that. No, he's not actually. Dangerous. Bella Kotchap. Bella Kotchap. Again, what a tackle by him. Bro, he is having a great game at center back. Did I overestimate how good Union Berlin are? Because honestly, they do not look good at all. I might have overestimated them. Julian, Adiemi. Get it back to Yulian. Oh, that pass was going to be blocked. All right, Turm has got space here. I'm shooting this with Turm. Wait, actually go to... Oh, I was going to go to Adiemi there. And then to uh, try to go to Makoko. Okay, try it again. Actually, this is the same chance. Makoko, I see you. Makoko. Chance to score. Makoko shoots, and that's going to hit the crossbar. How unlucky can he get? It's a very good shot in terms of power, but just hits the crossbar. Ansu could go for a long shot. Ansu, from distance, that goes off that guy's face. Back and Ansu, though. Ansu. To Makoko, Makoko, some really good dribbling, but he's gonna lose it in that final touch. It's not really Makoko's fault. His pass didn't really open up. Okay, Schlotterbeck, what a steal. Bro, I thought Berlin would be good, but they have been terrible this game. Eddie, I mean, that shot goes wide, though. Feels like we've had like 10 shots in this first half, and we might get one more because Turam, he's gonna get fouled there, but go for a finesse shot. I'll take that free kick, ref. Wait. Oh, he's calling full. He's calling for halftime. I wanted that free kick, though. That is so disrespectful. Turam to Makoko, Makoko, get it back to Turam. Now Turam gets it to Yulian. I'm looking for a shot here. This thing got like a foul at the back. But Makoko should score that. Makoko scores. Okay. I mean, if he was going to score against any team, it's probably this team. But 4 0, he took that shot very well. Makoko, good pass out to Bob. Bob's trying to cut inside here. He's going to try to. Okay, Kulabali just stole that from him. I might bring on Jakobsen at striker, then move Makoko to right wing to rest at Yemi and see what uh, Jakobsen could do this game against his team. I might see that so we could truly see Makoko versus uh, Jakobsen. I might do that. So uh, Jakobsen on for Adiemi and also Shea Charles is on for Emery Chan. So get him some rest. Cornered by them. Ansu, good clearance. Right out to Kai Jakobsen. Brand Jakobsen in to Makoko, who's in space. Now, Makoko's got that dribbling to be a right winger, definitely, and he's taking this pretty well, but that shot is blocked. Julian Brandt, chance for a long shot. Man, this keeper should not be saving that. That shot was in the corner. Julian, cross in. Schlotterbeck, that is yours. Oh my, what a header from Schlotterbeck. It is 5-0 to Borussia Dortmund. This has been one of the most easy wins of the entire series right here, and we're not done yet. Makoko out to Ba. Jakobsen, I see you. Jakobsen, I need you to stop, though. He needs to stay on side. Ba gets to Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt, good dribble there. Okay, I thought it was. That's a good tackle by Charles, though. Into Ansu Fati was in a shoot, and that's going to be saved. And literally everyone has had a good game today. Corner in. That is up to, uh, I think that was up to Charles. Yeah, it's going to go back to the keeper, though. This has been an A-plus performance by everyone, pretty much. Julian up to Jakobsen. Jakobsen, a chance to find a goal here. And oh my, what a shot by Jakobsen. Bro, he's just got like some special quality to him. Or he feels like a true like superstar. Like that shot was not easy. That was not an easy angle, but with power, just slamming it past the keeper. Like just what a powerful shot. That is a Holland-like shot, I guess. Okay, Makoko scores. Show you should get more playing.
playing time and then Jakobsen scores, showing why he should remain the starter. Like, this is not an easy choice to make here. And we can make this our biggest win of the series, maybe. Oh, man, if that pass got through, we might have. Ansu gets it to Rom. Now we get a chance for another goal here. Rom, gonna try to play a pass to Kai. Jakobsen, who that shot is gonna be saved. Julian cross in for number seven. Schlotterbeck. Oh, that goes in. Bro, Schlotterbeck from corners is the new uh, Sebastian Aled. This game is 7 0. I thought the header went over the net. I didn't think that went in, actually. That was so close. Bro, we are showing why we are the champions, though, this game. Like that header. Oh, that's just beautiful. 7 0? Yeah, I definitely overestimated this team because I thought this would be a close game, but it has. It has not been. And it might get worse because we're in again. Jakobsen, Turam over. Oh, okay, Turam. That pass to Ansu was actually the worst of the game. Hey, it's the one probably bad thing we've done today. I will allow it. Oh, they're gonna score this. They're gonna score this. No, he's offside. Thankfully, the clean sheet is still alive here. Turam, Turam, two. Kai Jakobsen. Oh, man, what a touch. That would have been number eight. Again, what a tackle by Belikovchev to end the game. Like, he has been so good. This right here is a 10 out of 10 performance for most of the team. Pretty much all the team. So, 7-0. What a win. And hey, Makoko scored a good goal. Jakobsen scored a great goal. Who should we start? Like, I don't know. It's just not an easy choice. Oh, man. Look at Makoko. I think he's definitely unhappy here. He says, I've been playing pretty well lately. I'm feeling good. I hope that means I won't be on the bench for the game against Club Bruges. We didn't play him. And he says, I was disappointed he left me out, boss. I know you're in charge, but I felt 100% ready to play. Yeah, Makoko is not happy here. And I'm not happy either because Rom is injured. Now, he has to undergo testing, so he's going to get like a x-ray mri all that it's a left leg injury we're gonna see how bad it is but for now obviously he can't play so it is just so unfortunate so that means ben smaini comes up to the bench and uh, it's gonna be ba left back and wolf right back for now now our next game is let it go madrid in the champions league and this is a pretty much group decider here but makoko before this game he says to the media i can't lie i'm unhappy about my game time he says at this point in his career he thinks he should be starting that for now he's willing to do whatever helps the team but if things don't change he might have to reevaluate his future so makoko is putting some pressure on us and to be fair he's actually caught up to Jakobsen in terms of goals scored. He has nine, uh, like Kai Jakobsen. So maybe there is some truth to that. Maybe uh, he should be starting. I don't know. Now, next game, though, is pretty much deciding who finishes first in this group. Actually, it is. Because we face Letigo Madrid. If we win or draw, we finish first in the group. But if they win, they might finish first over us based on goal difference or head-to-head. -head. So I think this game, I'm going to start uh, on Super Sancho. Let's do a Coco for Jakobsen. And I think we go with that lineup there. So win this, we hopefully get a much easier round of 16. I mean, I think missing Rom is going to be such a big injury. So hopefully he's not out for super long. For now, though, Bon Wolf got to hold it down in the fullback spots. Ansu, two ba, come on, fast out here. Ba, dribbling forward. Okay, went right into Rafael Varane there. Felix, Felix, okay, gets by Schlotterbeck. Felix is destroying me. He's doing all these skills right now. Like, he is destroying me. This is the longest attack of all time. Oh, man. Griezmann just turned right there so quick. And Kobo stood no chance. It's 1-0 to Letico Madrid. Bro, he stood no chance on that when he turned. Like, Griezmann, one touch, and then he's right in front of the goal. Like, that was insane. Okay, 1-0 down in six minutes. Trying to have a response here. Ram to Makoko. Makoko, that's a good tackle by Varane again. Okay, I don't know what has happened there, but apparently that's not a foul. Turam is hurt, and apparently that's not a foul, bro. I get no calls ever. Now, Turam might be hurt. Adeyemi to Makoko. Makoko gets it right back to Adeyemi. Not quite, though. Yeah, Turam is hurt man hopefully it's not bad please just run it off we can't take another injury to a starting 11 player a player as important as Turam. oh felix gets it to Griezmann, and okay shula did well there shula did very well actually Turam, are you still hurt he is still hurt i gotta take him off i think he actually plays a great ball to onsu though onsu fights for that but jimenez gets to it like, bro it's going bad to worse so Ravella is on for Turam now at that eight number eight spot i don't want to risk Turam getting injured more so that is going to be one nil to Atletico Madrid, us down two players, and they are the better team here so far. Emery Chen to Ravella. Ravella, I need you to do something special this game. Good touch there. Plays it on to Nope, Molina. Man, their defense has been so good so far. The opposite of ours. Felix, I'm trying to block this cross. I'm trying to block it. No, Shula can't get over, and it's going to be a... Is that Rabio who just scored that? I think it was. Okay, 2-0 to Atletico Madrid. I thought maybe Shula would get back on this, but not quite. Okay, we are in trouble right now. 2-0 down, 24th minute. We finished second. We might get a really tough team around 16, which is just not what we want. So we got to fight for a draw here at least a draw would be enough to finish first bella makoko oh ravella that pass to makoko was so bad though but we are just getting destroyed here we're getting actually destroyed felix shot it back couldn't get that shula blocks that shot and this almost could be three nil to let it go madrid that is how bad this could be makoko to adiami adiami needs cut inside he does oh he just needs help though gets it back to makoko over to wolf this looks decent wolf i'm gonna shoot across goal Shoot across goal, and it's going to be a corner. No, he actually clears it. Ansu can win the header. Bro, I thought that would at least be a corner. Ravella into Julian Brandt finesse shot. All Black's going to make that save, though. Want a corner goal here would be very nice. Schlotterbeck again. 
Bro, Schlotter back in corners is insane. It is 2-1. What a header. Bro, he's just automatic from headers. And they're so powerful. They're like line drives. Like, he's got so much power that in that header. Okay, 36 minutes in, it's 2-1. We have a chance. We have life. Bro, this Felix and Griezmann front two for them has been just such a tough pairing to defend. Body good there, though. That should be halftime. Okay, 2-1. We're still in this. Okay, that's a bad pass. Julian Brandt thankfully saves me there. Okay, definitely a shaky first half, but it's only 2-1. We are still in this. And uh, so far, Makoko has not done much. Like, if that continues, I think... I think uh, Jakobsen is coming on for him. Okay, Adiemi has space here. Adiemi cuts inside. Now waits for a pass. Waiting for something. Makoko. Good run. Oh, man. That pass just needs to get through, though. Bro, every counterattack, we are getting just destroyed because we don't have Rom there. Butter back on Rabio. Rabio. Okay, Rabio, please stop. You are not that good. Makoko. Back out to Adiemi. Adiemi has a cross, maybe. We're going to go to Ansu. Actually goes all the way to our left back, Ba. Ansu shoots. Is he onside? Okay, that might be the weirdest goal of the season so far. I don't know how he scored that, but Ansu ties it up and makes it 2-2. That was such a weird goal. That was initially meant for Ansu, but it went to Ba instead. And then I thought Ansu was offside here, but Ba gets one touch. It's like off to the left, but Old Black totally misreads it. And then Ansu Fati, it's actually a very smart finish. Yeah, I think Ansu should be the starter over Sancho right now. Sancho is not really scoring doing much. I think Ansu just won that uh, starting left wing spot now. But okay, 2-2. This would be good enough if it ends right now for us to finish first. But Atletico Madrid have looked so threatening. I feel like they're probably going to score one more unless we can stop that which it's not looking like it though hoybeer hoybeer on wolf gets it back to rabio javi galan gets it over to rodrigo to paul that's a shot oh that is gonna go in that was such a low driven shot okay let it go madrid retake their one goal lead this was such a weird shot though like rodrigo to paul gets it and then does it deflect no, it's actually just like a pass into the net. That's a really good shot. That's a really good shot, actually. Okay, 30 minutes left, and we're down a goal again. Okay, we're doing it. Jakobsen is on for Makoko. I have to do it. Makoko is not offering much as striker right now. At least in this game. Ravella to Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt gets it right into Kai Jakobsen. Almost scores immediately. Come on, Schlotterbeck. Do you have another one in you? Do you have another one in you? Yes, he does. Bro. He is literally automatic from corners. It's like a cheat code. This game is 3-3 and Schlotterbeck just can't stop scoring. Okay, I'll take it. Tie game again. And we still got a lot of game left. This match is insane. Rabio, Memphis, Shula. Great touch that is. That saved goal, I think. Now let's run this forward. Ra okay, Brandt, Julian Brandt. Great touch. Get it through Adiemi. Good pass, Adiemi. Man, they just get back so quickly, though. Okay, patience will be rewarded. Let's be patient. Emre Chan to Julian Brandt. Julian Brandt to Jakobsen into... Ravella who shoots, and that's going to be saved. Man, that was a good move we created there. Okay, Adiemi, crossover. That's going to go to Emre Chan. Emre Chan, header attempt. That is going to be blocked, and then it's going to be cleared. Get it back over to Adiemi. Volley by Adiemi, and that goes wide. Okay, 15 minutes, and it's currently 3-3. Emre Chan. Oh, Emre Chan, that ball was so bad. That was literally right to the Atletico Madrid player. Now, apparently that's not a foul. I'll take that. That is a rare call that we got today. Jakobsen to Adiemi. Adiemi. Crossover. Oh, that, that was going to go right to Jakobsen. Rodrigo de Paul is just running through our defense. Gets it to Griezmann. Kobel. That is a huge save. All right, Bellingham on for Julian Brandt. Give him some game time. Also, some fresh legs down the middle. That's a good clearance. That's a great clearance, actually. Jakobsen. Great touch. There's that size right there. Come on, five minutes. As long as we don't lose, this will be good, but we could win this here. Jakobsen gets it to Ansu. Ansu gets it over to Ba. Ba. Pass into Rav Ravella, Ravella shoots. Jimenez is going to block it. Oh, the volley's back in, but that's going to be a... Yeah, that's going to be a goal kick. Okay, three minutes. If we don't concede one more goal here, we finish top our group. Just don't concede one here. Good win by Ravella. Adiemi in to Wolf. Now, Wolf will cross it. That'll be a corner. We are doing a short corner here. I'm not losing in the bad spot. I'm not being counterattacked. Ansu, just hold it. Use your strength. Okay, that should be it. Now, Job, crossover. That goes right to Ravella. Ravella, oh! We have just won the game in the final minutes. And it's new signing, Nicolo Ravella. What a header. I don't know how we just won this game in the final minutes. What a huge goal, though. I mean, we didn't really matter, but it's huge for, like, morale. So we lose David Rom to injury, lose Turam, and we still beat Letico Madrid 4-3. I will take that. So that win means we finished top our group in the Champions League. So unlike last year, we don't get group, and that should mean an easy run of 16 matchup, although I'm seeing uh, Chelsea, Liverpool in second, Milan, Ajax, uh, Spurs, Leverkusen, and Feyenoord. Please give me Feyenoord. It might still be a tough team, though there's a lot of tough teams in that uh second place spot though so so much for that but we're also currently now sitting in first in the bonus like we've taken a commanding six point lead so even after losing Hale to Malin, this team still looks good we got players like Adiemi, Jakobsen, even Makoko stepping up it's just there's the issue of uh who should be the starter now David Rom's injury is revealed to be a broken toe and he's out for another five weeks so he should be back sometime around uh January now thankfully though Turam is not hurt so he's good to go we got lucky there but yeah I kind of feel like I've leaned more towards uh Jakobsen now in terms of who the starting striker should be and obviously Makoko is not happy 
that. And now next episode, we have the January transfer window along with our youth scouts back. So two big things there. And I would not be surprised if Makoko hands in a transfer request, which if he does that, then I'm not sure what our plans are. Okay, in the last episode, there is some drama building in this team. Makoko is unhappy about his game time, so much so that he's threatened to request a transfer. But Jakobsen right now is simply just playing better. But the problem is, we need a striker like Makoko if we want any chance of winning the Champions League. So we got some things to figure out here. If you're enjoying the series, then drop a like and let's get into it. Now we start this episode at home. We're currently in the middle of January, so the transfer window is open. Thus, we are working very hard right now trying to find a solution to our problems. We then get a phone call from our sporting director and Sebastian Kale says, I've just spoke with Makoko. He wants to leave the club and we already have multiple offers for him. So he says, we're going to need to find a emergency replacement. Now you might notice in the squad list right now, uh, Makoko is no longer here. He has been sold and we had like four offers for him and I accepted all of them. And the team that he chose to join, you would not believe it. It is such a betrayal. And it's probably the most unexpected team I thought he would go to, but he left the club. He's gone. And for some reason, he's gone to Bayern Munich. I don't know why it makes no sense. Now he's the backup to Harry Kane. Maybe they think he's the next uh, striker after Harry Kane and they plan to give him more game time. So he accepted that deal. But Makoko has gone to our biggest rival. How does that make sense? He's like completely betrayed us. So yeah, Makoko is now going to be at Bayern Munich. Now we did sell him for like 60 million though. So for that emergency replacement, we do got some cash here. Now a day later, we have a meeting with Sebastian Kale again. And he says, so here's the deal. After the season, we won't be able to keep players like Adeyemi and Turam. Our best shot at winning the Champions League is this season. So the board and I have come up with a plan to sign an experienced proven striker to help us. And he says he's one of the most prolific Champions League goal scorers of all time. And that player is going to be Robert Lewandowski. Now he's basically a Dortmund and also Bayern legend. He helped Dortmund win that league title in 2012, was a big part of like that resurgence from Dortmund. And then he betrayed them to leave for Bayern. But things right now for him at Barcelona are not going well. And he wants just one final chance to win a trophy. And while I love Jakobsen, I mean, come on, if we want to win the Champions League, especially after losing Makoko, we need more than one 78 rated striker. So it kind of just makes sense from both parties here. He could be that player to give us a real chance of winning the Champions League this year. So we're going to try to bring Robert Lewandowski back to Borussia Dortmund. So we're going to try 45 million just straight up. Barcelona are going to just flat out accept that. And I think we are doing it. I know earlier I said it didn't quite make sense, but after Makoko wanted to leave and we need a striker in January, and it does feel like this right here is our best chance at winning the Champions League, it's kind of just fallen into place. And it gives time for Jakobsen to develop more like, you know, rest of the season and maybe next season. Uh, if Lewandowski wants to stay, he can be the backup, then Jakobsen can be the striker. But for the rest of season two, it kind of makes sense for have a good starting striker. And obviously Lewandowski is that. So will he accept these wages? He is going to accept. We have signed Robert Lewandowski back to Borussia Dortmund. That is uh, that is quite the emergency signing there. So as Bayern steal one of our young players, we now sign one of their legends, who's also our legend. This is just a mess. But Lewandowski, welcome back to Borussia Dortmund. We have our new number nine. So Jakobs into the bench, Robert up top at starting striker. And with him up top, this team looks so much more deadly now. Like we, in terms of overall, we look like a team that could win the Champions League. Now I'm a little bit worried about his pace, but his shooting and dribbling are still so good. Even his uh, short passing is pretty good at 84, so he can link up with uh, Ansu Adeyemi. I think this might prove to be one of the best signings of this entire series. So it is time for Lewandowski's uh, re-debut for Borussia Dortmund. Now next up is RB Leipzig, a tough team. We're doing very well in the league though. 16 games in, we have not lost a game yet, and we have a six point lead over Bayern. So we are looking very good. Let's see though, let's try to win this game and also see how Lewandowski does in his first game back at Dortmund. I mean, it's been what? It's been over 10 years since he was at Dortmund, so it's been a while. Here we go, Robert. Welcome back officially. See if he has a good debut here. Now I'm guessing his stamina is gonna be pretty bad, so Jakobsen will probably come off the bench at some point in all these games. So he'll still get a lot of game time. It's just if we want to win the Champions League, we need a good striker, like a proven high rated striker. And yeah, Lewandowski is that pretty much. Now David Rom is currently back from his injury, but he's not ready to start yet, so he's on the bench. But he should be back soon, so that's gonna be a big addition. Ram gets it onto who's now starting over Sancho. Okay, that shot goes way over the net. Okay, look at Lewandowski making a steal there on defense. Now, Julian plays it to Ansu Fati, who's got pace here. Oh, he's got definitely the pace. Ansu could score the first goal of the game. Simicon recovered there so well, though. Okay, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Appenda is a player that always does so well against me. Just clear that. He always scores against me. I feel like he's going to score in this game. He's also a player I don't think I've ever signed before. Okay, apparently Ansu's hurt, which is, uh, of course, not a good sign. Man, the kid is definitely injury prone. That is a sure thing there. Oh, Appenda is destroying me. He's destroying me. Turam. Is that a penalty? Oh, man, that was close. Saram, that was risky, but I like it. Corner in. Ansu is holding his shoulder. Header, and that is out by Yeti. I mean, this is a long Leipzig attack. Open doesn't score there. Kobol, nope, he will save it. All right, Ansu, are you good? Ansu might be good, actually. Okay, thankfully, he might have ran off that injury. I think he did. Ansu, good job. Bro, this is the longest attack of all time. Oh, that's going to fall so awkwardly. 
Gets it all the way to Openda. And is he on side? He is on side. I knew he was going to score at some point, bro. He always scores against me. Okay, 26 minutes in. We're 1-0 down. That was such an awkward attack, though. That was so unlucky. I'm not going to fault our team too much for that. Ansu, Yulian, 2. Robert Lewandowski's first shot, and it's right at the keeper, unfortunately. Bro, he's just so good. He's literally a beast. He's dribbling through my entire defense. Chula blocks that, though, and we do survive. Bro, he is a nightmare to try and defend. Nemo, Baumgartner. Don't let him shoot. Bog attack. Okay, can we score now? In time this game up, we just keep getting attacked here. We need to relieve some of this pressure. Lewandowski to Adiemi. Gets it out now to Wolf. Wolf, we got crossing options. We're going to cross it over to Yulian Brandt into Lewandowski. Oh, that was a perfect chance for a debut goal. That was worked so well right there. Okay, corner swung in. That is going to go to Shula, whose header goes wide. How do you not get that on target? It was literally a free header. Okay, Yulian has options here, but they're going to run off side. Let's just hold it. Wait for a better pass. Yulian, good turn. Gets it on to. Now to Wolf. Now Wolf, you got Lewandowski. You might have him. I was actually on to back to him. Gets it to Liam Brandt over to Turam. Turam needs one more pass. Gets it to Ba, and that shot is so wide. Too much for his uh, five star weak foot. And we're definitely a little sloppy here today. We're not playing as good as we can be, but that could change quickly. Turam. Gets it to Yulian. Yulian to... Oh, man. That should have went to Adiemi. Adiemi almost... He almost stole that right there. When I feel this goal coming, I feel it. Oh, my. He's on to on side. Oh, he's offside there. And that's halftime. Okay. We ended that first half decently. But Openda has literally been a nightmare for me. I mean, Chan gets out of Wolf now. Wolf into Adiemi. Good pass. Adiemi gets it to Lewandowski. He's in a way. Patience will be rewarded. Lewandowski gets it to Yulian Brandt. Okay. This is awkward. Get it over to Turam. Turam will shoot that. That's going to fall kindly. No, it's not. Man, Turam's had two chances there where he's in the box, but the, the ball just bounces awkwardly. Come on, we're getting much better into this game. Oh, man, that was going to be a good pass to Adiemi. Okay, Zinchenko doing all these moves. Shula, though, will stop him. Try to, at least. Nemo gets it out to a player I can't pronounce. Turam, good steal. Lewandowski gets it out to Adiemi. Adiemi has Julian Brandt. Good pass to him. Now, Brandt over to Turam. Finally, a clean shot at goal, and Turam is not going to miss that. Okay, 59th minute. Finally, this game is 1-1. Great move and great finish by Turam. All right, now let's try and win this game. Because we look like now we're taking control as long as we don't let them score. Forsberg into a Penda though. Penda, please stop. Please stop. Schlotterbeck. No, we can't even stop him. Bro, he is literally unstoppable. Look at him. Emre Chan is take him out. Emre Chan. Okay, literally. He is the strongest player I have ever seen in my life. Okay, good still. Adi, I mean, get it out. Just get it out. It was actually on to. Just get the ball out, please. Hey, Wolf. This is not a bad looking chance. Now we need to pass here, though. Gonna get it to Julian Brandt. That was meant for Lewandowski. Gets it to Turam. Over to Ansu. Good chance to shoot. And Ansu scores. And it's 2-1. Okay. Final like 40 minutes of this game. We have been by far the better team. And now it's showing on the score sheet. I mean, this is why Ansu is starting over Sancho right now. Sancho is just literally not scoring. All right. Two subs. Uh, Bella Kachap on for Shula. And then Job on for Julian Brandt. Oh, okay. Where is all that space coming from? I don't even know. But it's a good save by Koble. Where was all that space from, though? Corner in. That is out by Ansu. Okay. Ansu. That is one of the best clearances I think I've ever seen. Unfortunately, went right to a Leipzig player. Turam. Turam. Okay. That was a good move right there. Did not expect that. Timo on Schlotterbeck. Is that, a, is that a foul? Wait, what? Oh, Timo was offside. I was going to say, was that a foul? Like, there was literally no foul there. One, one more goal would seal it. And can it be Lewandowski? That would be very nice. We got so much space on this side. Into Turam. Turam tries to get it back to Ansu. Ansu shoots, but okay, what kind of shot was that? Hold up. Chance is not done yet. Job. Oh, I was going to try and shoot right there. Okay, we are putting them under pressure, though. Wolf into Lewandowski. Left foot finesse shot. Oh, it looks good, but it goes wide. So close. Okay, let's do uh, Sancho Fransu, and then Rom is back. Get him a little game time and get back up to speed. Here we got 10 minutes. It's a little bit scary because they can score and uh, tie this up. But if we score here, we don't got to worry about that. Now, Rom, welcome back. Crossover to Lewandowski. He's not going to get it, though. We can try it again. Try it again, Rom. That's going to be... Oh, that's a great cross, but it's actually to no one. You know what? Third time a charm. Turam. Okay. Emery Chan loses it. Okay. Keep it, please. Emery Chan. No, we can't lose it there. I thought I was shielding it. Okay, everyone get back. Everyone just get back. Oh, David Rom, welcome back. We have missed him so much. Wait, that was a foul, bro. These refs are so against us. Free kick sent in. Koble, Koble, Koble has that perfectly. Emery Chan gets it up to Ba. Now Ba's got options. Plays it to Turam. Turam stops. Turam tries to play to someone, but can't. Okay. Have we wasted enough time? Bella Kotchap, what a tackle. Turam, Lewandowski tries to play to Sancho, but can't. Okay, so far, Lewandowski's looked good. He hasn't scored, but that's a win. We started this game off pretty bad, but we came around in the end. Just Lewandowski is still looking for that uh, debut goal. Now, after that game, Robert Lewandowski gives a post-game interview and he says that he's very happy to be back at Borussia Dortmund that he wouldn't be the player he is today have his career without his time here so he hopes he makes the fans proud and also hopes that he scores his first goal soon but okay now it is transfer deadline day I think after signing Lewandowski we are done we are locking in this team for the rest of the season I really don't want to sign anyone else I don't feel like making other signings I feel like this team right here is built players we develop um signings like Fatih, Rom, Lewandowski and I think this team has a chance to win the Champions League so we're rocking with this team so transfer window is now officially shut now uh speaking of the Champions League now it's time 
for the round of 16. Now we finished top our group, which I thought would give us an easier round of 16, but that is not the case here. We have been drawn AC Milan in the round of 16. So an extremely tough team. It's not going to be easy. Now we're going to sim the first leg and play the second leg. And the first leg is in Italy. So I'm not sure what to expect. We're in good form though. So I have high hopes here. This game is going to be a 2-0 win. Adiemi, Adiemi score. I mean, he scored a brace. And okay, 2-0 in Italy. That is a great first leg right there. Now, okay, second leg, we're up 2-0. I feel like we might be able to actually sim this. It might be a little bit risky, but quick sim. And this game is going to be another 2-0 win. Lewandowski scores one. Adiemi scores one again. And okay, 4-0. We breeze past the AC Milan. Oh man, our unbeaten streak is now over. We were unbeaten all the way in uh, till March, but Leipzig give us our first loss. That is so unfortunate. So 25 games on the loss, but we do finally lose. It's still the 11 point lead over Bayern. We look very good right now. Now, speaking of Bayern, that is literally our next game. So this is uh, Lewandowski playing against his former team. For them, Harry Kane starts up top. I, I'm guessing with Coco on the bench. But if we win this, it kind of feels like a title decider. Like win this, and I don't think Bayern can catch us at all. You know, man, imagine Lewandowski's first goal for us, at least in a play game versus Bayern. It would be literally poetic. So let's win this game and take one large step towards defending our Bundesliga title. Now, last time we faced Bayern, we lost in the uh, Supercopa on penalties, but I felt like we were the better team in that game. So I think we've definitely caught up to Bayern a lot in uh, two seasons. Eddie, I mean, could play it. Okay, could play it to Lewandowski. Tried to. Lewandowski gets it. Good touch. Gets it over to Ansu. Ansu, great turn. Now we can cross this. Left footed cross goes to Adiemi. Okay, that is not a bad header. That is not what I had in mind, but that was not bad. All right, Bob, I kind of want to shoot this, but it got closed down a little bit. Get it now to Turam. Kefren Turam to Robert. Lewandowski shoots and Lewandowski scores his first goal for Dortmund. Okay, what a shot. He's going to celebrate too. We try to do the no celebration. Hey, it's a subtle celebration. It's not uh, It's not that crazy. But this shot was so powerful. Just one touch and then a shot that like hits the crossbar or actually the corner of the net. Okay, officially Robert Lewandowski off the mark at Borussia Dortmund again. I mean, that is what we signed him for to do just exactly that. Onsu, Julian Brandt, wait for him. Yeah, Diemi is in a good spot now again. Gets it back over to Tsuram. Oh, that could have been 2-0. That should have been 2-0. That was such a good pass. Adeyemi, crossover, Schlotterbeck, he is the king of corners. Okay, that time, that had no power on it. We will try it again. Schlotterbeck, second time around, is not... Okay, come on, Schlotterbeck. He never does that usually. Siala, Komen, Ba, makes a good tackle, but okay, Komen stands up strong, but that pass is right at Shula, but it's going to be brought back for a free kick. Okay, this is actually scoring range. I'm scared here. It is going to be Harry Kane. He's going to shoot. Thankfully, Wall does their job, though. Corner in by Komen. Ansu, Ansu, Kobel, good catch, actually. Ba gets it, Adeyemi. Adeyemi looking for a pass. Gets it. Okay, that pass was so delayed. I wanted that so much sooner. Oh, now Coleman is just running past my entire defense. Emre Chan trying to catch up. Does not catch up. Kane into Musiala and Koble comes out, but he can't save it. Musiala scores and makes it 1-1. All right, that was a decent move and a decent finish. 24 minutes in. This game is tied up. Okay, David Rom just got hurt again off a tackle, which is not good. Is he injury prone? He might be. Julian. To Taram, Taram, get it over to Emre Chan. Over to Ba, Ba to Adiemi. Oh man, that pass needs to be so much cleaner. Schlotterbeck, Schlotterbeck. Man, he is just getting blown by here, but Schlotterbeck, look at the recovery. Okay, they still get it to Kane though. Kane, Musiala. Bayern are definitely in form today. They're up for this game. But hey, we are too. Lewandowski, great pass to Adiemi. Adiemi, do you need help? I don't think he does. Adiemi going all the way here. Going all the way. Gonna go for a slight finish, but Delict recovered very well there. All right, Julian cross in to the main man, Schlotterbeck. Bro, he is the best player I've ever had from corners. That's probably like goal number seven from corners this season. And it's 2-1 in Dortmund. He's literally just automatic. Like no one can even leap with him there. 34th minute, 2-1. The man is insane. Okay, Julian out to Ba. There's another chance for a good counterattack. Ba, use your pace. Lewandowski's calling for it. Can we get it to him? We do. Oh, that pass was actually so bad though. He was open. And okay, now they're countering with so much pace. This is so bad. Gnabry. I'm going to try to slide and block the cross, but it goes right back to Musiala. I thought they were going to go for Komen. Okay, this game is 2-2. Two -two. It's another just like Bundesliga classic here. He counterattacked so quick there. This is going to be a game. Ansu gives it to Julian. Julian, get it back to Ansu. Good pass there. Now Ansu, I'm going to give it to Lewandowski, but he's not really getting in the box. Now that's not bad, but the cross is not to him. Okay, they might get one final chance here, which Kane, don't let him shoot. Schlotterbeck, good defending there. Shula clears it, and that right there is the first half. And this game is incredibly close. If they win this, that might uh, blow the title race wide open. I feel like a draw would not be too bad on our part. We just can't lose this game, basically. Lewandowski gets it out to Rom, who's not hurt, which is good. Looks like he ran off that injury. Now Ansu's in a good spot here for a cross, maybe. Actually goes to Adiemi. Adiemi, good header, but it's going to go wide. Rom aiming for Lewandowski in those, but it never goes to him. And he's never really in a good spot for it either. And they got a high line right now. If we can steal this, we can counter, but that's a shot. Kobel has to save it. This has been one of the most even matchups with Bayern, I think, in a while. Where it feels like rightfully so, the game is tied. We've both been equally as good. Komen gets it to Delict. Over to Kane. Someone's got to get in front of him, though. Turam, Turam on Kane. What a tackle. Turam has been so good in this series. He's gotten so much better since uh, the first episode when we signed him. Lewandowski, Julian. 
Gets it through Tansu. We're going to go a quick shot. Okay, that was not a good idea. Definitely could add more time there. See if we can try this again, Yulian. Okay, he just lost it right to Limer, though. This is dangerous, but okay, that's very good defending by Rom, actually. And we survived that. Ram, Ansu, get it over to Rom. Okay, Lewandowski, you're calling for it, but you're just not in a good spot. That's going to fall to Ansu, and that is a decent volley. Come on, do we have more corner magic? Slaughterback, we do have more corner magic. Neuer's going to make the save, though. Okay, I'm calling it. He's scoring right here. I'm calling it. I am that confident. Okay, actually goes all the way to Emre Chan. Neuer has to make another save. Okay, this right here is a goal. I'm calling it. Julian Brandt, corner in. Slaughter back again. Okay, that's going to fall to Emre Chan. It is a goal. That's 3-2. We are literally corner FC in this series. And it's the whole team. This time, it's Emre Chan. Bro, I've just never scored this many corners in a series. Okay, 3-2. What a game so far. And we still got 20 minutes. Ram, Julian Brandt. Wait. Oh, no. I was going to try to take a touch over. Julian Brandt didn't take a touch, though. Limer into Musiala. Musiala's been a nightmare today. Please. Oh, look at all these moves he's doing. Please, Koble. No. Kane. That hit side netting and we survived that. Oh, man. Musiala is just like a panda, bro. He's just so hard to defend. Duram through to Emre Chan. Emre Chan gives it to Julian. Julian going to find Lewandowski. Gets it out to Adeyemi. Adeyemi. Oh, man. Guerrero. How did he get that so quickly? He just lost it, basically. All right. Emre Chan. Good win there. Lauterbeck to Rom. Out to Ansu. Ansu into Julian. Julian has got Robert Lewandowski and Neuer is going to make that save. Oh, man. I trusted him to score that so much. Julian. Corner FC and Schlotterbeck. He looked like he was going to score that one. All right, on to Emre Chan into Robert Lewandowski. Second time around, he's not going to miss. Okay, 4-2 to Borussia Dortmund. Lewandowski scores two against his former team, Bayern. Hey, that is why we signed him for a game like this. Just what a good finish again. He's putting these like in the corner, bare, like unsavable shots. Okay, he's had a great game. Let's get him some rest now. So, Jakobsen on for him. Also, Job and Sancho coming on. And this right here is a big win, though. This might secure our back-to-back -back, uh, league title. All right, Komen, stop Komen. Slaughterback, that is an amazing tackle right there. Very close to a penalty, maybe. Emery Chan, Job gets it to Jakobsen. Now get another pass. Oh, we might score another here. Ba gets a pass over to Adiyami who shoots. We shot it right at the one defender there. Job, oh, now Job Bellingham's offside. That's so unfortunate. They're making one final push here, which, uh, okay, Matoma. Chance to score. He's going to play it over, and they are going to score to make it 4-3. It's Muller. Now, that should be game over, though. Come on, ref, ball the whistle. I guess 4-3 is a more respectable scoreline for them. Like, they played very good, but we were just that much better. So, 4-3, I, I feel like this claims our second league title. I feel like now they just can't catch us. And what a game for Robert Lewandowski scoring twice. He is officially back now. But, yeah, as you can see, I feel like that makes us uncatchable in this uh, title race now. But, okay, now it's time for the Champions League quarterfinals. And it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a big one because we have been drawn Manchester City. I mean, this right here is our toughest matchup of the series so far. And also, by far, like, Man City are such a good team. Now, I think we're going to play both legs since the Bundesliga is pretty much wrapped up. Also, by the way, we've sim pretty much the DFB Pokal like the entire tournament. And yeah, we've made it all the way to the uh, final again. We're facing Bristol Morch and Gladbach in the final. So we got a chance to repeat in that too. But the one we want is the Champions League. And before this first leg, we're in the dressing room and we're trying to hype up the team here. We tell them no one thinks we can win the Champions League. Just like no one thought we'd win the league last year. They all have doubted this team all season long, but time and time again you've proved them wrong tonight let's do it again our toughest matchup yeah they got rodrigo on the right wing they got two rodrigos in the team now Lewandowski is tired but i gotta play him probably bring on jakobsen sometime soon in the second half but we go with our best team and champions league quarterfinals let's get this started i'm hoping schlotterbeck and shula can deal with the uh, holland there because he is going to be so hard to defend but our attack might be a lot for them to handle so i don't know how this is going to go first leg though we're going to find out yeah he a good turn there Gets it into Julian Brandt. Julian tries to get it to Adeyemi. Nuno Mendes caught up very well there, though. He's going to be uh, a good matchup with Adeyemi. Taylor gets to Rodrigo. Rodrigo. David Rom. That is some strong defending. It's going to be a foul, though. Yeah, I don't know why, but Holland is taking this free kick. He's going to lay it off to uh, McAtee. A little awkward there. Yeah, he's dribbling through the entire defense, though. Julian. Good tackle by Julian. Now, Julian lead the counterattack. Rom gets it into Lewandowski. Gets it to Ansu. Ansu into Julian Brandt. Could be goal number one, and that is goal number one. Okay, we just broke through their defense. That was pretty easy. Julian Brandt, it's a good finish. That was just like a textbook counterattack. Okay, that is not the start I expected, but 1-0. I will take that. Foden, Foden, please stop. Foden, oh, I'm gonna need you to stop, please. I am gonna need you to stop. Okay, Schlotterbeck just blocked Holland's shot there, but Foden was so tough to deal with, and he's coming right back at us. Okay, come on, Foden, please stop. For the last time, Foden, 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 please stop. Bog, good tackle there, and we do survive that. Oh, Adiemi, that is some skill there. Into Emery Chan, Chan. 
Gets it, Robert. Robert, do you have the pace here? He's got to shoot early. Robert Lewandowski shoots, and it's going to be wide. Yeah, it just doesn't have quite the pace on these counterattacks. Probably should have held it up and, like, pass it along. Oh, this is a good Man City attack, though, Rodrigo. And Schwaderbeck gets it into Rodri. Into Holland. That's going to be a shot, and, oh, it's going to be a penalty. I was waiting for it. Is it going to be a card, though, or is it just a penalty, I guess? Man, I tried to attack Holland from behind, and I knew this was a penalty. I knew it. Okay, they have a chance to tie it up. Bobo versus Holland. Erling Holland is going to, oh, he's going to go right down the middle. Okay, this is one. One. I thought he was going to score that no matter what, so I thought we might as well try and block it, but he actually missed it, which makes that penalty hurt even more. That is a self-inflicted wound. I guess we're lucky Rom didn't get, like, sent off or anything. Not even a yellow card. Adiemi gets to Julian Brandt. Now let's see if we can retake this lead on to. Good first touch. Cancelo, what a tackle, though. That was rough. Naram out to David Rom. Rom, see if we can find a pass here. I don't like any of these options, and then Cancelo's going to steal it. How does Cancelo steal it again like that? Naram, good interception. Now let's get this forward. Lewandowski lead the counterattack. Gets it over to Rom. Now Rom has Ansu. Tries to get it to him. Actually, a great ball but oh Diaz barely gets there in time that's a very good idea though that's a crossover Holland that is a weak header attempt though we are lucky that was not better than it was hey okay, Ansu beats Cancelo there Cancelo is gonna try to get back though he is gonna get back Ansu turns gets it into Ram Ram will shoot and that is sent to space it is a corner though which we are corner FC so Julian head to Schlotterbeck Schlotterbeck rebound open net how do we not score that Shula Oh, that's going to go wide again. There was three chances there to score. Oh, that would have been so nice to take a 2-1 lead. Okay, once again, space is there in the defense to counter. There's a lot of space here, actually. Ansu, wait for Rom. Okay, literally ran into each other. That's nice. Ansu this time gets it to Turam. Now, where are the runners at? Turam might not need any. Turam to shoot, and Turam actually scores. How does Ederson not save that? Turam makes it 2-1 to Borussia Dortmund. I was hoping for at least a corner from this shot. I didn't think it actually go in. Turam, though, just a burst of pace from him, and then it's actually a very good finish. Maybe Ederson just gets caught off guard. Okay, 2-1. That is a big score line. Heading into now probably the second half, which they might get one final chance here. Odin, come on, don't let him score, please. Ah, ah, good tackle. And that is the first half. Okay, 2-1. I will take that. That is much better than I thought we'd have. Well, let's keep it up, though. This first half has shown that we can beat this team. We really can. Their only goal was a penalty, so we should feel confident here. As I say that, though, Foden, back to Holland. Come on, we got to block that shot. Holland. I don't know what he was doing there. He looks like he's glitched uh, also from the Ronaldo series. He's still glitched. Emre Chan, long pass to Ansu. Ansu, Ansu, wait. Oh, man, it's going to go back to Ederson. Probably going to see Jakobsen probably soon. I feel like Lewandowski's stamina is pretty low. Silva into Rodri. That's a shot. Oh, that's going to go in. I thought I was going to block that, or I thought Schlotterbeck would block it. That's just such an easy goal for them. Of course, it's Rodri. It's Mr. Clutch. Like, I thought this was going to be blocked, but it's just uh, kind of caught us off guard, I guess. And then he puts it in the top left-hand corner. Okay, 2-2. Two -two. What a game again. We are tied up again we keep fighting though adiemi gives it a ball now ba could wait oh actually a great pass Lewandowski that i did not think he'd get off and then we lost it to mendez all in gets it over to foden this is not good ba you attack with your ba oh man not good enough though odin gets it to rodri shula good block they just keep they keep getting the ball though and keeping it after these chances that's a good save by kobo adiemi will clear it or will try to at least this is just chaos and it's absolute mess schlotterbeck block and we do survive that bro they are starting to look like man city again rodri holland we got all these numbers here to block these angles this is just chaos please just get the ball out chula again a tackle that we don't get out and then rodri just balances right in front of him 63rd minute it's now 3-2 bro this is just so unlucky we made a tackle and the ball just bounces right up for him to shoot like the ball comes in that's so lucky too but he just how does the ball get to him right there bro okay 3-2 we got 30 minutes left we walk out here with a draw i'll take that it's just been so unlucky though at the same time okay Jakobsen, you've scored some big goals for us i'm gonna need more him on for Lewandowski, and let's do sancho for uh mr antufati let's do that rom into Turam. Turam, wait for a pass here gets it back to david rom david Rom. Oh, man, that needs to get to Turam. That is just so bad. Gotta get these passes off. Adiemi into Julian. Julian, good pass to Ba. Ba, crossover. That's gonna go to Turam. Turam header attempt, and that goes over the net. Adiemi into Emre Chan. Find a pass here. Find it. Good pass to Adiemi. Get to the Julian. Over to Turam. Into Lewandowski. Actually, it's not Lewandowski. It's Jakobsen. Who is shot actually deflects and goes under Ederson. Oh, that's just so unlucky again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is this space coming from? Koble makes a good save, though. I don't know where that came from. Emery Chan. To Turam. Into Julian Brandt. Julian gets it out wide. It's a bog again. Ba into Julian Brandt crossover no that looked like a good cross just got blocked though we got 10 minutes here I don't want to concede another goal that would be a disaster that was a bad pass though Jakobsen into Adeyemi Adeyemi crossover that was meant for Turam actually might work though Turam over to Julian Julian good first touch how does Ederson make that save though oh that was a good shot okay if I needed a corner goal anytime it is right now Julian crossover that's gonna go to oh it didn't go to Schlotterbeck can we try it again 
Julian, okay, what was that? How does that work out for them right there? Okay, five minutes. We just cannot concede another goal here. That's the most important thing, I think. Cannot concede another. Emre Chan, good steal from Greenwich, though. We can tie this up here, maybe. Eddie Emmy through to Kai Jakobsen. The next Erling Holland gets it over to Julian. Over to Kefren Turam. How do we not score that? No, that was such a good chance. Oh, that was the chance, bro. That was a clean shot. That was just heartbreaking. Please, Ba, win this, Ba. He does win it. Bro, that is just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. There's actually no way that has happened. There's no way. I tried to just hoof it up the field, and he played it right to Rodrigo. And they're actually going to score from that, and everyone's on side? I'm going to throw up, bro. All I wanted to do was just clear it. There was no option there other than to just clear it. And it was the worst clearance of all time. And not only Koba made the save, but the save goes right to Holland. How unlucky is that? Oh, my. We should have made it 3-3, and this game's going to end 4-2. That is so incredibly unlucky. Okay, the only reason they won this game was because they got lucky, I think. The penalty, that last goal, like, this should have been 3-2. So, despite us being down two goals, I'm still confident. Back in uh, Dortmund, I think we can still beat this team. But I can't believe what I've just seen, though. Like, I feel sick. What just happened? So, down two goals, heading back to Dortmund. I, I can't believe that. So, next episode, we're going to finish this season. Now, win or lose, it might be the series finale. I'm not sure yet. It might be the series finale. Win or lose the Champions League. So, we're going to try to make that comeback. We're going to try to secure our Bundesliga title and also the DFB Pokal title twice in a row. I cannot believe that that just happened, though. Lewandowski, we're going to need a big second leg from you to try and make this comeback now. Okay, when I became manager of Borussia Dortmund, my goal was to dethrone Bayern Munich and win the Bundesliga which we did in season one and now in season two we have a chance to go even further become the best team in the world and win the champions league but we still have major challenges ahead of us but win or lose this right here is the dortmund career mode series finale we have only one shot at becoming the best team in the world so drop a like down below if you've enjoyed this series and let's get into it now as we start this episode it's early morning in germany we're out on our balcony getting some fresh air it's the final episode of this dortmund series and to start we have a huge challenge either make the comeback versus manchester City or fail in the Champions League. But okay, last episode we beat Bayern and pretty much a title decider. So we have what five games left, a uh, 12 point lead. The Bundesliga is pretty much all wrapped up. So today we're focusing on mainly the Champions League and the DFB Pokal, which we're already in the DFB Pokal final versus Percy Morch and Gladbach. So a chance to repeat there, but the one we want is the Champions League. We want to make Dortmund the best team in the world. Now, quarterfinals first leg versus Man City was a 4 2 loss in Manchester. So now, second leg in Germany, we have to make a two goal comeback. Otherwise, we're out. Now, they score like two very lucky goals though in that first leg. We actually played pretty good. So I feel like there's a legit chance for us to beat them in this game. If we just stop making defensive mistakes, I think we can truly make this comeback. So win this, we still got to win the semifinals, the final. This feels like the final right here. And if we lose, it all comes just crashing, crashing down. We just got to go one goal at a time to score that first goal. And we're back in this. So Dortmund versus Manchester City. Holland kicked us off. We got to win this game. We got Lewandowski up top. We need a big moment from him. We need a big moment from everyone pretty much. The first leg gave us a lot of confidence. I feel like we could have beat them easily. It's just some unfortunate things happen. Some defensive mistakes like that. Okay, if they score here, if they score one immediately, that is going to be worst case scenario. Thankfully, he surely gets that. No, he doesn't actually. That's not a foul. Wait, what? Okay, boss steals it. How is that a foul though? Okay, Teram out to Rom. Come on, we got to get this first goal. Rom is having some good pace here, actually. Rom, we're going to cross it all the way over to Adiemi. That's a good uh, clearance by Mendez, but right back in. Oh, that was meant for uh, Brandt, not Lewandowski. Ba, Emre Chan over to Teram. Teram looking for a pass. Oh, Julian, I need you to run there. He was like barely even running. It's honestly not the best of starts. They're looking pretty dangerous in the attack. I mean, a three goal deficit might be too much for us to come back from. I don't know. Emre Chan misses that tackle. Matt could see a chance to score. And oh my, I don't know how we just did that, but we just prevented a goal, I think. Rom Ansu gets it to Turam. Turam needs a pass here. Turam gets it to Ansu. Ansu loses it to Cancelo though. Man, they have been, they've had a good uh, start defensively, which is just not good because Holland's in Holland. To Rodri Shula though, that is some good recovery defending. Turam to Ansu. Come on, we gotta get this first goal. We gotta find somehow Lewandowski. Gets it to Rom. Rom to Turam. Turam. Crossover. No, that does not work. Turam tries to win it back. Almost does, actually. Yeah, this is just not looking good. That's a good tackle, though, right there. Alexander Ba tries to play a Tadiemi, but once again, their defense is covering my wingers so well right now. Okay, 30 minutes in. They got a corner, which that is sent in. That is uh, cleared kind of by Lewandowski. Man, I just don't like this start. It just does not feel that good. And they're going to score and make it 5-2. Is that right there the dream over? Is that us out? We have to make a three-goal comeback now. And we just have not started this game off well attacking-wise. Hey, we're going to play it out to the final whistle. See if we just get one goal at a time and get back in this. But it 
is uh, it is not looking good right now at all. Okay, they're getting a little aggressive here. They might be trying to seal this with another goal, but it might give us an opportunity to score one at least. Adiemi into Alexander Ba. Please score this. Takes his time and he does score. Okay. Back to square one. We're two goals behind again. Man, just bought. Just took his time there. And that was a pretty good uh, left footed finish on that five star weak foot. Okay. Five three. There's still a chance here. 40 second minute, we believe. Okay. Turam. That is a great tackle on, I believe. I don't even know what it was. It doesn't even matter. Julian. Julian. Plays on to. Get it back to Turam. Turam. Gets it over. Teddy Emmy. Into Lewandowski. No, that would have been such a nice score right there that quickly. To score two, that would have been so big. I need a slaughterback corner. Actually, it's going to be an Emre Chan corner. And that's off Bernardo Silva. We shall try this again. That's slaughterback. Slaughterback from a header. Oh my, it's actually 4 5. Two goals in the first half, and we're only a one goal down now. Bro, slaughterback is the best player I have ever used in any game off corners, I think. I've never scored this many corners at all. I can't believe it. We are one goal down again. Or within one goal, I should say. Man, if we wouldn't have conceded that first goal, though, it'd be tied up right now. But okay, first half, we're just one goal down. There's a chance for us to actually, actually do this. Come on, keep playing the same way we scored those first two goals. Just keep playing aggressive. Julian Brandt to Lewandowski. Get it back to Julian. Into Eddie. I mean, this is a very Good looking attack. Okay, Rodri got Julian from behind, and apparently it's not a foul. Oh, it is just so unfortunate. Okay, good pass, Rodrigo. We can't score again. Rom, Rom, good tackle right there. Julian to Ansu in space. We got space here. Julian. Ansu gets it back from Robert Lewandowski. Ansu cuts inside, shoots. No, Ansu, that was your chance. Oh, it goes just wide. That was such a good chance. Okay, we get more chances though. Eddie Emi. Eddie Emi Acuna to pass here. No one's good for a pass. Okay, let's just keep the ball. Get it to Lewandowski. Back to Emery Chan. There is just no angles here. What are we doing here? Could get it back to Schlotterbeck. Swing it to the other side. Come on, patience. Rom. Ansu. Good pass. Ansu. Turns. No, that was meant for Turan, but he stopped running. He went backwards. Oh, I'm so nervous, bro. We've made it this far. Come on. Please don't score another. Rodrigo against Rom. Doing a little moves here. Rodrigo. Okay, what a skill. Plays it to no. Bruno Silva. No, Koble. Koble. Thank you. Oh, my. I'm about to throw up. Come on. 30 minutes. Just one goal at a time. We just need one more right now. Swing it. Rom. Ansu to Turan. Great pass. Turan into Robert Lewandowski and this game is tied up. Oh man, the signing in mid-January, the emergency signing ties it up. Bro, this is real right now. We got a chance here. That is the finish we needed. That's why we spent the money on him. That experienced proven striker in a big game and he comes through for us. This game is 5-5. Bro, this is insane. 5-5 five, five and 25 minutes left. Come on, we got the momentum. We got to score another. Come on. We should have all the momentum right now. Lewandowski, Adiemi, back to Emre Chan. Get it back to Robert. Robert, okay, we got a pass. We got a pass to Adiemi. Over to Julian Brandt. Oh, I don't like any of these shots. Ansu, no. Oh, I don't like any of those shots, bro. I don't want it to be blocked and deflected for a chance for them. Okay, let's relax. Find a better shot. Emre Chan gets it out to Adiemi. Adiemi. Julian, this is beautiful. Gets it over to Turam. I need another pass there, though. Okay, Ansu. This is the longest attack of all time with nothing to come from it. Adiemi. Get it to Turam. Turam will shoot, and it's going to be a corner. Okay, I'll take that. Bro, I just couldn't find a clear shot. Slaughterback, I call upon thee to score. Another head. Oh, I thought he scored it. I thought he scored it. Oh, I thought it went into the net. It looked like it did. Okay, Sancho for Fati. That's the first change. Bro, I am so nervous. Here we got 15 minutes. Okay, Rom. Rom versus Rodrigo. Rom, you got to win that. Rom. Oh, my. What a tackle by Rom. That is beautiful. We needed that right there. Now, get this forward. We got a chance. Haram into Adiyami. Adiyami might have Lewandowski here. Does have him. Lewandowski's going to play to Sancho. Sancho, got to score this. Or get it back to Lewandowski. That's a rebound. Eddie Emmy puts it in. What a sloppy chance, but Eddie Emmy finds it in the end. 81st minute. We have the lead. We have a one goal lead. Bro, what a comeback. We were down three goals. Oh, man. This was a beautiful move, but Ederson made a good save. Eddie Emmy's first to it, though. We have 10 minutes left and we have a lead. I can't believe this. I'm, I am so nervous right now. Oh, like what subs do I make, bro? What do we got? Everyone looks good. I feel like I shouldn't take anyone off. I feel like everyone looks pretty decent here. Maybe for just straight up pace on a counterattack, Eddie Emmy up top. And let's do Job on the right. Or actually, Ravella has better defending. Let's do Ravella on the right. Let's do that. Because if we get a counter if they're pressing up and Eddie Emmy's up top we might be able to seal this oh just please please don't let them score again I can't take this please let that be it Rodrigo and Rom okay Rodrigo please stop Rodrigo I need you to stop right now Taylor running through Turam Turam what a tackle we got five minutes I'm gonna be conservative here I am going to be chill actually Eddie Emmy get it to him over to Julian Julian gets it through to Ravella Ravella Left-footed shot, and Ravella has just sealed our win. 7-5, we just beat Man City. Bro, this right here is the best game of the series. I'm not sure there'll be a better game from here on out. We were down what? We were down 5-2 at one point, and brought it all the way back to 7-5. What a just collapse by Man City. We got three minutes. They're not coming back here. Oh, my. This has to be one of Dortmund's best comebacks ever, right? I'll say it, though. First leg, we had a lot of chances. I feel like we definitely should have won that game. So we felt confident going in this. I think that confidence paid off. We played confidently. Oh, man, I can't believe it, though. I can't believe they scored that first goal. And we still made the comeback. Ravella score the sealer. Can he score another one? Why not? Left footed shot from distance. That'll be a, that'll be a corner. Actually a free kick. Okay, I'll take that. I mean, this would just be icing on the cake. Julian Brandt from the free kick spot to score another. 
Uh, okay, well, I can't even see where I was going. But ref blows the whistle. It's going to be a 7-5 win. That is one of the best comebacks I think I've ever made, especially in a Champions League tie. So we knock out the uh, previous champions from two years ago, and we advance to the Champions League semis now. Honestly, the fact that we just did that gives me a lot of confidence and we can win the Champions League. Because if we can do that versus Man City, I feel like we can do that versus anyone. And after that game, in our post-game interview, we say that that has to be one of the best Champions League comebacks of all time. That this team just showed what we're made of, and that we couldn't be prouder of this team. I'm not going to lie, I'm still a little in shock that we won that. When they scored that first goal, I thought we were done. All right, next up now is the Champions League semis, which Juve went through, also Real Madrid and uh, PSGB Liverpool. So PSG went through. So pretty much nothing but like very good teams left. And yeah, we're facing a very good team in the semis. We're facing PSG and Kylian Mbappe. So we just had to deal with uh, Man City and Holland. Now we're going to deal with Mbappe. Okay, this is going to be probably just as tough. Now we're going to sim the first leg and play the second leg of this. So please just first leg, just at least keep it close. I don't want another like two goal deficit. I don't think I could actually take that. So first leg is going to be... It is going to be 2-0. Emery Chan and Adeyemi. Wait, they got De Bruyne too? We just beat them 2-0 though. Okay, I will take that though. You know what? That's karma after our comeback. The game gave us like an easy semifinal, I think. For us making that insane comeback. All right, so second leg, we're up 2-0 right now. It's literally the opposite of the game we just played. A two-goal deficit, now a two-goal lead instead. I will absolutely take that. Now, we are in Paris for this, so we're away, but come on, two-goal lead. There's no way we should lose this. If we lose this, it would be an equal as collapse as Man City had. It's just Mbappe, De Bruyne. This team actually looks uh, pretty insane, so it's a little bit scary, but I feel like two goal lead we're confident here we're confident they got sun too and andy robertson what is this team okay, maybe i'm not so confident oh this is like a super team okay we cannot let them score first though don't let them get within one that would be a literal disaster de bruyne gets it to dembele man dembele and mbappe they're so hard to defend against okay, already i'm seeing how good this team is de bruyne shoots and you've got to be kidding me they already have one it's been about five minutes no 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 we're not we're not losing this league. come on we got to score another year this might be like a shootout who could score the most goals because defense might not be a thing today i can't believe we let them score that easily Come on, good pass to Rom. Rom, keep it in. Thank you, Rom. Jeez. That was close. Ansu wins it back. Ansu, Rom. To Ram. Get it to Emre Chan. Emre Chan. Yulian. We're going to shoot that. Of course, it's blocked, though. All right, good. Still a Yulian there on Marino now. Emre Chan. Two. Ansu. Lewandowski, who's got Adiemi here. This is a good chance. Gets it through. It is going to be Ba. Adiemi. Actually, Ansu Fati. Oh, my. I couldn't believe we actually scored that. The ball fell to Ansu just perfectly, and he's onside. I got flashbacks of last game. Adiemi scoring that goal at the far post. This is such a lucky goal. It's a decent block, but it just falls right to Ansu, and somehow he's onside. Bro, that is incredibly lucky. What a tight finish, though, that is. Okay, great response to them scoring, though. Come on, 3-1. We got to stop this scoring, though. Stop it. Dembele, please stop. Schlotterbeck, good tackle there. Now, get the ball out. Lewandowski, that's a foul, right? Thank you, ref. He actually gave us a call there. I love it. Julian, Turam. Turam has got space here to run. Gets it, Adiemi. Okay, does not get it to Adiemi. Okay, now Emre Chan. That is a great steal. Gets it to Yulian. Yulian. Gonna try to pass to Robert. Robert. The Robert Adiemi connection is truly there. Adiemi cuts inside, tries to, but okay, Andy Robertson. That was a very good steal. I'll give him that. Oh my, what is happening? I don't know how they got that ball out, but they barely did. Okay, it's been a lot of PSG possession last like 10 minutes, but we don't have to rush here. We have a two-goal lead. We can definitely play conservative from the start. We don't have to do anything too risky. Robertson gets it to Sun, though. Sun looking for Mbappe. Goes back to Robertson, though. Mbappe gets it back to Ugarte. This is not good. This is dangerous. Shula can't block him there. Now it's uh, Bob versus Mbappe. This is the longest attack of all time. They are being so patient. Oh, Yulian could have stole that. That could have led to a counter right there. Marino to Mbappe. Mbappe. Okay, that was disgusting. Mbappe, please stop. No, no. Don't let him shoot. Do not let him shoot, Shula. Shula, get the ball, please. No. Okay, don't give a penalty, though. That would have been so bad. Come on, we're over at a time. We're literally over at a time. Dembele is going to shoot. No, it's going to be Sun. Colbo, good save. Clear that thing. And okay, we escaped the first half of the two-goal lead still. Their team is so good, though. We see how threatening they are. This is not going to be easy in the second half. If we get to score, though, this next goal, that'd be so big. That might be game over. Three goals behind is a lot different than two goals behind. I mean, saying that, we didn't make the comeback from three goals behind in the last game. So maybe it's not actually that safe. Bot to Ram to Ram. Through to Adiemi. Adiemi cuts inside. Chance to go for finesse shot. Marquinhos blocks that. I will take the corner, though. Lauterbeck, where are you? I need you. Adiemi. Swings in right to Schlotterbeck. Header attempt. Bro, he looks like he's always going to score from that. Oh, okay, no rebound. How was no one there for the rebound? That was a perfect chance. Win the header, please. Thank you. Brandt, Adeyemi, to Lewandowski. To Ram. We'll shoot that first time, but this shot is right at Donnarumma. And we're playing some great football today, though. Like, our passing in the attack looks very crisp. Ansu, Lewandowski. Oh, man, Ansu got held up there. I was going to try a quick uh, give and go. This is some good press, though. This is some really good press. Oh, somehow they broke out of it, bro. That pass was so good. Now Mbappe versus... Okay, that is a very strong tackle, but I love it. Adiemi to Ba. Gets it back to Adiemi. Now Adiemi. Fender's going to go with Ba. So Adiemi will try and hold it. Gets it... Okay, that pass was so bad. This is good, though. Gets it into Kareem. Adiemi. We'll shoot this as pressured. Man, that pressure by Saliba was so good. Okay, 30 minutes left. We have still have a two-goal lead. We are still in a good position. We can smell that Champions League final. Probably they should wash it then. Ansu, Emery Chan, I'm shooting this. Emery, no, I want to shoot long shots with the wall all the time, but I feel like it's in a block and we got no CDM to, like, defend us. Okay, Adiemi, cross here. 
Goes to Turam. Turam had her attempt. Oh, is it going to fall in? Oh, it goes just to the right. Could this be the corner to end this? To seal our ticket to the Champions League final. Schlotterbeck. Bro, he is just the best. He's actually the best player from corners I have ever used. We're going to check out for this game how many goals he has, but I can't believe he scores again. How is he so good at corners? Like, what is his stats? Bro, that might seal our ticket to the final, though. I have never been more confident in corners. Like, we are literally corner FC because of Schlotterbeck. Like, no one can jump anywhere near as close as he can or as high as he can. On all his headers, he looks like he's a mile above everyone else. Okay, 4-1. It looks like we won this game. We still got some left to uh, make sure of that, but we are in a very good spot. Shula, what a tackle again. Man, down three goals in the Champions League quarters to maybe a champion. Champions League final appearance. What a comeback we've made already today. Ansu to Rom. Now Lewandowski. I'm looking for a corner for you. Looking for it. Okay, it doesn't even go anywhere near him. That header goes way over the net. All right, three subs. We got Jakobsen, Job, and then Sancho coming on. Give Lewandowski and Julian Brandt some rest. Mary Chan gives it to Job. Job. Good pass into Sancho. Great touch there. Sancho. Great pass to Turam. It's another good touch there. Turam plays it back to... Oh, was that Job? I think it was. Might have been. No, I think it was Emre Chan, actually. So, and Shula. Shula made... Shula's had a very good game. This might be his best game in a Dortmund shirt in this series. He has made a lot of tackles. Usually, it's Schlotterbeck. Jakobsen to Eddie Amy, though. Eddie Amy gets it over one more time. It is going to be Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho will score, and that's our ticket to the final book. 5-1. We end up beating PSG. Yeah, we got just max confidence in this team right now. We have figured out how to win with this team. Can we get another one? Jakobsen, can you score here? Okay, he went for the header at least. He uh, challenged for it. Looked kind of close. Bappe is going to score again. And Bappe is going to score. And nope, Cobble makes that save. Thankfully, though, this one wasn't as dramatic as the Man City one. I'm not sure anything would be as dramatic as that. Okay, on, hold on. Kolomowani is going to shoot. And Cobble makes another good save. Corner in. That should be it. That should be it. Is that it? That is it. Champions League final ticket is booked for Borussia Dortmund. And hey, we got some confidence in this team that we can actually win the Champions League now. And I'm talking big confidence. All right, so we got two finals to play. The DFB Pokal final and, of course, the Champions League final. But first, we're going to after the uh, Bundesliga title again. Final game of the year, we faced the Wolfsburg. It was a nil-nil draw. We had to see the trophy lift one more time. So back-to-back -back Bundesliga title is for Borussia Dortmund. Talk about dethroning Bayern Munich. And now you guys left some comments in the last uh, season finale about Royce not lifting the league title. So we give him a chance to lift it in the final episode. I mean, talk about a club legend. He gets to lift the league title. I mean, it's only right. So Marco Royce will lift Borussia Dortmund's back-to-back -back Bundesliga league title. It is a magical end to his career because I think he's actually retiring at the end of the season. So basically, maybe his final game, he gets to lift the trophy. I'm sure that makes him happy. But okay, now two finals to play for and two more trophies. So first up, DFB Pokal Final, where we try and do the, uh, I guess, the domestic double back-to-back. -back. Now, first team looks fully fit, so that's great. And let's get this cup trophy again. I think last year we won this pretty comfortably. It might have been like uh, maybe 3-1, 4-1 win. And I don't remember facing Bracey Morton got back that much this season or even last season. So they got Martial, they got Musa, so they're probably decent. But hey, we are in some crazy form right now. So confidence is at a whole time high. I forgot to look at how many goals Schlotterbeck has from corners. We'll definitely see after this game. I feel like it's got to be at least 15. Okay, Skobel, that is pass of the season from him. Can lead on to playing through Robert Lewandowski. Oh my, started from Kobel. And Robert Lewandowski will finish it off. That was literally like keeper from all the way to the counterattack. And then it's 1-0 to Bursi Dortmund just like that. Okay, that was pretty nice. I will take that start. This might be a rough day for uh, Morgan Gladbach, maybe. Waterback, Emre Chan. I want to shoot this so bad. I'm going to shoot one of these this game. Just not this one. Once again, if that gets blocked, uh, no one's really back for the counterattack. So that is just not a good... That's not a smart option. On to... Cross it to Lewandowski. Gomez gets it out. Julian to Adiemi. Will shoot that one. Okay, that one goes flying over the net. That was not so good. Julian, Turam, Turam, you might shoot this. Turam from distance. Turam, hey, that shot looked pretty good. We are kind of all over Mochin Gladbach right now. Okay, that's a good uh, sliding interception from De La Cruz, though. Emery Chan, Julian gets it. Turam, Turam, Lewandowski. Back to Turam. Turam. Oh, no. That was going to work right to Julian Brandt. Okay, counterattack, but Ba. Our fullbacks are so good, actually. Ba and Rom are some of like, the best combo fullback partners I've used in uh, FC24 so far this year. They're both so quick, and they're both so well-rounded. Now, saying that, though, am I, am I about to concede and jinx it? Nope. Rom will clear it. Just clear that thing. Pretty much case in point, though. Alexander Ba. I mean, now get it over to Ba. One more pass. Good pass, actually. Ba. Lewandowski needs a pass here again. Ba just continues his run. And again, in on goal, Ba is going to miss. Oh, Ba, how do you miss that? He should have went with his left foot like he did versus Man City. On to Lewandowski gets it through to David Rom. Fullback to fullback. This time Rom will get that finish. Okay, we went for the light finish there and it completely threw off the keeper. 2-0 in 25 minutes. This is uh, this is going pretty well for us. On to back to Rom. Rom crossover. No, that was supposed to go to Lewandowski. Instead, Adiemi. Adiemi misses it. Oh, that would have been such a nice volley, man. We're getting chance after chance right now, though. Lewandowski into Boggin. The fullbacks are running the show today. Now cross to Turam. We find Turam actually goes to Ansu. Ansu's not going to win that header. Emery Chan, you're shooting this. Okay, maybe not get it to Julian Brandt. Julian. Okay, Lewandowski, I need you to run right there. If he runs, that's a free chance. And we have just stopped every single attack they've even looked like having. Ansu to Turam. Turam, long shot, of course. It's blocked right back to the keeper. How unlucky is that? All right, final chance. First half, Adiemi. 
to Lewandowski. Get it back to Ba. Now Ba, first time cross. Oh, that's going to go off Gomez. Wait, header into Julian. Adiemi, I don't know if you're offside. Shot, that's saved, and it's going to be 2-0. Heading into the second half, it should be like 3 or 4-0, though. Okay, halftime, though. Jakobsen and Bellingham both coming on. So two of our biggest youth players in the series are on. Can they help us secure this trophy? From into Turam, Turam to Kai. Jakobsen will shoot that. I thought he actually scored that, bro. His first touches are always so good. How many times has he come on and almost scored with basically his first touch? I mean, potentially, he's the future starting striker of Kensington. Maybe. That would be something. Corner for them. That is out by Jakobsen. He's doing everything right now. Okay, if they score here, though, this is going to be a game. Don't. Oh, they're going to score that. Nope. Koble somehow saves me. Good pass, though, again. Okay. Whoa, whoa. That was a rough tackle. Apparently, not a penalty. I'll take that. It did look questionable, though. Adiemi has Ansu. Adiemi goes to Ansu. Ansu. Volley attempt. Oh, many hit that so cleanly. It just uh, went off target. No, no. Don't let him score. Don't let him score again. Or score again. They haven't scored yet. Martial. No, that's going to be a goal. Somehow, Koble is saving these shots, and I don't know how. Oh, is he the best keeper I've used this year? I feel like he actually might be. Maybe like tied with Allison. Because he has made so many clutch saves for us all series long. Without him, I'm not sure we'd be that successful. Jakobsen now is in, though. Jakobsen, time to score your goal. Jakobsen takes it well, and that's just an easy finish for him. The next Erling Holland makes it 3-0 to Borussia Dortmund. And this series finale really could have gone a different way. We could have lost versus Man City, then uh, it'd be basically just this. That's it. The final plus the bonus like a final. That'd have been so depressing. Ansu. Oh, Jakobsen had another chance at a score. Wait, still might have a chance. Adiemi. Two. Jakobsen goes for the volley. Okay, that would have been nice. I was trying to go for a bicy there, though. A bicycle kick. Nope. Jakobsen. Okay, somehow that gets to Job. I don't know how. And then it's just another little simple finish. Job, but Bellingham scores, and it's 4-0. Yeah, this has been just uh, pretty much domination other than that Koble saves. Those are a few saves he made. Oh, my. That is quite the tackle. That's not going to be a yellow card? Bro, I thought that might have been a red. Bro, that's just a talking to. This right here is one of the most aggressive tackles I think I've seen in this series. Bro, Elvedi is literally upside down. Duram, through to Ansu. We get one more here. Could get one more. Ansu. Through to Jakobsen. Gets it to Turam. Turam shoots, and that's going to be blocked. All right, corner FC. Are we still corner FC? That's going to go to Schlotterbeck, and he's got... He's got... I don't I can't even say anything anymore. Bro, I've never had a player who's this automatic from corners. He just scores every time. I don't even get it. Bro, he's scored so many goals for us, like, that without those goals, I'm not sure we win trophies. Like, he just always comes through with those goals. I can't believe it. On to... Finesse shot for another one. Okay, okay, this is not even funny anymore. What's happening? It's not even funny anymore. 90th minute, 6 0. Bro, just against any German team, we have been so dominant. Like, these teams just don't stand a chance against us. Yeah, for our next series, we're we'll have to come up with like new sliders, new settings, or something because I feel like we've kind of mastered these already. Or our team is that good. Probably a combo of those two. But that should be game on. So clears it. And that is a double in the DFP Pokal. And uh, 6 0, that is a commanding win. And that is a uh, confidence built ahead of the Champions League final, too. Man, we are so close to making Dortmund the best team in the world. We just got one more game to do it. But for now, Emery Chan will lift this uh, trophy for us. As Borussia Dortmund win the Davy Bocal for the second year in a row. 6-0 in the final. All right, now let's go after that Champions League final. So the Champions League final is set. We're actually facing Juventus now. I thought it'd be Real Madrid, but Juventus beat Real Madrid 4-3. So this Juventus team must be pretty good. But man, just one more win to make us the best team in the world. Now, a few days before the final, we're in training. And we tell the team, it's been an amazing season for all of you. But there's one more hurdle. Juventus are a very good team. They're not going to make it easy for us. But if we play like I know we can, we'll be Champions League winners. Now, before this final, though, how many goals has uh, Schlotterbeck scored? He has scored 10 goals. Man, I thought it was more than that. It feels like more. All those 10 must be in, like, actual played games, though. Like, why is he so good? He's got uh, 96 jumping and then 92 heading accuracy. Okay, that's probably why. Man, 96 jumping, power header trait, their play style, that is pretty insane. But overall, final stats in the season, uh, Adiemi 31-14, and Julian Brandt 14-20 is nice. Look at Jakobsen in third with a 14-4. That's pretty decent for your backup striker. Uh, Turam 5-14, that's pretty good for the midfield but okay just one more game win this and we can call ourselves the best team in the world now what does this Juve team look like so uh Moise Keane, Vlaovic, Chiesa, Vertesi, Locatelli, Gadecka, Sané, Danilo, Romero, Araujo, and Chesney. I mean Gadecka, Sané, really good pickups there. Araujo at center back is probably like 89 rated at least so it's definitely a solid team but not like anything crazy. I feel like we're the better team so full strength into this Champions League final and the final game of the series win or lose. Two seasons comes all the way down to this. We got the utmost confidence right now. It's just can we get this job done so champions league final in spain kicked off we can't come all this way just to lose the final i can't do that come on we gotta win this after that man city come back if we win this it'll be a magical champions league run we can't do that to then lose the final that's okay he's gonna be very dangerous case okay, someone's gotta step up please schlotterbeck that was incredibly dangerous though i don't like the look of that now on to to Lewandowski, get it to Rom. That defender is now stretched. And Rom has got space to run here. Rom, far post, cross, Adiemi. Adiemi, 
Goes for a... Okay, I don't even know what that was. Goes off a uh, Chesney, though. That would have been an interesting start. Sane's got numbers here, though. This is not good. Moiski and Vlaovic, that's a combo up top that probably is dangerous. That speed and strength. It's going to be a corner for them. Ball swing over. Danilo. Come on, steal that. Okay, that's going to be a foul. That is not good, and that shot goes wide. Did they get that free kick? Oh, thankfully, they don't. Okay, that's good. Did they get that free kick? I wouldn't be surprised if they scored that. Emery Chan to Yulian. Yulian. Get it to Turam. Into Robert. Back to Yulian. Yulian, chance to shoot here. He's got space, chance to shoot. Good save. Ansu is going to stop. Get it back to someone. No, what is it? Where is that pass going to? Oh, I should have shot that first time. Okay, that's two shots for us that look decent. Duram to Emre Chan. I'm shooting this. It's not going to be blocked. Oh, it is blocked. Okay, it's not blocked in a bad spot, though. Okay, Kiesa is got by Ba there very easily. Now, I tried to block him with Shula, but we might be able to recover here. Shula, Shula recovered so well there. Duram over the top to Ansu was on. That three at the back, our wingers can definitely exploit that. Ansu stops. Okay, I tried to cross it, but Araujo just stole it from Ansu. The former teammates at Barcelona. Okay, Ba's got space around the wing. Ba. Gets it to Yulian. Now runners. Adiemi's there. Adiemi, I'm seeing cross options. Okay, we're going to stop. Play in the box to Robert. Lewandowski outside the boot shot, but it's blocked now. Schlotterbeck, if he's done it all season long, can he do it in a Champions League final? That looked good, man. I thought he was going to score that. Okay, Schlotterbeck from a shot, maybe? That shot actually wasn't that bad. On to Adiemi. Adiemi crosses it up. Lewandowski. Chesney somehow makes that save. Okay, we are putting pressure on them, though. Schlotterbeck, you don't want to give him a second chance. Actually goes to Chan. Emery Chan. Chesney has to save it. Corner FC are showing why we are corner FC. Emery Chan again. He's going to fall, though. Shula shoots. Deflected. That's another corner. This is so much pressure right now. Adiemi crossing again. Schlotterbeck gets to it. No, it's going to be cleared by Goretzka. Man, that was a lot of chances right there. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Emery Chan just fell over so awkwardly. Bane was stumbling. Okay, first 40 minutes, I feel like we look like the better team slightly. Just, uh, no goal to show for it just yet. Ram to Ram. Ram has got onto in space. Good pass. Onto now. We're waiting for some kind of crossing option here. We're not going to get it. Wait, onto. To Ram. Okay, whoa, guys. Don't get confused here. Ram. Good cross, but okay. Whoa, they could have caught that or uh, headed it the other way, but they gave us a corner, which is not something you want to do because we got a guy named Schlotterbeck who likes to score from corners. I mean, it'd be only right in a Champions League final, right, for him to score that. Ansu, shot is blocked. Schlotterbeck, Schlotterbeck wins it. That touch is beautiful, actually. Rom crossover. Someone's got to get to it. It's going to be, uh, is that Ansu? I think it's Ansu, but it goes over the net. So many, like, chances for us. But okay, first half, and this is, uh, this is nil-nil. Come on, first goal might open the floodgates for the entire game, pretty much. 45 more minutes in the Champions League final. Turam, Julian, Brand has a chance to shoot here, maybe. Wait, let's be patient. Gets it, Ansu. Ansu, Turam, Turam, over to Julian. No, I thought that went through. Oh, we are so close to this first goal. On A, gets it to Gadeska. This is a little bit dangerous. They look like they're slowly coming into the game more, at least, uh, attacking -wise. Okay, slaughter back. Okay, that was very lucky there. We risked that and we kind of missed the tackle. But now, counterattack, we got space. Ansu, I see Robert. Robert Lewandowski. Corner. No, that cross was right to him. I said corner. I meant cross. Emery Chan, Kefren Turam. Finesse shot. Vermeer's in a block it. Come on, 60th minute. I feel this corner goal right here. I feel it. Eddie Emi, crossover. It's not going to be slaughter back. Emery Chan is not going to get that. Okay, pass to Lewandowski. Into Emery Chan. Someone's got to get a better shot, though. Yulian finds the shot. That was a lot closer than I thought it would be. Bro, so many chances. We just can't score. That is a good ball in behind, but Schlotterbeck is just way too good there. That 96 jumping. You're just not going to beat him on that. Now, Yulian, Adiemi, this could be it right here. Adiemi's in. Adiemi, use your pace, all of it. He's quicker than everyone. Goes for the shot, and that is the first goal, finally, in the Champions League final. 67th minute, it's the cover star, Kareem Adiemi. Finally, like a breakthrough where their wingbacks aren't in place. Where Adiemi could just sprint by their center backs. Okay, 30 minutes left. We have one goal right now. Come on, that's what we need, and now these floodgates might open. Hopefully, just for us, because uh, they're going to get more aggressive here. And if they get aggressive with that three at the back, man, our wingers can truly punish them. I mean, pretty much exactly just like this. Ba, two, Adiemi, into Lewandowski. No, okay, wait. Get into him. Someone please score that, please. No, Turim's gonna miss that. Oh, I tried to go for like the sure goal there. We couldn't get it to Ansu. Okay, let's do let's do Sancho for Ansu. And then I think we leave it at that for now. We got 18 minutes here. Adiemi to Emery Chan. Yeah, they are pushing numbers forward. And this could be it if we score this. Ba needs an option here. He's gonna cross it over to Jaden Sancho. Okay, what an attempted finish. That was almost amazing. Okay, give me a brand on the corner. Now this is going right at Schlotterbeck. Schlotterbeck, I call upon thee and Slaughterback. Bro, he doesn't miss those. I might have put too much power on it, though. I didn't expect it to have that much lift on that corner. Oh, that could have been it. Kind of timed his uh, jump wrong. Oh, my Sancho. That is a great steal. Sancho, get it out to Rom. Rom, crossover. Julian Brandt. Okay, is that a penalty? Wait, why is it? Wait, what was that? The little ref icon was popping up. That might have been handball by Julian Brandt, actually. Okay, now they got a counter. This is not good. Slaughterback. Slaughterback versus Vlaovic. This is not good. 
Teammates come over, gets a shot away, but that shot is not good. We defended that pretty well, I think. Okay, eight minutes left. We can't, we don't have to be too risky here, but we can be a little bit because if we can seal this game, no, the three at the back. I saw that. How did they stop that? Gadetska, Gadetska, Turam is a handball. Oh, that's handball by Turam. Okay, final sub is going to be Jakobsen and Bellingham on, the two youngsters. Some energy to maybe help us seal this Champions League final win. We got five minutes basically now. Vlavic into Chiesa. Chiesa chased by Adiemi. That's a good tackle, but it's going to be a throw into them. Come on, just close this out. Don't give them anything, Vlavic. Okay, this is dangerous. Turam, though. Good tackle. Get it? Okay. No, no, no. There's no way. There's no way. Turam. Bro, if they would have scored that, I would have screamed. I wanted a simple pass, and Turam played the worst pass of his career. Thankfully, we don't get punished for it. Ba. To Jakobsen. Jakobsen. Over to Job. Into Jaden Sancho. This will be the Champions League final win. And there it is. Borussia Dortmund Champions League winners. The first time since I think 1995. And Jaden Sancho scores the winning goal. I would say that's pretty fitting. Bro, if I would have had like a Man City moment there. Like the first leg versus Man City. Where a simple pass back goes astray. And they score off that. I would have lost it. Thankfully, we go down the other end and seal this win. Yeah, I think we were by far the better team here. We just couldn't really score. In the end though, we got the job done. And we got a chance for one more here. Nope. Okay, Eddie, I mean actually Jakobsen. That's not going to work. But ref blows full time. And and that is the Champions League final won by Borussia Dortmund. And we can now call ourselves the best team in the world. And what a series finale. Truly, I thought when Man City scored that first goal, I saw it in my head. Like, oh, this is going to be like a very sad series finale. One of those ones where we don't win it in the end, don't win the Champions League. But it did not turn out to be like that. It turned out to be one of the best series finales I think we've had. Like, Bundesliga win, DF Football Cal final win, Champions League comeback, and then Champions League final win. What an end to this series. And Juventus gave us a little bit of a good fight. I mean, it was close. But this team has just gotten too good. And Emery Chan will lift the Champions League trophy for well, Borussia Dortmund. We are the best team in the world officially. Yeah, I believe Dortmund haven't won the Champions League. I think they won it once in the 90s. I think it was 95, I think. So it's been almost uh, 30 years since they won it. But once again, champions, and what a way to end this series. So that is the end of the Borussia Dortmund career mode. Now, once again, players like uh, Jakobsen, we will see more of him in the later Credit Club series later on this year. Might be the starting striker of that team. But man, this was a fun series. This team is always a lot of fun to use. Players like Turam, Schlotterbeck, Adeyemi. Honestly, we're very surprising. They've been some of the best players I've used this year so our next series should be starting pretty soon but if you enjoyed this one drop a like i'd really appreciate it and if you want to watch our latest neymar player crew episode over on tyster plus then click on screen to watch that